217 Photography. Huge shout out to them for the live stream. Brought here today, Mike Gonzalez. What time is the live? Thank you. We are live now. <laughs> What's going on? I hope everybody is having a great day. I need to go ahead and get this shared out. Y'all help us share it right quick. All right, we're going to toss it over to them because they're fixing to get started on the driver's meeting. So, yeah, I don't miss nothing. And uh, we'll be in the backgrounds. Remember, like we said, man, um, I hope y'all enjoy it. If y'all see something you would like to see change, please let us know. Other than that, we'll go from there. Good morning, Brian. How are you? I'm trying to get this shared over a couple of places. All right, we got Caitlin and Cassidy calling the shots this morning. They're getting ready for driver's meeting, so y'all just bear with us. Y'all let us know what y'all think about the views. Let us know if y'all can hear everything, see everything. Good morning, Jordan Hill. What's going on? I saw what's going on. Did you yeah. pay 60 or did you pay 30? Well, I didn't pay them. Uh, you want to? I said nobody was in there. That's doing better. Are you doing both? Yeah, it's a big and slow. I'll put you down to both. John. I mean, Vega, what's going on? How are you? Coach DRC, what's going on? That is why I put that big screen in front of you so you can look at that one and not have to yeah. look at your phone all the time. I'm not, I'm not used to that. I know. What's going on, Michael Howard? How are you? Audio and video is good on my end. Awesome. What's up? 
What are, what are you going to be in? Which one? Jesse Ruiz, what's going on? How are you all? All right, let's, let's yes. see. And make sure y'all tune in to rcdryraces.com because you will be able to follow along. Yeah, all the stuff will be on the, you know, like we got it right here, but you can be able to follow along for each bracket. It'll tell you what times they're going to get started back, everything. And if it's got anything about the driver, uh, you'll, be able to, it yeah, you'll be able to see everything on it. What's going on Steve James in the house? Steve James will keep us sharpened on our toes. Yep. And it's kind of like a laid-back race today, and I mean, yeah. it's just kind of everybody's having a good time, and uh, it's just just Hello. really laid back. Hello like, from Stephen Larry. Hello. And, and the, again, the wind's not bad today versus what it was yesterday. Knocking on wood. Kyle Christie, what's up? Uh, huge shout out to Kyle Christie and Sandy Christie. They celebrated their anniversary yesterday. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. And did y'all, I hope everybody's seen uh, Tony Ton's son's birthday yes, part, um, picture. That was awesome. That was the, <laughs> that was the cutest picture I've ever seen. And once again, we're in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We are here at the T-Town's first inaugural bash. Yep. And we're going to show y'all the views real quick. Make sure while they're getting everything ready, y'all tell me what y'all think, okay? All right. This is for driver's meeting. That's for the start of the race. Yep. That's during the race. Right? That's right. You got the side view. Right? That's right. And then you got Valerie. What up? You got a finish line shot. And that's where we're at, y'all. There you go. <clears throat> Kyle oh. Chris says, thanks, guys. It was our together anniversary. Okay. Their together anniversary. Lord, I don't even remember. Um, Brian Downey says, that's good. And Steve James says, let's get the sticky goo goo going. <laughs> Tim Taz Flores is in the house. B. Karakoff, what's going on? Brad Waldrop, what's going on? Now I'm just waiting for them to start laying, laying down the law. Yep. What's going on? How are you? <laughs> what up? Really? What's going on? Marquise Boston and Dale Nickets Nixon. What's going on? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> B, what's up? <laughs> he said, I don't figure out how to make it loop like this. <laughs> Good time. Sticks, Winston, what's happening? I can't wait. This is going to be an awesome race. It's a laid back race, but it's an awesome race. You got some and big names in here. And yeah. and as you seen yesterday, man, it's you never know, do you? All right. Better get it on them. Get it on them. Yes. Okay. What? Well, floor is yours, man. <laughs> Damn, so don't need I don't need no speaker, but it's not my floor. It's Caitlin's. Everybody has checked. They are all in there correctly. Emo. Make sure you check. Emo, what's your phone number? I don't want. So you're in 250 and open bracket, right? Real street, one bracket or two. All right, I got you, Demo. It's all right. He was probably the one that didn't have a last name right Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, I will get brackets finalized in the next five minutes. We'll have 30 minutes of testing, and then we're going racing. Beautiful. Thanks, guys. Hey, thank you so much for showing up. We really appreciate it. Let's have a great day of racing. What class is first? Outlaw bracket A first. You want me to set them right now? Uh, let me get real street right, because Matt, like, double entered. 
All right. <clears throat> Once again, Outlaw will be first. More spoken. What's going on? Linda, Linda, Joshua Shepard, Jerome Penda, Spencer Tower. What's going on? <clears throat> they are funneling up the brackets. And once again, that's going to be on rcdragraces.com, and you'll be able to follow along. Richie will be popping them up occasionally on the live for us. What's going on, Frank Greer, in the house? Why you keep bringing my name into it? I'm supposed to be behind the scenes. Remember, we talked about this. But you still <laughs> popping stuff up. <laughs> All right. Once again, bright, um, first round will be Outlaw. And they are going to have um, 30 minutes more of testing. Yep. And then race. So this is like the perfect opportunity for y'all. If y'all haven't already, grab you something to drink, grab you something to snack on. Might as well get you a cooler and just sit it beside <laughs> you, get you your snacks, put it beside you, have everything ready to go. Because yep. in five minutes is game time, right? Well, no, 30 minutes of testing. Oh. She, she did say 30 more minutes of testing for okay. Well, then Diary's going to sing. I'm not singing. What? But um, right now, grab you something to drink, grab you something to snack on, go use the bathroom, do whatever you got to do, and come on back. What's going on, Bobby Cochran in the house? I appreciate all y'all tuning in and watching. I know it's Easter weekend. She will dance. No, she will not. Do it, Barry. No. Do it. No. Do the chicken dance. <laughs> no. <laughs> I got to have some music, you know. Don't say that too loud. Then. What's going on, Chris Gayweth? How are you? But the brackets are, I mean, looking pretty good, aren't they? Yeah, they are. They're just getting everything finalized. Um, her and Cassidy are working over there, getting everything kind of. And that's the list of bracket A right there. So you can see it good. And all that goodness. All that goodness. Bobby Cochran says, hi, guys. Hi. I heard I already won the first giveaway. Uh-oh. What'd you win, Michael Douglas? I don't know. I didn't even hear I won some. <laughs> what, what you winning? I need to go ask her, say, uh. I know we live streaming this and everything, but can we be in that? <laughs> can we win? What's going on? Brian Downey says, well, thanks. <laughs> All right. All right. You want to tell you what? Won't you look down there and. Uh, look down there? Yeah. And all the banners and tell everybody the sponsors for this. Sarah Vega, what's going on? Um, okay. I do see we've got. Banners for RC, Speed Secret, CJC, R1 Works, FAFO, On Time, Printing, Red Monster, A Main, Protech, um, ECD Power, and Team Associated banners. And then you got the two lane sponsors? That would be BBM Performance and Parts and RC Speed Secret. Thanks to all the sponsors. And there's more, I'm pretty sure, but. Um, we're going by what we see right here. So. Michael Douglas says, whatever you got to give away. <laughs> <laughs> and then we want to say a call out to our live stream sponsor for this race. That's going to be Ghost RC, Aaron Klein. If you ain't got one yet, you need one, go get, get one. one. And then 217 Photography. That's our replay sponsor for yep. today. Y'all check him out on Facebook. Hopefully we have some pictures up later. And you need to pop over the, my back to my other little thing over here. What are you talking about? Over here. Oh, you want to see comments? Yeah. <laughs> That's what you got the screen for <laughs> for me over here. Oh, yeah, crazy. <laughs> Brian Downey says, I'm in the process of cleaning my pit trailer. Well, that sounds like fun. Yeah, we got to finish our trailer, religion. don't we? Ronnie Bailey, what's going on? Edward Grant, how are you? I know the Easter Bunny is supposed to be stopping by um, Sunday to all the kids. I hope so. Are, are you hoping to get something? Yeah. I'm hoping to get a Reese cup or something. Are you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ronnie Bailey says, what's up? Brian said, no, not really. But now you did have a steak dinner last night, so just saying. Do what? I didn't say nothing. What? Oh, I thought, I thought I heard somebody. 
Well, she was talking, but, you know, is it okay if she talks to her own race? <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I would think so, smarty pants. All right. All right. You handle this. I'm going to go back on the backside out, you know what I'm saying? So I'll do my thing. You do yours. <laughs> Stay in your lane, buddy. <laughs> All right, Chris Martin, Jason Zarb. What is going on, Brian Downing? Yeah, but it's been a store shed all winter. Well, that's our garage. <laughs> that's a storage shed right there. All right. What are y'all up to this weekend? Are y'all are y'all just chilling on the couch? Are y'all enjoying testing and tuning somewhere? Are y'all wrenching? What are y'all up to while we wait? I know it. I know it's Easter, but I also saw on Facebook where there's a lot of um, actual testing and tunings and some pop-up races going on. Are you getting people drunk? <laughs> Smarty pants. <laughs> you, and you always pull me back in. <laughs> you sat here and set this up with me <laughs> smart ass good lord what's going on jack paul come christian brian joe hamster how are you terry napier what's going on <laughs> he's flying all right Barry, keep your mouth to yourself and i'm gonna get back out and do what we're supposed to okay so i can focus on this I love screwing with him. Um, Chris Padilla, what's going on? <laughs> what a... <laughs> no, you can't do all that. <laughs> You're such a... No, 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 no. John J. Dale, what's going on? How are you? We... <laughs> Dave, your hello family, what's going on? <laughs> Dude, you are not staying in your lane over there. Stephen Bande, what's going on? How are you? Yeah, Travis. Spencer Rudd, Travis looking good. Yes, he is. You're not on it. <laughs> Stay in your lane. Spencer Rudd says Travis is looking good. Yes, he, he has been looking really good this weekend over here. <laughs> so, <laughs> David Rodriguez, what's going on? <laughs> Good replay. <laughs> anyway, let's see what's going on over there. Uh, brackets are posting. Once again, go follow along at rcdragraces.com, and the brackets have posted. <laughs> Galinda Rubin, what's going on? How are you? All right. It looks like we're going to, for the first pair, we're going to have um, Leo versus Scott Davis, Matthew Hells versus Everett Park. Now, I do believe, though, that she said Outlaw is going to be first. So that's going to be um, Shaw Daniels will have the bye run. And then Boogie Rankin against um, Mike Honcho. Once again, go to rcdragraces.com and follow along. It'll be T-Town's first inaugural RC Bash. Bailey Beckner, what's going on? Mark Price, great job. DC in the house, what's going on? <laughs> Are 
Are you popping over there? Donnell Jones, how are you? Galindo, weather looks better today. Less stress on the wigs. <laughs> Less stress on the wigs, the hats, tents. Yeah, um, luckily, no hurricane today. The wind is like, um, I think it said like the most it would get up to is about 9 to 10 miles per hour today. Oh, you coming back on? <laughs> yeah, I got to take it for myself. Kenneth Potts, what's going on? Is that, uh... Is that Sean Miller? Yes, Sean Miller is here today. He's riding, too. And I found out yesterday that is an R1. Yeah, we found out together. Yep. No kidding. <laughs> You're making their ears hurt? <laughs> their ears hurt? <laughs> no. I said, are you making them? Visited him last weekend at the house of Hook's good peeps. Yes, they are. They are very good people. Put it on them. Caitlin getting, <clears throat> Caitlin getting the track back set up. Looks like a sensor went down. Aaron climbs down. He, he's riding his um, little hover round to go get his car. That's funny. Mike Morse, what's going on? Peter Perano, what's going on? Bruce Landreth, how are you? Glenda Rubin, yes. Once again, racing should start in about 20 minutes, I would say. Um, Bruce, thanks to Caitlin for putting on this event. Unfortunately, after a nasty knee, it was fun. Well. It ain't, they don't see that. 
I, kn I know, but I was reading a comment, smarty pants. Oh, well, give me a minute. After a nasty knee, it was fun driving back. Everyone be safe. Main P racing is watching what's going on, Main P. What's going on, Cassidy? Oh, there's a lot of AABB. Huh? There's a lot of AABB. AABB? Main P, hey guys, what's up? I will. Cassidy getting her headphones on. There we go. All right, so there's actually some really good racing that we're going to probably see today. Uh, Marcus Knight and Robert Scherr pair four in A bracket. That should be a good one. And then Russell Imasote. Versus Brian and Lynch, that should be another one. Sean Miller and Travis drew each other both in A and then in B. So, same lanes wow. too. So, that'll be fun. And then Justin West and um, Jordan Farrow have each other, which should be another good one. Um, Russ and then Mitro drew each other, which will be a good one. And then Aaron Klein and RC Corvette drew each other. Wow. That'll be a good race. I'm excited about There's some really good ones. RC Corvette also drew Marcus Knight in, like, A2. So, that'll be cool. That'll be a good one there. There's a lot of good races that are coming up. So um, as far as the racing, I know they were doing double buybacks or not double buybacks. It yes. Was so it's, you have, technically it's like an AA. So it's an A, AA, B, BB bracket. And then you also have buybacks first and second round. Really? So, so you have to lose eight times to be out. That's going to be some racing right there. It's going to be a lot of racing. Yeah. That's going to be fun though. Tony says, what's up? Hi, Tony. <laughs> Jimmy Bailey, what's up, WebRC? What's up? But um, you making any predictions? It's going to be a good day. The sun comes out a little bit, then we're probably definitely going to see it. Travis just ran a 154 in the left lane, so I think that's the fastest pass today. I know Justin and him now have, and there's one other person that's ran a 154, and that was a lick. What was it? Caitlin, what was that? Okay, so I'll check it. Uh, I'll walk down to Okay, give him just a second. Main pieces, that's a lot of race and good ones. Absolutely. And all the brackets are on rcdragraces.com. I walked around, kind of yelled at everyone to look at them. So. Did you? Yeah. I heard y'all getting on to make sure that everything's correct. Yeah, I was helping Caitlin, making sure, like, everyone was entered properly, you know, just making sure that everyone's, you know, if they've entered in for all four, they were in all four, and if they weren't, I'm like, this is your time, like, if Don't there's check. a mistake, let's make sure that we get it fixed. Very cool. So, um, and then what other brackets are they running? I know Outlaw... So it's Outlaw, which technically has four brackets, and then you're going to have Real Street, which has two, and then two five, and then there's also an open bracket. Now, what is the open bracket? So it's a dial-in, okay. pretty much. So you say, I'm going to run a 2-0, and then the you know other lane says they're going to run a 2-2, two -two, and then the tree drops based off of when you say you're going to go. Gotcha. So it's supposed to be really close racing. And this a lot better. So you can actually see the comments. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like that. Jordan and Justin are about to come up and make a pass. Joe Olds came down from Kansas City. He's actually been doing really good in the Midwest. He took second down at my Springfield race a couple weeks ago, and then he took second down in Wichita last weekend. So he's been getting faster and faster. He's been really working at it. Chris Goss says, dang, that's a lot of racing. Sounds like fun. He should have brought his car and came. It's only a two-hour drive. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. That was a good pass. Justin and Travis went back and forth a couple years ago whenever we first started racing in Springfield, going back on who won. I think they ended the year, like, tied. Really? Yeah, it was fun. Where we're at right now. Hey, <clears throat> we're going to get you a seat or something so you can come over and hang out. Is Travis going to need you? Probably not. He hasn't needed me all morning. Okay, sweet. Well, he might have needed me, but I was sort of running around talking to everyone. <laughs> you were socializing. Yeah. I ran to the gas station with Chloe Farrow. I uh, helped Honcho build the front half of his car again after somebody stepped on it. <gasps> no. Yeah, so I got to, you know, unscrew things and screw things back in. That was fun. 
Somebody stepped on it though? Yeah, I think whenever he packed it up last night and was unloading last night, something happened. Ooh. Yeah, um, I had an eventful last night. Um, after everybody left, we went to go um, to the car. I left something on, so um, the battery was dead. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. So we had to get it jump started. Yeah, that was fun. I've done that. I did that at our race a couple weeks ago. Travis is like, and I'm like, was not me. He goes, you're the one with the door open. And I go. I didn't know I, had, I hadn't done anything, though. What's Talking about the car last night. Was the door open? I don't know. It might have been you guys had, like, a phone charger or something plugged into. It was dead. I mean, it was on real dead. I ain't never seen that poor little car cry like that. <laughs> that little car cry. <clears throat> Yeah, the, um, we asked the cops over there, and they didn't have anything to charge it. So the Midwest is kind of funky. I know at least for Missouri, they don't carry jump starts or, like, shim gyms anymore to, like, help do it because it's just a liability issue for them. So I don't know how many times I can get asked at my gas station. You got you got jumper cables? <laughs> yeah, actually, I do. Well, we're going to invest in some. <laughs> Travis, make sure I have a jumping cable, like, jumper cables in my car. Because I'm bad. We came back. Whenever we came back from Vegas last year, we went to the airport and we went to start the car and it was dead. No way. Really. Yeah. And we were like, our flight had gotten delayed and we wanted to pick our dogs up that night. And I'm like, so I'm like flooring it down the highway. We, we pulled in like three minutes to spare to pick them up. Thankfully, Travis like jumped out in front of somebody. He was like, no, can you jump us, please? <laughs> so we had to push my car back. Do every, Yeah. It was not fun. It was eventful. It was a very uneventful back. But you still had that twenty thousand dollars in the pocket. Exactly, so I can't complain too bad. <laughs> so. And then I think this is Ryan Needham. I was trying to learn names as I was entering in people this morning. I'm glad because I don't know anybody. I was definitely learning this morning. Aaron Klein's made a couple cute really good passes this morning. Dino Tapia has made a few really good passes this morning just from me watching. The Wichita boys are always fast. Michael Douglas, uh, remember, you were the one that jumped my car two weeks ago. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> he came down to race with us in Springfield and his car was close, parked closer to us. Thankfully, we weren't the last ones there and had to call somebody back. Hey, can you turn around and come jump me, please? Yeah, Michael Douglas um, was saying that he had already won something from the um, raffle, and I'm like, you've already won something? How the heck did you already win something? And he's like, he was just joking. Yeah. I was like, okay. I was like, wait, did they start? No. <laughs> they uh, ended up, Shut up starting another groove. So they have the tape groove this morning, and then they also have two grooves for Outlaw. So they actually split the groove from yesterday. So they have two grooves to run in. So there's one that's a little less sticky, which with the, how many p r entries we have today, it's definitely going to be needed later on in the day whenever it gets hotter. And then we also, that way we're not just running one Do groove. Do we have a lot hard. more entries come in today? I want, I don't know how many there are total. I can look it up real quick though. We have... 41 in A, which would technically be A and AA, and then 41 in B, which would technically be B and BB. So there's 82 entries. Very cool. So that means the pot's going to be right about, let's see, that'd be 82 times 50, 4,100. Look at Cassie doing that math. I'm good with numbers. <laughs> that'd be good. That's why she Uh-huh. <laughs> and then I think... Caitlin had the po A outs posted, so whoever wins Outlaw is going to take the entire pot, and then buybacks are going to go. So 20% of the buybacks go to Shaw, who's the benefit of this race is for, and then um, it's 60% goes to second, and then it's 10 and 10 to third and fourth. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Asad says, what's up, Val and Cassidy? Hey, Asad. Hey, we plan on making our way down there in June. So about the lanes, you said. So they split the groove for Outlaw. So there's actually two prep grooves and then the tape groove. So they actually have three lanes technically to choose from. 
Did they reapply the tape or did they? Yeah, I did it this morning. Okay. It was covered in grass whenever we got here, so we (laughs) took it off and reapplied it. I cannot imagine that from the wind yesterday. Well, you know. (laughs) Just a little bit. The weather is much better today for racing. Oh, yeah. It's nice. It's like t-shirt jean weather, so it's perfect. Oh, maybe hoodie, you know. You are from the south. Yeah. Not yet. I have one over there. I'll get it here in a second. No, I'm good. I stand on my feet all day at work. You're good. You're good. People get beat up on buses for that. Um, Jaime Vegas says, "What's up, Cassie Bernard? Have fun." Hi, Jaime. Main P, me too. I have, I have a hoodie on too. Sweet. I have mine in the car. It'll get a little chilly later on tonight whenever the weather temp starts dropping. Um, Assad said Cassie might just tell me about it. Perfect. The deal is my little sister has a baby shower, so I don't want to drive down to Texas by myself. So I asked the San Antonio boys, you guys should race, and then I can bring Travis, and he'll come with me, and then he can go race, and I can go to the baby shower. Oh, that worked out well. Yeah, we got to find out what she's having today, so I'm really excited. Uh-oh, today? Yes. Are they having, like, a gender reveal? Yeah, we're going to find out. She's thinking it's going to be a girl. Her husband's thinking it's going to be a boy. I don't know. I hope she has a little girl. Is she carrying her? She carrying her? I don't know. I haven't seen her recently. Uh-oh. So. I think she's carrying a little lower, so she might be. That might lean more towards boy. Uh-huh. I don't know. I'm real excited for her, though. What's going on, Ron Radoff? How are you? And what time does racing actually start? So twelve fi- or yeah, twelve fifteen. So she's gonna do Tony says it's a boy. Um <clears throat> so twelve fifteen is when she's gonna send the first pair down for outlaw. So they have about six minutes left for testing and then they're gonna send them down the first pair at twelve fifteen. Gotcha. Do we know roughly about how much money has been raised for Shaw yet? I don't. I can probably find that out, though. Where is the racing today? Today, we're... Tulsa, Oklahoma. At the O'Brien Park. It's a nice little park. A little confusing to get in if you don't know where you're going. Um, Hi, everyone from NJ Happy Raceway. Good luck. And you got Boogie racking up at the line right now. That was a good pass. Oof. Went flying. I tell you what, those, um, I think it's 3D printed. Um, the Yeah, the little yeah. sensors. Um, there is a guy based out of Kansas City that actually does us. Ours are hot pink. Really? Yeah, he asked me what brightly colored I wanted, and I said pink, and Travis goes no. And I'm like, mm-hmm. So guess what color they are? Well, you're the race director, so. I paid for them. There you go. They work really good, though. They are they are kind of fragile. That's the only issue I have with them. Um, they're they're really good and they work really well. But if they get smacked dead on, um, I think Russell actually is the one that blew one of my apart last year. <laughs> but they crack a little bit. It's just I mean, at the same time they're so low to the ground, they're perfect for the cars because they just kind of hop over uh-huh. them instead of them just dropping or going straight into the air. Really yes, bad. we don't see you know fifty five foot in the air those aren't fun i gotta see travis do that with a brand new car last year i can't remember what big race it was before but we were racing locally it was finals it was racing russell out of joplin i lined him up beautiful passes he hits the ramp at the finish line and it shoots 60 feet in the air he was halfway down walking the track before it hit the ground so i had to like rush order a bunch of parts to fix his brand new car yeah. I'm like, well, at least, you know, you took seconds. So you took a little money home to help. There you help go. That. H- help that. Help pay for it. I'll tell you what. Um, the time change, I know it's only like an hour, but it affects you. Oh, it does. I'm used to it being currently like almost 1 o'clock Eastern. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely, especially whenever we're like we head out rest because they're two hours behind us. So if you go out to California or Vegas, then, you know, you're waking up at 5 o'clock in the morning thinking it's 7. Yeah. And it's 5. And you're like, 
I guess I'm just going to sit here a little while longer. <laughs> Oh, um, main piece says, ouch, I'm glad he got it fixed to race on. That was last year. I can't, it was right before we went to some big race. And I can't remember. It might have been Fall Classic. It might have been Fall Classic. Yeah, I think it was because we had a rush to fix it because I flew Travis out and then I drove out. Because I ended up, yeah, I ended up having to work that Thursday or that Friday. So I ended up flying him out. Thomas Vassy picked him up out of Chicago and drove him the rest of the way. And then I drove that night after I got off work. I, I literally went home, let my dogs out, got in the car and started driving. And I ended up getting there at like one o'clock in the morning and rolled up to the track the next day. And like, Bassy was like, you can let her sleep in if you want. And he goes, she's not going to sleep in. She's going to be up ready to go before I'm out of bed. Were you? Yeah. Thanks. I was like, come on, let's go. It's race day. So let me get this straight. You drive by yourself to some of these races? I've the driven to a couple of them, yeah. Uh, that was the only one that I drove, like, that far of a distance to by myself. How far of a distance was it? It's 10 hours. Wow. Yeah. But Erica's my homegirl, so I have to go up there and support her. <laughs> um, but, no, it's it's a good time. And then I drove here, and then I drove to Super Chips. But this is, like, a two-hour drive. Oops, sorry. I didn't mean to bump you. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> but Scott's been doing really good with his dry tire car today, too. I tell you what, he is the man for rcjraises.com too. I'm gonna go find a chair, talk to Caitlin for a second, okay. and then I will be back to help you with the race. Sweet, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I'm also gonna smoke a cigarette away. <laughs> <laughs> She's so honest. <laughs> uh oh, here we go. What? Caitlin's fixing to make some announcements. She can grab what? the mic. No, Caitlin grabbed the mic. She's fixing to make some announcements. He said 100. Was it was Justin Wilson? Because mm -hmm. we have a Justin Wilson here. I think it's Wait, Justin. Justin. Oh, yeah. Justin. 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 Main yeah. piece is Johnny Dollars. I see you be ready. Time. We're good. We're good. Are so you sure? Because we can go get that, that uh -uh. Uh, 50. No. Just do 40 entries is what our total All right. Let's be. see. They're getting totaled up. Yeah. And Caitlin has Whenever got the mic her in her hand. So we'll him, see what kind of announcement she's going to be making. And can't go back and change I'm not going to reshuffle. Yeah, I wouldn't reshuffle. Who, no. who, who does he have first round? Brandon. Brandon. Competition All right. Hello, can y'all hear me? Test and tune is over. 12-15, round one, bracket A. Shaw has the bye first round. Boogie and Honcho. Brandon Blackburn is going to get the competition bye because Justin Helm is out now. Robert Asleep at the Wheel versus Mar Marcus Knight. Russell versus Brandon Lynch. Sean Miller versus Travis Bernard. Joe Olds versus Robert Hurst. Justin West versus Jordan Farrow. Mitro versus Russ. RC Corvette versus Aaron. Ryan Needham, Needham versus Dino. 12-15, y'all be up here, ready for tech. No, it's done. 12-15 no, you... is first round. They're already up here in their prep. You should just let them make it. Does it sound all right and everything look good? Yeah. I got her on right now. Okay. Well, I can't hear her. I'm on. One hit. After all of that, 15 minutes, we're going round one. He's got the bye first round, so he's good. Driver ready? Watch the light. 
161. You want to take it, Marcus? I'm good. good. 89 mile an hour. Yep. Drivers ready? Yep. Watch the light. One ninety two in the right, two sixty eight in the left. Two sixty eight. So do I. I know. <laughs> well, you can go after him. Are you? I don't, if you want to go, I'll swap you, bro. No. Driver's ready. Yeah. Watch the light. No more 162 in the left, 161 in the right. Oh my god, that was close. Damn. Margin of victory 03, y'all. Here, I'll bring you another one. Thank you. Yes, sir. I trained you. Uh, I was letting Outlaw, who had prepped, make one hit. Oh, that's ready. Yeah. Watch the light. One seventy six. You know. Print you a ticket. I have no break in it. No break. Oh. All right, Honcho. Watch Travis on the top end. Ready? Yep. Watch the light. Dang it. Man, can't figure it out. Back down. Yep. 
Driver ready? Yep. Watch the light. One ninety seven. Okay. Okay. I'll get the front wheel to me. You grab it from down there. Here you go. I can't okay. grab it back. Right here, bro. Nah, I need to come over to the right a little bit. Driver ready. Watch the light. Fifteen minute call, first round. Fifteen minute call, first round. Pairings are up on rcdragraces.com.
You're gonna roll it at 12.5? Okay. Yeah. Huh? Oh. I'm just gonna well, I was gonna say, she could go grab the mic and all three, girls, girls, and, um, all three girls can chit chat. Okay. What's up, everybody? Still the comments? Yes. All right. Let me back them on up. All right. Jeffrey Avers, person turquoise waving. Morning. Would you make up your mind what you want me to do? All right. Um, thank you all for the free stream. Where is, where is all the wind today? It's gone. Thank goodness. Great stuff. Just right. What's up, Webs? Trent Vasquez, hi from a small block kill. Um, need some more points. Need some more point in that ghost. What classes are being ran here at this race? All right. Um, as far as classes go, I'm going to let the um, put Cassidy on. So what go. classes are we have outlaw? We're going to have two five open bracket and then real street. So it's going to be a fun day of racing. Lots of races going to happen. Caitlin, you can go grab your mic over there and come on chit chat. <laughs> it's going to be a good day. Lots of good races, lots of fast races. Um, so who all, I mean, I know we have a lot of good drivers here today, but who all do you, are you? Who am I rooting for? Well, I know who you're rooting for, obviously, Travis, but who all is good competitive? So honestly, so just this is just my opinion. So, honestly, probably the best racers that I know that are here that I've obviously raced with a bunch here. Uh, Dino Tapia, he's competitive. He's fast. Aaron Klein's here with the Ghost RC. He's very competitive. He's been really fast. He's made some killer passes today. I think he laid down a 1.56 and a one, possibly a 1.54 earlier. Um, Justin West has been killing it. Lots of straight shows. Um, Russ and uh, Russell from Joplin have been killing it locally, at least in Springfield and Wichita, so they're really fun to watch. The Wichita boys, don't sleep on them. They're fast. Uh, that's Mitro, Sean, um, Sean Miller, and Brandon. They're fast. They're competitive. We race with them a lot. Joe Olds, like I was saying earlier, he's came down, took in second in Wichita, and taken second in um, Springfield in the past couple weeks, so he's definitely one to watch out for. Um, there's a lot of really good people. RC Corvette's here. He's traveled all over. So he's another good one. Hi, Papa RC. What's up? Good morning. Good hey, morning. Extra holding in for right now. <laughs> There's a lot of good, fast people here. It's definitely going to be a really good day of close racing. Yeah, we saw one sixes last night. Travis ran one five something. Um, I've seen one fives today. So we're not fighting the win at all today. Very good. Bad yesterday. I'm so are you happy with the turnout today? I'm very happy with the turnout. Uh, 40 entries in bracket A, 40 entries in bracket B. Got six in bracket A, real street. Five in bracket C, real street. And then four in index and four in bracket A. Shelter so what exactly is your plan on how you're going to run it? So I'm you're run bracket A, bracket A side. Then I'm going to do 250 index in between the bracket A, A, B. <laughs> I've been calling it A, 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 B. A, A, A. So we'll do 250 index in between A, A and A, B. And then, hey, Annabelle. Um, then we'll run open bracket in between. B A. B A. <laughs> and then finish out index and then go into B B. And then work on it bracket there. Out, out. We'll get real street in there, there somewhere. And you're doing right. double buybacks as well? Buybacks first and second round for outlaw in a real street and index. So that's got everybody. Awesome. The percentage of that is going to Shaw for his for continued recovery. What we're here for. There you go. Do you guys know how much money you guys have raised so far? There we've got raffles. We're doing a 50 50 raffle. So half of that's going to go to the winner of the raffle and half's going to Shaw. We've got a, a bunch of products that were donated. So we're raffling those off as well. 
Awesome. Thank all of those amazing companies that donated for us. Very cool. <laughs> it's I mean, going to be a good day. It's going to be a good fun day of racing. We're glad to be here. Yeah. I mean, what more can you ask for? RC racing. There you go. Right. It's a lot better than a day at work. Amen. <laughs> um, how many outlaw cars in the event? So it would be, she said there's 40 in A bracket, and then there's 40 in B bracket, which would technically be A and A, B, and then B, A, or B and then B, A. So it would be right about 20 people that are, 20 yeah, 20 people that are here. Yep. I counted 21 last night when we were doing a quick 16, so we had one guy unfortunately break a car that had a draw, but whoever is racing him will get the competition by. Okay. Since we've already created the brackets. Gotcha. Which I think that's going to be Brandon Blackburn. Yeah, there was no get the way that could have In bracket A, A. And then I think there'll be another bracket or another competition. Very cool. You excited? I'm a girl. I'm excited. I've, I've been talking about this for a long time. And <laughs> just this showing, um, I'm super appreciative of everybody that came out. Uh, we knew that we were going to have. You got some strong racers that came out. Very strong. And trying to make this a best showing that we can for them and a good service and everything like that. So. Well, hey, you're going to do good. Yeah, definitely. There's definitely. Oh, Jordan Farrow is also here, and yeah, and Marcus Knight, and Marcus Knight, yeah, Marcus Knight, the winner of Redemption last year. So definitely going to be some quick passes, some fast passes. There's a couple people that lined up against each other, both in like A bracket and then like A B bracket or B bracket. So yeah, Travis drew Sean in both. Oh, did he? Yeah, I walked over and I go, Hey, Sean, are you just trying to pull Travis this entire weekend? No, we're using our speed drag race. Randomized, that is. It is. It's just funny because they race each other locally a lot. But I was saying last night on our way up here that Travis and Sean actually has, they haven't been able to race at like our last few ones. Like they didn't draw each other. So the fact that they drew them three well, times in the same up. weekend. Yeah, they're making up for it. That's awesome. Then they're not going to draw each other for the rest of the year. <laughs> hey, it works out like that. It does. It's just completely random, which yeah. is the, another reason why I love the RC drag races because everything is so random about it. Yeah, uh, uh, Seth Lowe, Matt and I got paired together three times. Uh, Russ and Russell both got paired. It's really confusing to me. So Russ what? told me to call him Stu. So if you guys hear me call him Stu today, okay. that's why. Because that's how I was introduced to him, and that's what I call him. And then Russell. So if I say Stu today, just know it's Russ. Okay. I'll probably that, but, you know, I'll be looking at the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, you got about eight minutes or so. So I'm going to start getting these guys up to the line. And Sweet. We're in good hands. Yep. Good hands. Good hands. Georgia RC Motorsports. Hello. What's going on? <clears throat> Scott Davis over here showing him all yep. the things on there. Yeah. All the new things. He does so many cool things with this program. Once again, follow along with rcdragraces.com. It's going to be T-Town's first inaugural RC Bash. I don't really need it, you know, a couple hundred people watching or it can figure that fair base. That does not need everything to go figure it. So I just got to work on that one. My bad. <laughs> yeah. They got Annabelle out here running around everywhere. Pretty doll, though. Oh, she's so sweet. She, I got love on her earlier today. She she cracks me up. She will um, go with him to the line when they race, but she won't chase after the car. Um, so earlier she was up here. She stood behind Caitlin, and she goes, ready? They said, yeah, and the light turned green, and she waited till the cars were on three-quarters of the track and then took off. <laughs> she didn't try and chase the car. She just was running. She's like, I'm going, too. My dogs would not be doing that. So, who do we got first round? We've got first round. Let's see. That is Outlaw Shaw Daniels is going to have a bye run. 
And then we got Boogie versus um, Mike Honcho. You know, she don't understand what she's and doing. And then we got Brandon versus she's Justin. Got phone. She got, she's got the, all that stuff over there. But I can see it so much better I over here. Know that now I got to go through there and reset everything that I had. Oh, I have not. Do what? Oh, not bad. All okay. I did was touch it a little. <laughs> So then we're going to have, so pair two was Boogie versus uh, Mike Honcho, and then pair three is going to be Brandon Blackburn. He's actually going to have a competition by because Justin ended up breaking his car. Pair four is going to be Robert Shore versus Marcus Knight. That's going to be a good race. Do that, do that. Pair five is going to be Russell versus Brandon Lynch. Pair six is going to be Sean Miller versus Travis. Pair seven is going to be Joe Olds versus Robert Hurst. Pair eight is going to be Justin West versus Jordan Farrow. Pair nine is going to be Mitro versus Russ. Pair 10 is going to be RC Corvette versus Aaron Klein. That's going to be another really good race. And then pair 11 is going to be Ryan Needman against Dino Tapia. So definitely some good fast racing in the first half of it, or at least in the first quarter of it, technically. <laughs> it's going to be fun. It's definitely a little different, but, I mean, it puts more money in the pot. Amen. Michael Douglas says, looks like the fastest people in the Midwest showed up. Uh, I think we're like missing move. one of them because he decided he didn't want to come see us. <laughs> Buick King, where are y'all at today? We are in Tulsa, Oklahoma at the first RC, T-Town's first inaugural RC bash. Michael Donaldson, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. They got the barbecue truck back out here today. They do. It was really good. I haven't tried it yet. I'll probably go over there and get lunch in a little bit. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and give you a heads up. You'll get full after just eating the sandwich. Okay. I'll probably just go get something and split it with Travis because he doesn't really eat on race days. So I have to remind him to eat. Well, one sandwich and the fries will fill you up. Jaime Vega says that Sarah and him would have loved to be here. We would have loved to see you. I don't think I've seen you since November. Really? Yeah. Well, they're East Coast. I know. So everyone else that lives on the East Coast gets to see him, and I don't. It's one bad thing about living in the Midwest, I guess. <laughs> it's nice, but, I mean, there's perks to it, and there's also, you know, the disadvantages of it. But at least living in the Midwest, I mean, most races are anywhere between 10 to 12 hours. Now, I don't drive over 10. Or don't. I don't drive over 12. If it's anything over a 12 hour drive, I fly. Like, even if it's 12 hours and one minute. Nope. You're Hopping flying. on the plane. Just because that's a lot, and it's a lot of miles to put on both of our vehicles. I think Travis and I ended up putting almost like 15,000 miles on, like, between my car, like, on my car and 15,000 on his truck last year. Really? Yeah. We drove a lot. I know I didn't come to SoFlo. Hey, at least I sent Travis to come see you, Jaime. Why didn't you come? I had to work. So it was a last minute thing. Um, it was the week before and I looked at Travis and I said, Florida got canceled next month. You should go to SoFlo. And he goes, well, are you going to come with me? And I go, I can't. And he goes, well, what are we going to do? I'm like, Hi, Ronnie. Uh, hey, can you pick Travis up from the airport and be his uh, RC wife this weekend? So Ronnie, Bailey, and um, Travis got to hang out, which was really cool. And then Bailey Beckner and I were on the phone the entire day. We're watching the race <laughs> at home. We hey, had to pull up. I want to say I thank Bailey at the race in Georgia, but thank you because y'all help. They don't understand. Y'all don't understand how helpful it is, like, when y'all, you know, give us feedback. Because that's what we're asking for is we're asking for feedback. And, you know, when something's wrong, we like to know. We were, it was just like, I'm like, can you just back the camera up just a little bit? Okay, perfect. I can yes. see everything right here. This is all I need to see. Because we're, we were watching the videos trying to help, like, because normally if Bailey and I are there, you know, you've seen us. We get down, we crouch down, we do yeah. the slow-mo videos. We get, you know, how the tires rotate and everything for that, you know, Travis and Shay know exactly What's what going? happened on their past. Because they can pull it back up on the video. But sometimes you can't get that super close, like how did it stick, where did it spin, you know. Uh -huh. And you can read the data and figure that out, but those videos help. So, like, we were going on, and we're sitting there, and we're watching, and we're like, calling Travis, this is what I did. Okay. <laughs> Very cool. So, and then we saw him and Ronnie run past at one point, and I'm like, why are they running? Why are they running? Trying to call, nothing, no answer. And I'm like, calling the person next, that's putting with them, what, what's going on with Travis's car? Like, I was a nervous mess the entire weekend. I was like, really? what's going on? Yeah. 
because I've been at every single race that Travis has ever gone to. I've e That was the first major race that I've ever missed, and it, I've only ever missed one local event that he's raced in. So it was really difficult for me to sit home and not, not be no. there. So, yeah. But it was kind of cool because his dad actually got to see him race because he's not very technical, like, doesn't understand technology as much. So I was able to pull it up on our TV, and he was actually able to watch the live stream. Very cool. So he got to watch everything. Hey, Sean. Sean Sell. Oh, okay. What's going on, Sean? Oh, um, Vera is getting baptized this weekend. That's why they were not able to make it. Oh. Yeah. That's awesome. Yep. Now, racing is supposed to start at what time? I think we're supposed to be sending down the first pair any time now. Jamie Vegas said it was hard uh, not having Sarah there either. Us, we, us race wives do a lot more than people realize. I mean, who else is going to book your hotel? There you go. <laughs> hey, speaking of booking a hotel, i got to book another one tonight. we got to figure out. So we're two hours from home. And depending on how late this goes, um, if we book if we book another hotel or if we're just going to drive home. We're 15 hours away. Yeah, see, it makes sense for you to book a hotel. <laughs> um, Sean South, can't tell Val is from the South. What's up with the hoodie? It's cold. Bailey Beckner's like, tell me when Travis is up. I'm like, I will. I will. <laughs> <laughs> Sean South, if my wife ain't going with me, I am not racing. <laughs> Pretty much. Hey, he did really good. He still finished in the top 16 even with me not being there. So it's that's an accomplishment at any race. To get into when you have so many racers, getting this up even, you know, to where you're getting into that top 32, top 16, top 8, yeah. that's an accomplishment right there. Like it's a huge accomplishment just to win it. But just to get to the where you're in the top 16, the top 8, like that's a huge accomplishment for anyone oh absolutely because i mean you're going against a lot of people there's so many racers and so many passes that you have to make just to get up there so you know even just winning you know getting out of first round and getting out of second round getting on to those farther rounds you know especially with the competition that we have yeah, nowadays it's hard competition now it's extremely difficult there's so many good racers uh oh, oh. Cassidy getting a phone call? Yeah, from uh -oh. the husband. Oh, I'm Travis calling. I'm on live, Travis. Huh? What? Okay, I'll come <laughs> over there. One second. Uh-oh, Cassidy is needed. I have to go over there. Do you want to hop on? No, I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay. All right. She's gone. She's been called, huh? She's been called for, for help. So what are they doing now? Um, I'm not really sure. Because I've been sitting here talking to Scott about the system, and not really. I'm alive. Sarah, we, we talked about this a little bit. We yes, talked so about true. The <laughs> guys need us absolutely. Let's look around and see what everybody's doing. Got some tech going on. Yep. Got Mike Honcho over there. Let's see. They may be getting ready to line up. Yep. It's getting close in these two. Oh, it's going to be time. Hmm. Sean South says, at least the wind died. Yes, it did. Thank goodness. Yeah, we were able to actually put our setup up today. Yesterday was uh, a little crazy. Yeah, we were not fixing to get everything out yesterday. Well, it would have, have been everywhere. Sean had landed at your house. <laughs> What's going on, Daniel Lewis? How are you? But, yeah, we've got some really um, good lineups for today. We've got, once again, we're going to have Boogie Rankin against Mike Honcho, Brandon Blackburn against Justin, Robert Asleep at the Wheel Schroer against Marcus Knight, Russell against Brandon, Sean Miller against Travis, Joe against Robert Hurst, and Justin West against... Jordan Farrow, Billy Bob. Not old Billy Bob. Billy Bob. Yeah, we got the sun coming back out the finally. The sun is starting to come out. 
And I do apologize for my voice cracking. <clears throat> um. Yes. Chargers for the big batteries. Uh huh. Is it in the car still? Yes, it is. Okay. Alrighty then. I'm gonna go get that real quick. Okay. She comes back. You put her back on. Okay. <clears throat> you got this one, man. Yes. Um, how many entries? Okay. Um, in bracket, in bracket A, there is 40 entries, and then bracket B, there are 40 entries. So, and they are doing double buybacks. So each racer technically would be able to race eight times before actually getting knocked out. Y'all let us know, I mean, if the view is okay, if the sound is good. Right now, it's time to go grab you something to drink, grab you something to snack on, because everybody is, um, we've got a bunch of people up at the tech, which means racing is fixing to start in just a few. Okay. Well, Dad, go Cassidy. Cassidy is on top of her game today. Very cool. Yeah. I'll tell you what, that's one great thing about Cassidy is she is over there. She is helping in all aspects that she is needed. That's awesome. Can't hear the wind in the mic. It's messing me up. <laughs> Papa. Um, Curtis Crawford, hello, Webs. Good sound and picture. Thank you. We are trying. And like I said, um, if there's issues or anything like that, please let us know so that way we can correct them. All right, let's see what we got going on. Yeah, Sean South texts me, why are you wearing a hoodie? It's beautiful outside. Um, Sean, it is beautiful out here, but I'm from Georgia, as you know, so um, it's still a little chilly to me. I think you need to move the camera one millimeter to the right. Papa, you are just so funny. My issue is there's no racing, LOL. And racing is going to start in just a little bit, so just bear with us. <clears throat> oh, no. Like I said, they are getting ready over there at the tech table. See, they are getting ready. So racing should start in just a few. Look at Cassidy over there. Uh, would you expect anything else from you, Papa? No, but we love you. Billy Bob can't miss him. <laughs> um, yeah, he he's been a hoot today.
Paul. Paul. Um, <clears throat> I told, I said that, you know, if anything needed to be corrected as far as the angles or anything, please let us know. And Paul, Paul chimed in, um, you need to move the camera one millimeter. <laughs> Then I move it all the way around over there. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I tell you what, she's got a lot of hard, difficult people today. Like as far as winning and racing, and it's going to be a good lineup. A lot of, a lot of fast people. Yeah, that's what I mean. You said hard people. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. <clears throat> They're good racers. Cream of the crop. There you go. The cream of the crop. All right. Let's see what we got. Got Aaron Klein over there in tech. Marcus Knight. Jordan Farrow. Mike Honcho. Travis is walking up. Checking the prep lines. And they also do have a tape lane. RC Speed Secret. Let them see the lanes. Let them see the lanes. They've built up two really good um, lanes. <clears throat> Anyone using the tape grade? Yes. Um, I think there's like one or two racers that are using it. <laughs> Going to be a hard race to call it. Everybody there is fast. Absolutely. Brad Gomez, hello y'all, what's going on? Sean South, I gotta go with Aaron for the win. I'm losing my voice or something, Richie. Well, quick. <clears throat> yeah, Sean South, I said he should have come over here and spectated because we know he don't race. <laughs> um, Billy Bob says, Sean, you should have come up here and um, at least spectated because we know you don't race. Yeah, he's on he's on the track as much as I am, man. <laughs> Jason Sara, um, hey, did the race start yet? No, it has not. Um, Sean South says Russ will be a close second. He's been on fire. <laughs> Current time is 12.43. Sean South said had a baptism to go to. Once again, tell Sarah congratulations and we love her. And once again, y'all, everyone, have a happy Easter this weekend. Be careful, but have a good Easter weekend. And um, thank you, waiting to watch from the igloo, <laughs> Jason Zarb. So what is the temperatures over there, Jason? Once again, thanks to our sponsors for the live stream this weekend. That's going to be Ghost RC and 217 Photography.
Um, Papa RC, got a pull for Billy Bob. I think he is my brother from a different mother. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Um, Caitlin has said that in about five minutes, racing should start. So I'm going to take a break from talking before I lose my voice completely <clears throat> and grab me something to drink. And y'all go ahead and grab you something to drink, grab you something to snack on, go use the bathroom, do whatever you need to do, and we'll be right back, okay? We're going to put it on with them? Yeah. All right, I got me a, I got me a cold beverage, and I'm ready to go. Jason Zarb said 22 today. Wow. Or is that a negative two? Um, Sean South, I see the winner of Redemption 3.0. Yes, Marcus Knight is over here.
Let's see what we got. We got Honcho. Oh, I love the names on the shirts. Okay, we got Honcho El Diablo. And what's the other one? El Jefe. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so just make sure he, he gets the money back. All right, Marcus Knight's over there. We got Cassidy over there. All right. <laughs> She's calling out names. I can't hear her. She's on, bro. You ready? Yeah, Boogie, I see Boogie down there. We there we go. Now I can hear her. All right. I couldn't hear anything in there. She's talking about your end. First yeah. Negative two today. Wow, Jason. Dang, Cassidy, up in it. get this straight. You do tech too? So we're only doing tech for the first round. Okay. Um, we just checked everyone's battery voltages. Everyone was under. So we just teched for first round. Um, everyone's car is heavy. I think the lightest car I saw out here was a 21 something. Really? Everything else is 23 and up. Um, and then batteries, we were just checking for battery voltage. 844 is the max. And I think I saw one that was an 842. Everything else was 838, 839, 840. So they just checked it for first round, gave everyone a sticker. Boogie's coming. Boogie's coming, then we're gonna start rolling. But. Yeah, Boogie's coming. Cassidy, I have to say, you know your shit. <laughs> just saying. I'm just here for assistance. Anything she needs, I got her. It's nice, like, Erica made the comment that it's really nice whenever you have another race director there that knows how to run the system and stuff because then if you have to go to the bathroom during testing, uh -huh. you can go and you're not stuck there. Or, you know, if something happens and you're like, and you have that other second set of eyes, it's really nice, especially, you know, because we don't see everything. We right. try really, really, really hard. And sometimes, you know, it's nice to have the video replay whenever that happens because you don't know. Sometimes it's a really close call. Did that car touch the line or did they cross the line? So it's definitely one of the things that like I've implemented like so we have curbs at our track that we race locally on and I'm like you can hit the curve skyrocket over there as long as you break the beams first on the end of it you're good you're golden now if you cross I say it's a visible cross so like if I'm sitting here and I can see obviously your car goes over the line that's a cross if you're gonna touch it okay and a lot of race you know it's different Tony no Tony you know you're my favorite <laughs> All right, so I think they're going to put Shaw's by down at the end of it. Boogie's coming up. He's going to be in our right or in our left hand, our RC Speed Secrets lane. And then Mike Honcho out of the 217 is going to be in the BBM lane. Travis is in four pairs, Bailey. Uh oh. Uh oh. I think he's going to send it without body clips. Uh -uh. It's this. That's no. uh, the buy. No. Next one. Ready? Watch the light. Oh. oh, I think the way it goes is since he cross, I believe left lane's going to take it. Left lane. Left lane taking the win. That'd be Buggy Rackin. He's out of OKC, Oklahoma City. They're going to have to fix the track. Um, Bailey asked, did Travis already go? I hold, she, he's got four pairs. He's pair six. Buggy broke the beam, but poor Honcho over here hit the wall. Poor
poor Hunter. Yeah, he crossed and hit the wall. Sean Miller's down there doing what he does best, fixing the track. Track. He's quick hit quite a few ramps in his day. He really has. Oh, we find out what my sister's having. <gasps> And and it's loading. And it's loading. Patiently waiting. Tony center. told me it's a boy, so let's see if he's right. Oh, it's Wendy in San Antonio today. Or down in Temple. <gasps> it's a girl! It's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. That's exciting. Oh, that's exciting because we mostly have boys. So like oh, Travis's really? friends and everyone, and like my best friend, they all have boys. So now I gotta go girl shopping. I'm so excited. Are you excited about that? Oh yeah, I'm oh, so excited. That baby gonna be spoiled. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's the first grand. So it's the first great grandbaby on my side. Awesome. It's the first grandbaby period on her side, uh, on his, on her husband's side too. Oh, that baby is gonna be spoiled. And it's. Yes. So, like, my older brothers, they're not from my mom, so it's my mom's first grandbaby, too. So, like, my half-brothers, they have mm -hmm. ba they have kids. And so I'm really excited because, like, my little sister, she's the only one that, like, I'm fully biological. So, like, I'm closest with her. Mm -hmm. So for her to have a little girl, like, I'm so excited. She's going to be such a good mom, too. <laughs> All right. Got the track fixed. Track is fixed. I don't know if, I think Shaw was coming up with his car for the buy. Brandon, Justin Hale. Oh, here, I got it real quick. I'm gonna go tech him okay. right back. Justin. All right, looks like we're gonna go um, Brandon against Justin. It's going to be Brandon against Justin, and ready? Watch the light. he will have a bow run. Yep. Good pass. Two six reaction, ran a one sixty three. Robert Schrower, Mark Knight. All right, we got uh, Robert against Marcus Knight coming up. Right there. Your left lane. Marcus is right. All right. All right. Marcus is going to be in the right lane. Robert in the left lane. This will be a good race. And it's freak show versus freak show. Who are you calling? So this is hard. Marcus is one of my team drivers, and Robert's my local. So I can't call on this <laughs> one. I do have a special place in my heart for Robert, though. So. Oh, that's a close one. 169 in the left, 178 in the right. Who took that one? I don't know. That's why I couldn't see the light on the tree. Let me get these guys. Who won that one? Russell versus Brandon Lynch. Mar Robert did. Yep. A 169 to a 178. That was a close one. That was a good one. All right. Up next is going to be Russell against Brandon. So Brandon's one of the 217 guys. Let's help him put on Midwest Classic. And then Russell is another one of our locals. He's been doing really well locally. He's been doing really good. He was in the final four at Redemption 3.0 last year. So definitely going to be a good race here. I do have to pull left a little bit more, though. Russell's my home boy. Is that the 217 Desterly yes. Syndicate? Okay. Yes. Yeah, I've been commenting all weekend about their t-shirts. I love it. Driver's ready. Watch the light. Oh. Ooh. Left lane. 
left lane. On 169. All right, it looks like according to next, it's going to be Travis and Sean. He's right there. Sean's right there. They're both heating. Yep. <laughs> they can't wait when they come over to examine the um, track and everything. We like. Touching it and everything. Oh, I've held everything. Travis is a professional uh, groove tester. <laughs> He's always out there. Every time you see him at a race, he comes up on the live stream. Is okay. he touching? Touching. He's touching. He's looking at it. He's like, okay. So let me ask you a question. Um, since I obviously don't race, are they touching to see which one's stickier? What exactly are they feeling for? So... I don't race either, but from what I have learned, um, they're testing to see which lane's stickier. Um, they're checking to see, you know, what the track temperature is. Travis has like the golden finger and he's like, okay, this is the groove that I'm going in. All right, speaking of Travis, here we go. Ooh, that was Ooh. a good one. Right lane took the win on that one. Zero, 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 eight margin of victory. God. That was close. It was a 161 in the left. Caitlin, what was it in the right? Like I said, Travis and Sean always put on a good race. Those were close. Point zero, 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 eight margin of victory on that. Don't look over here, but there's a spider. Do what? There's a spider. You may No, play. it's fine. I have pet spiders. Oh, you have pet spiders? Yeah, I have three pet jumping spiders now. Okay. Travis cut one off the back of his track. I had two. Now I have three. So we're going to have Joe Olds in the left lane. Robert Hurst is in the right. No. Joe's going to take it. Good pass right there. Bailey said that was a great run. That was a really good run. Justin West is another one of our locals. Jordan Farrow, also known as Billy Bob. That cracks me up. Does anybody know how he got the nickname Billy Bob? I don't, but I can definitely find out. This will be a good one. Justin and Jordan both have been, well, Jordan's been struggling a little bit, but we also have known for Jordan to pull things out. Okay, I was wondering if it was just me. Oh! Ooh. Looks like Justin West is gonna take that one. Justin West and Jordan Farrell look like twins. I, you know, they definitely could be. I, I mean, yesterday when we first got here, I was like, that looks like Jordan Farrow, but it was Justin. And I was like, oh my God, they look, yeah, they look identical to me. His light went red before the tree was ready. Uh -huh. I don't know. I don't know. We got who? Mitro! We got Mitro uh, versus Russ. Yeah, uh, yeah, Stu. Mitro's okay. on his way up. You bomb back? You bomb back? Nope. Nope. Uh, right that there. one. Right there. It's a long walk for you guys, ain't it? Right there. Right there. Yep. All right, Mitra is going to be in our left lane. Stu or Russ is going to be in our right lane. He said, "Put him in the beam." He said, "All right." Mitra is going to be in the RC Speed Secret lane, and Stu is going to be in the BBM Performance lane. Let's see. Up next, Corvette, Mr. Aaron Klein. 
This one's going to be Ooh. RC, Corvette, and Aaron Klein. They both are making some killer licks today, so this is definitely going to be a good race. I do kind of have to lean more towards Aaron because he is our local. Well, local-ish. We've raced with a, lot, a lot with Aaron over the last couple months. He didn't come out and race much last year, but I think it's definitely because he was working on the new Ghost ESC. Oh, yeah. ESC? ESC. Yes. But. Nope. No. Go that other way. Right there. This is going to be a good one. All right, Aaron Klein in the BB in performance and RC Corvette in the RC Speed Secret Lane. And this is a Plan B chassis against the Super chassis, so this is definitely going to be... They're both very consistent. Plan B has been making a name for themselves. Rick Bromley, Joe Olds, Aaron. Oh. Oh, that was a good one, too. Left lane. Left lane. Margin of victory, zero, zero, one, four. You ran a zero, one, zero, one, four. In the right, 164 in the left, but he got you on the tree. It was a whole shot, 161 one to 164. Got him on the tree. Good job, man. All right. Up next, it's going to be Ryan versus Dino. And then Travis is going to set his car for him. Dino recently had a had a knee surgery, and his knee's really hurting him today. So, really, Just, yeah. So Travis and uh, Justin have been helping set his car for him. I asked him if he wanted me to set his car earlier on a test pass, and he said, "Or Justin." I'm like, "Well, so then you don't want me to set your car because you don't trust it." <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've set cars before, and the kids won. There you go. I didn't set the outlaw car though. That was right lane. Dino's going to take that. To right. 174 to a 178. RC Corvette almost got it. What? <laughs> got to be careful at that, at that end. <laughs> All right. Up next, who we got? Um, so that was the end of A. Um, we're, oh, well. Uh, Shaw, our guy that's for the our benefit. Yep, yeah, the benefits for. He's about to come up. He actually was. He drew the by run. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, he actually. I was talking to him not too much, and he uh, really appreciated the 804 boys coming on, and was talking to me a little bit earlier about Travis and I's live we did with them. Really? Yeah. Very cool. He's like, it was so cool watching you guys on there, and I'm like, we really <laughs> appreciated being on. There. It was great. We had such a good time. They're awesome, aren't they? Oh, they're so much fun. Brian Vaney, though, that man was giving me so much crap that day. Bring yeah. Back, bring it back, bring it back. To the left. There it is, right there. Ooh. Roll it back, roll it back, roll it back. Okay. She's learning. She's learning. She's doing good. <laughs> yeah. You know, for being a dry tire, you know, whenever you race dry tire and then coming out and running an event that does have prep, it it is, it is a change. Different. It's a change of pace. And she's definitely, she's definitely learning with it. Yeah. You got a, a, but, a but. Every race director has to learn. It does. You it, know it's, what I'm saying? It's a hundred percent. It is an entire like I learn something new every time I go to a race, and every time I watch a race, it's definitely something I learn every time I go to a new one. Um, I've learned loads just from traveling last year, and like there's certain things that I've seen at other races that I bring into my program, you know, and that's the goal at the end of it is to make the program that I run better every time I do it. Absolutely. I mean, um, that's why we say, like, on a lot of our live feeds, you know, um, that they're, you know, it's pretty much a full circle. Like, you can't have races without racers, but you can't have races without race directors. So everybody kind of needs to work together and not give each other grief. Okay, so 250 is coming up yep. right now.
do what now? Okay. All right, let's see. We've got Brandon, go lay. What's going on? Jose, how are you? Steve Knight, Taylor, Taylor how are you? All right, what they're doing right now is they're working up to get the next um, brackets up. <laughs> Caitlin and Cassidy working together, awesome. All right, and the two, once again, go follow along at rcdragraces.com and you'll be able to follow along with the brackets. Okay, Outlaw will be back up in 20 minutes. There we go. Your mic is off, yeah, her mic's off. There you go. There we go. Yeah, so they'll be back up at 1.30. Central Standard Time, so 2.30 on the East Coast. I'm curious how Pickens Race is going right now. Have you heard? I'm asking Bailey right now. Oh, is that where they're at? Mm -hmm. They drove out to go hang out with Tommy Burgess and James Pinson and all of them out there. Very cool. I know um, there's also a race going on in Florida, too. Is there? Yeah. Is it one of their class races? And I don't know. I know um, Kaylee had said that she was. Um, they were headed out there. Like I said, there's a lot of races going on. There's so many races. And so rcdragraces.com has a great thing so that if you want to find a race, there's also a filter on the main screen that you can find races within 500 miles. Of yes. Or 250 miles or, you know. Which is really nice because, you know, for a weekend that Travis and I actually don't have a race, I can look on and be like, where are we racing this weekend? <laughs> I mean, I think everybody needs to get registered at rcdryraces.com. It's such a great program. It works so well. It's easy to use. It's user-friendly on the race director. It's user-friendly for the racers. It also saves so much time. Yes. Could you imagine doing a out of like doing a chip draw at a national events where we have over 200 entries no oh my gosh i couldn't do it i'd be like no and that's the nice thing and even for local things now i don't have to remember oh crap i forgot my chips how am i gonna do this yep because there's so many things that i have to remember to bring i have to bring the tree i have to bring you know i have to bring my notebook i have to bring you know my cash box i have to bring you know chips everything else so with this it takes so much off it because now i don't have to bring my notebook all you have to do is just enter the names in online and also you can put it on there at like how much money each bracket is and how much your track fee is and then whenever you add them in there at the end of it it'll give you a total okay i need this much really yeah and oh, that's awesome so that makes it a lot easier on the race director too because then you're not have to do in mental math and the racers can um, actually register there as well for the races, right? Yeah, they can pre-register on them, too. So you can go in, um, pre-register for them. Uh, Midwest Classics pre-registration is open. I think we have a little over 20 or let's see. I haven't looked at it in a second. I got. That's the other thing. The only that I would have for Scott is to make it where people can see who exactly is coming. Because, like, race directors can see it, mm -hmm. but racers can't. And I don't know if that's possible or not. It might be. It might not be. I might also be asking for too much. Hold on. <laughs> we don't ever ask for too much, do we? Well, sometimes I am a woman. <laughs> I do. And that's what I'm saying. But, um, I, I really like and, um, I like the added fact that you, you can go in there and, like you were saying, find a race near you. Like, um, it has so many Salt Lake City clashes in here, um, Summer Meltdown, the Bayou City Dash for Cash, just different things on here that show exactly what races you can go to you and figure out where stuff is. Looks like, oh, that was last year. I know, like, um, Midwest Classics on there, um, Desert Classics in there. Um, Super Chips is on there, too. Yeah, Super Chips. Redemption. 
Yeah, um, I got 38 entries so far. For 38? Yes, so far for Midwest Classic. Very cool. So if y'all going to go to Midwest Classic, go ahead and get registered on there. Yes. <laughs> She's like, yes. And if you don't know how to do it, just message me and I'll, uh, I'll She'll walk, walk you through, through it. it. I did that last weekend, so I, we were supposed to go up to Wichita, and I was going to help Sean Miller's wife, Michelle, um, learn how to use RC drag races because she'd mm -hmm. never done it. And I woke up, and I just didn't feel good. I was like, I'm, no, I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying in bed. And so I told her, I'm like, if you have any questions or anything you need, call me. I'm like, just because I don't feel good doesn't mean I'm not going to help you with that right. still. So I went through and, like, I helped her register everyone. I helped her, you know, set the brackets. I showed her how to do it. So it was definitely, it was fun. It was a good time. Awesome. And is my husband being a professional group checker again? Yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get him a T-shirt that says that. Professional group tester. Uh -huh. You reckon he'd wear it? He might, or at least around the house. <laughs> he might find it. A, he might find it a little funny. Uh oh, if it's a race. Are we racing? I don't know. Sounds like it. Oh, it's a pro tree instead of the instant green tree. So pro tree is where all the lights light up instead of the other one. And I guess they were testing with it today, so they said that they were going to do Pro Tree for it. And I think this is. Guys. Leo, you're ready? Huh? Driver, watch the lights. It's 2 5 index. So. 256. Is it. Ryan's got you ready. Uh. Okay, he had the bow run? Yes. Okay. Next, we're going to have Ryan and Scott. Ryan's going to be in your left lane. Scott will be in your right Driver lane. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, Scott's Good flying. Run. Right lane, left lane broke out. What's that, right? 236. Left lane. Left lane broke out. 236. Right lane, 253. Hey, that's right. And it looks next, we're going to have DMO and Everett. Everett's going to be in our left lane, and DMO is going to be in our right lane. If they're up. Yeah, they're, I think they're up there. Are they up there? You can buy back if you want to. Yes? Question mark? <laughs> yes. I can barely hear her, so I'm trying to... DMO is our Mr. right Earl, lane with the ready? red car. There you the go. Car on. We, we got gas in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then Everett's going to be in our right. Oh, no, I mean, our, in our left lane, our RC Speed Secrets lane. Ground, it's hard. You're in, Mr. Earl. You're right there. Driver's ready. Watch the light. Good pass. That was a good pass. Good. Ooh, Ooh and he just. Out, they almost. No. And he broke out. Yeah, the 244. Wow. Oh, that's the one thing that's hard about index. Yeah. It really is. Yes, sir. Are, are we finishing uh, this or are we just switching this rest to Outlaw? We're going back to Outlaw. Uh, unless, you want, unless you want to run it out, I mean. No. I, mean, I, I can run with the Outlaw. Outlaw. Charge a battery again? It's. I think it's every. I think it's every class. It's going to be a lot of racing. Yeah. I should probably start looking at a hotel for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Travis, what's that debit card number again? <laughs> I told him that. So I wanted a wallet for Valentine's Day. That's what I asked for. And he goes, and I go, can I order it? And he goes, yeah. I'm like, okay, let me see your debit card. And he goes, you know my number. And I'm like, you're right. I do. <laughs> start pressing it in. I have to ask him a wallet person. What kind of wallet did you want? Oh, I got a Kate Spade. It's gray and white. Ooh, I like Kate Spade. Kate Spade, yeah. Um, I got a little card holder and the wallet. Ended up costing less than 80 bucks. Yay. I'm a bargain shopper. 
Listen, if I could bargain on the RC car parts, I would all day. <laughs> I'm really good about that. So like Southwest, they run a bunch of deals and yeah. stuff. So anytime I see anything or a yeah, Legion or anyone, I go through and I like I post it up on our group chat to let mm -hmm. everyone know. That way, you know, they can save a little bit of money because every penny counts. Amen. Preach it. Because um, I'm the same way and, he, and he's not. Oh, Travis. Travis is I want name brand everything. I want name brand everything. Like, do not buy me anything from Walmart. Is Travis me? I'm like, but it was three dollars, and it's comfy. There you go. Who's that sound like? Yeah, exactly. Uh, a lot of people give him crap about his hey, uh, his rock I run revivals. B, I'll run his it what? Back to back. Um, his fancy pants, his rock revivals. Everyone gives him crap about them, Why? but because they're 180 dollars jeans. But let me tell you, everything comes out of those jeans. He has jeans that have been, he's had since before we ever got together. So I can 100% justify spending $180 on a pair of jeans that's going to last me 10 years. Okay. <laughs> Definitely gives us crap about the jeans, but you know. Well, if you're going to splurge, you know. Right. And they're comfy and everything like he's got motor oil on him he's got prep on him he's gotten plaster from work on him like he's gotten everything on those and it just washes out and Does i'm like blow it off very cool no don't blow it up no, <laughs> <laughs> somebody's pieces somebody's pieces he found some spare parts uh-oh phone digging all right What's on deck next? Um, Outlaw. So we're going to go back to Outlaw at in about nine minutes. Let's see. What's our bracket for Outlaw this time? So this is going to be the second bracket of A. We're so going to Outlaw next. Um, our, first, our first pair down is going to be RC Corvette versus Marcus Knight. And then it's going to be Leonard. I can't pronounce his name. Uh, I'm not even going to try and butcher it. Leo. Yep, Leo from last night who won the Quick 16 versus Metro. Then we're gonna have Everett Park against Justin West. Then we're gonna have Dino Tapia versus Aaron Klein. Then we're gonna have John Hudkins versus Billy Bob Farrow. Pair six is gonna be Robert Shore against uh, Brandon Lynch. Again, I guess they drew each other again because they raced Dang. first round. And then we're gonna have Doug Needham versus Joe Olt. Pair eight is gonna be Russell versus Russ. Father-son duo is lining it up. <laughs> that doesn't happen too often. And then pair nine is going to be Jim Dudley versus Sean Miller. That's going to be another good race to watch. And then pair 10 is going to be Brandon Blackburn versus Travis. So that's definitely going to... There's a good. There's quite a few good pairings next month. Uh, Marcus and RC is going to be a very good one to watch. Um, Dino and Aaron Klein. That one's going to be fun. John Hunkins and um, Jordan Farrow. Uh, Brandon and Travis... So Brandon is one of my Wichita boys. Um, he is very fast and he's very consistent whenever he gets going. But I don't think Travis and him have lined up very often. Like it's been a very rare thing that we they line up together. Really? So, yeah. So that's definitely going to be interesting to watch them line up. He lines up with Mitro and Sean up there almost every time we go up there. But Brandon, not as much. I'm glad to see Boogie Radkin out here today. We haven't seen him at a, in a minute out of the track. There's a lot of good people here today. A lot of good racers are here today. I am trying to find it. It's not I had a just hype town in up top and it came up. Did it? Okay. There we go. Huh? Oh, ha ha. Hi! He likes doing that. So we got about seven more minutes, and then she's going to call Outlaw Drivers up again. Did he turn my mic off, or did he turn you? No, he turned no. your mic off. No, he, he... Oh, he turned off that mic. That mic. That was the background noise. Um. But, yes, it's going to be a good race. Um, There's lots of good racing going on. The weather's nice, too, and it's not as windy. No, it is gone. It's, it's so, so much, much nicer. And it's like the perfect temperature. It's like not too hot, not too cold. And you can get away with wearing a hoodie. 
Girl, you got to help me on this. I had it yesterday, and I am not. It moved. I had to do. I tried putting tea town, but it wouldn't let me. So I just put tea. Huh? Yeah. Thank you. you. Appreciate it. Uh, so, Jason, how they're running it is, so it is, if you go into rcdragraces.com, you will see that they have, like, an A bracket, and then they also have an additional A bracket underneath it. So there is, I believe there's 11 pairs, 10 or 11 pairs in each of them. So they're doing A bracket, and then, which they've already ran, and then we're about to go into the A, B bracket, so the second bracket of A bracket. And then we'll run B bracket and then uh, B A bracket. How are they running? A A B B. So definitely lots of racing, and you get a buyback first and second round. So so like eight attempts, right? Is that eight. what we? You have to lose eight times to be completely out. Very cool. At least in the first two rounds. I've been, I was sick last week, so. You're, I normally have um, lifesavers. I bring lifesavers and I use those mm. whenever I'm race directing because your mouth does get so dry. They're all gr crowded around Aaron Klein over there, Aaron, Dino, Joe. I'm like, what you guys doing? What are we talking about? They look so secretive over there. <laughs> Nick Snyder, I thought Slowfo had a lot of buybacks. Ha. Huh. But this is a benefit race, so every, you know, not every dime, but a lot of it will be going to Shaw, so. 20% of the buybacks go back, the track fee goes, and all of the VIP heading, and they also have a 50-50 raffle going on right now. So hopefully, you know, the guys out here definitely are helping raise a bunch of money for him right now. Nick Snyder, are you racing today? I would have thought he'd be racing today. I, I tried to convince him to come down here, but he told me no. Well, you know, Easter is tomorrow, so. It is. Normally, we go to Travis's grandmother's house for Easter, and she canceled this year. She's just, she fell last week, so she's just, she's like, I'm not doing it. I'm like, Travis, you want to do it at our house? And he goes, oh. Um, We're not doing it. And he goes, he goes, we're going to have to clean the house. I'm like, okay, we can clean the house. And he goes, no. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay, valid point. Valid point. Um, that's a lot of money for a great cause. Absolutely. Uh, Nick Snyder, if you go on to the event page, and it's T-Town's um, inaugural RC Bash, uh, you can actually, I believe you can send money directly to Shaw, but if you want to do the 50-50 raffle, um, I only have $20 cash on me. Otherwise, I'd say you could send me money, and I will put it in there. But that's all the cash I have on me. We need to get that. We need to get the cash app again. Is it on your phone still? They messaged you last time. Let's see. I can show you where you can type it in on here. Uh, Y'all give me a second. I'm looking it up. <laughs> I know Val's. Huh? Like, I know you got cash on you. I do have cash, Travis yeah. Travis has cash on him. I just don't have cash on me. I was looking to see if I could find the conversation that we had about the cash app. I don't have it. I know Val had cash on her. Aha, Nick, you so funny. Travis has cash on him. I always know that man has cash on him. I walk up to him and go, I need $20. And he goes, okay, here you go. Really? Yeah. Well, he might ask me why. He he might very well ask me why. Do you tell him? Sometimes I just tell him because I want his $20. Right. RJ Dittmerk. All right, I'll check your cash. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Scott. Hi, RJ. Scott Mitchell is another one of our guys. He's from Joplin. He race directs for Joplin. We need to find out the cash app. Richie. Okay. Well, you're not the one on the mic, so therefore you were the she one. Got, she's got your um, tags, right? Oh, we're talking about the cash app 
Rorschach? Yes. Okay, let me see if I can find it real quick. Do you have it? I might have one. There's one on here, and I he she posted it. Was it on Two Town? I believe so. She put it on the flyer. It might be on her actual Facebook. I know she, it's posted somewhere because I saw it. Um, I'm looking. We're finding it. We're going to find it. I will find it. Okay. I got your message, Nick. Did you finish an adult Easter egg hunt, RJ? Did they hide shooters everywhere for you or beer? <clears throat> Was it like you had a six pack and then they hid uh, different beers all around the yard and you had to go run and do it? Hello? What kind of Easter egg hunt is that? An adult one? It's an adult one. You hide shots everywhere. Okay. She's going to text it right quick. Okay. <laughs> Exalted RC. That's funny. All right. Let's see. I'm just waiting for the text. And then we'll have it. What's up? And Ghost is Our Life is the web's live <laughs> stream you. sponsor today. <laughs> and then Thank 217 you. Photography <clears throat> is the replay um, sponsor. <clears throat> I got you. I'm having a brain farts. I told you I am like dead today. I don't know. It's It's... It's probably the wind from yesterday, and then you guys traveled a long way. You good? No, not yet. I'm waiting. <laughs> um. Shut up. I'll knock you out. Start flying her in. So it's <laughs> Start flying Cassidy in. Cassidy, you want to take my job? No, not really. I'll let you deal with him, too. I already have my own. <laughs> <laughs> I, I tell that man, he wins a big race, I get a new tattoo. Oh, that's what I got from Vegas. That's what it is. Which tattoo? My elbow. That one. Oh, that is pretty. And then he won Dallas, and I got that one. That's pretty, too. That's a cool one. So, I got one more, and then I got to start filling on that arm, so. I'm still wanting to get one, but we'll see. He tries to tell me that I have too many tattoos, and I, he goes, you can't get any more tattoos until I catch up, and I go, you're going to take a minute. Like, you have, like, four, and I have, like, 19. You have 19? I have a lot. Wow. Let's see. Still nothing yet. All right. But once we get the cash out, we'll um, put it up, and then that way, um, if y'all feel like it, y'all can donate. It doesn't have to be a lot of money. Just, you know, 50 cent dollar, whatever. Hey, every penny helps. Amen. Every single penny helps. That's one thing great about this RC community, though, is they all pull together. Bailey said Pickens is doing good. Shay's stuck in blue and ESC, so. No, really? Yeah. That always sucks. I gotta keep on with, gotta keep on with the homegirl, make sure everything's going okay over there. All right, let's see. Oh, they've already done the 2.5 index. When are we doing outlaw? Um, Let me, I'll go take a walk. I will figure know. out exactly what's going on and I'll come back. Richie, you want to hunt for a minute? Yes. Here. Here you go. <laughs> <Thank> you. Cassidy. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> awesome. All right. She does such a great job, don't she? Yes, I mean, she all the way around. She, everything she's doing, she's into everything and making everything better when she's around. So if, you, if she's got a race going on and she can get there, ask her to be there because it'll be better. <laughs> I try to make it to a lot of <laughs> All right. Once again, I apologize. I am, I don't know, I'm brain, I'm brain dead today. Hello. Hello. What's up, Mrs. T? How are you? 
But I, um, as soon as I get the cash app, I'll get it posted. I do apologize for not having it. And like I said, we thank everybody for tuning in and watching. Absolutely. And huge shout out to um, our backing sponsors. Um, we got, of course, BBM Performance and Parts, RC Speed Secret, Five Star, Voodoo, Straight Line Spoilers, Shark RC, Ron, Ron Raceway, um, Beast Mode. Beast Mode. And huge shout out once again Voodoo, Five Star, CJC, BBM, RC Speed Secret, Shark RC. Ron John's Raceway, Straight Line Spoiler, and Beast Mode. And these are our backing sponsors, sponsors. for the year that helped us, you know what I'm saying, do the things that we need to do, get some of the, the live stream equipment to make these live streams better. So um, make sure you, if you enjoy watching these live streams, check these people out. And uh, because without, without awesome them. Yeah, without awesome sponsors, um, we couldn't do what we do. So um, thank them very much. And then the live stream sponsor today is going to be Ghost RC, and then the replay sponsor is going to be 217 Photography. We can't thank them enough. And then after the race, when we get back and I get some time, we'll have a new video coming out. And that will be the BBM Performance and Parts Crash RC Cam. So let's see who makes it on the crash cam. And once again, now it's time to go grab you something to drink, grab you something to snack on. Go use the bathroom, do whatever you need to do, and we'll be back to racing in just a few. So, Richie, what do you think about racing so far today? I think it's been awesome. What do you think? I think it's been really cool. Um, I, especially that one race where it was so freaking close. That was awesome. Because we got, we got what well, we got an index bracket. You got um, open bracket. You got two point five, and then you've got that law. Um, now up next, I believe they are going to be running outlaw. And let's see. Let's see the comments. I do. Um, Caden Phillips, what's up, family? What's up, Caden? What are you and Pops up to today? JJ Hernandez. Hello, y'all. Hello. Um, let's see. For I think this is going to be open prep. Um, Outlaw open prep bracket A is going to be um, RC Corvette going against Marcus Knight. Leo against Mitro. Everett against Justin. Dino against Aaron. John against Billy Bob. Um... Asleep at the Wheel against El Jefe. Doug Needham against um, Joe Olds. Russell against Russ. Jim Dudley against Sean Miller. And Brandon and Travis. Oh, you're going to. Oh, you got breakfast in Skate Park. That's awesome. I've been trying to keep up with you, Caden. We got I think Caitlin had said something I was trying to figure out exactly what she said someone run the, the little man on the bike <laughs> Kate said he'll win yeah he would win against us that's for sure. We've had one guy here that's um, had knee surgery, so that's a no-go. All those older people, we ain't built like we used to be. But once again, we've got, um, for outlaws, First up is going to be RC Corvette against Marcus Knight, and then Leo against Metro, and then Everett against Justin. That's the first three pairings. And a huge shout out um, to everybody for coming to this race. It's a benefit race, so, you know, this is awesome. All the racers coming together, working together to help another racer. 
And that's one thing great about this community because they, they just come together for stuff like that. Absolutely. Come on out, lock drivers! Let's line them up! I think, like she was talking about earlier about a hotel, uh -huh. we might do the same thing. We uh -huh. might be driving it all tomorrow. You think so? It's looking like it. <laughs> Does you want to drive all night tonight? No, not all night. <laughs> I know we we had talked about getting maybe a little start. Yeah, but you know, one of them things is if I drive to midnight, I might as well drive all the way through, no sleep. No. <laughs> Let's see. So we're going into Outlaw. Yes, we are going into Outlaw. And once again, if you're not already signed up, go ahead and get signed up. Um, Redemption 4.0, that's coming up. And um, that is part of the Triple Crown Race Series. Um, and it's going to be a great event. Kyle Christie is going to be your race director. Red Bear's coming on out with their tree, and they're going to be checking. And then we've got um, Kid and Sean and all um, South RC and Kid coming out, and they're going to be helping as well. So it's going to be a really fun event. So if you're not already registered, go check it out. Get it, get registered. Yeah, but it's going to be a good time. Absolutely. Like said, we'll be there, too. <laughs> yes, we will. <laughs> there's going to be some fast cars there, too. And I'm, I'm oh, curious yeah. to see what the this is a concrete track. and uh, It's going to be in Des Moines, Iowa. Yep, so... And um, what was that? Because I know Sean was talking about um, the track is going to be phenomenal. I tell you that the sun didn't come out long, did it? No. Uh oh, she's fixing mic. All right, that's what she's saying. Y'all hey, about ready? They're hating right now. Okay. They're hating. Up next, Mr. Earl and Justin West, Dino and Aaron Klein, John Hudkin, Jordan Farrow. Where is it up? Hey, 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 how's the foot? What's going on? All right, we're going to move back into Outlaw A bracket. So this is technically the A B bracket. Um, J or RC Corvette and Marcus Snyder are going to be our first pair down. I kind of went and talked to Caitlin and figured out what the schedule is for at least la next little bit. And so what we're going to do is we are going to run Outlaw and then we are going to run two five. As soon as this Outlaw bracket is done, she's going to set a 15 minute timer since there's not very many people in two five to get Outlaw B bracket up here. Um, after Outlaw B bracket round one, we are going to run. Yes. Good luck, guys. Um, we are going to run uh, the open bracket. Oh, hold on. Shit. Help set them down. <laughs> open bracket. <laughs> and we're going to run first round of Real Street. But she's going to set a 15 minute timer since there's no bracket on Real Street that are both competing. And run into Outlaw B A bracket. Very so, cool. I went over and helped her out a little bit. Very cool. Yep. Sorry, guys. I apologize. All right. So we're going to have Marcus Knight is going to be in our BBM performance lane. And then we are going to have JB RC Corvette in our right lane. This should be a good race. Five star going against Super. Kaden, that is... Uh, Driver's ready. Watch the light. Wow. Oh, that was a good one. That was a race. Right lane went 164. Left lane went 163. Margin was 043. And Mark on that one. That was really close, though. That All was right. a good one. Mitro is in the right lane. 
Leo is in the left lane. And now we have Mitro and Leo. Leo is in our left lane. Mitro is in our right lane. Up next is going to be Earl and Justin West. And then Dino. Hold on, guys. Aaron. Top in. Wow. Okay, let's go. That should be a good race, too. That should be a good race. Driver's ready. Watch the light. Looks like Mitro's going to take yep. that one. Right lane for the win. Left lane went 189. Right lane went 186. Good job, Mitro. All right. Now we're going to have Earl Mr. in our Earl. left. Mr. Earl. in our right. Just oh, the, in the same right way. Lane. Hey, you made sure to turn that on, right? Let's let them get off the top end, guys. Just give them just a second. Be safe. Yes. Yes. I did not bring the first aid kit today. You did not? No. I brought cough drops. That's about it. I've been known to rip a shirt or two for first aid All right, before. Really? Not, not at an RC race, but I've done okay. it in the past. I have done it in the past. Bring it back, Mr. Earl. Bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. Bring it back just a little bit more, you know, I'm going to take. Back, Earl. All right, Earl is going to be in that left lane. Justin West is going to be in there our right go. lane. Yep. Driver's ready. Uh -oh. Watch the light. Ooh. Wow. Right lane went 165, left lane we're in a 199. A 165 in the right lane to Justin West. He took that one. Dino and Aaron. Aaron Justin, nice. He was flying. You're Justin good. is a, like, he is a tree killer. Gentlemen. Like, he can chop a tree. We got Aaron Klein now in our uh, BBM performance lane, and Dino Tapia is going to be in our left lane. Right, Russell's setting the car for him. And then up next, we're going to have John Hudkins against Jordan Farrow. All righty. ready. Watch the light. Ooh. Wow. Mr. Aaron good Klein. One. Right lane, we're going to 156. That Left ghost DC. Uh, Dino's from the ES, the ghost nice in his race. car. Is he? Mm -hmm. yeah, that was good. Now we, can, now we got it. Say, what I tell you? Say it down. What I tell you? <laughs> They've been messing with hey, Thank you. Yes, sir. Jordan, you're in the right lane. John is in the left. Oh, I have to ask, is Travis running the ghost guys, ESC? No, he's out the R1. We're, he's sponsored by um, R1 for uh, the ESC. Aaron, gotcha. Your car, man. <laughs> She's trying to keep your car safe. All right, we're good to go, guys. All right, up next we got Jordan Farrow and John Hudkins on the 217 guys, and then Mr. Billy Bob Farrow. <laughs> I love that. Driver's ready. Watch the light. Oh, oh dang. Went a 164. Right lane ran a 177. It was on a lick too, till it went a little uh. left. At least it looks like it didn't hit that ramp too terribly high because it didn't go too high and it landed on its lid. So hopefully there's Check not down. too much. Caitlin, go. Track down. Track down. Track down. Up next, after this, as soon as she gets the track fixed, we're going to have Robert Short and Brandon Lynch, another one of the 217. It's 417 versus the 217. I want to know about these nicknames, like El Jefe. So I was talking to the 217 boys earlier. So they have a group chat for the 217. And you are not allowed to give is what they said. Really? So, yes, they have to be able to give it. Um, so I believe John is El Del Diablo, which is check the track. Straighten them out, they straight. But um, he's up the up because he likes to blow things up. Gotcha. Like his car, like gotcha. he breaks a lot of things. 
and then Brandon is El Jefe, um, and then Honcho. I can't remember how ha they told me, but it was a while ago. That's definitely a question for them, but they have some fun shirts. I told them, I'm like, if I'm coming up there, I got a fancy shirt, right? I know, those National Syndicate shirts, I love them. I asked them, I'm like, mine has to be on pink, though. I oh, know, I need to specify too. Because they told me by, by Midwest Classic they'd have me one. Yeah. yeah, they're bad. All yeah. right, she's checking the track, and then we're going back to racing. It's going to be Robert versus Robert Brandon and Lynch. Brandon, y'all ready? And then after that, we're going to have Doug versus Joe, and then it's Russell versus Robert. Russ. Brandon, y'all ready? Brandon, come on, Top buddy. Dixon says, great coverage from multiple angles of Zoom. The replay's top notch. Thank you. Um, haven't watched any NDRC races in a while. Brandon this is Lynch. nice. Thank you. Them two Beast and seven Dixon. fellas are He's good, coming. good people. You're in the left. Absolutely. Yeah. Mr. Roberts. Yep. Six. Brandon, you're up. Get them, Cassidy. He's coming. I got him. I got her. I got her back. I'll yell at people. Cassie, you're not scared, are you? No, I'll yell at people. <laughs> you're like, come on. Well, it's, a, you know, I understand, like, if something happens, you need to take an extra second. Like, I get it. Right. But sometimes, you know, you don't realize how far along they are, and you're like, oh, crap. Well, you so. Move along, so, I mean, you're right on that. You okay. got to keep it moving. Mark Smith says, need more finish line coverage. Okay, he said that the finish line camera went out and he's got it back up now. Let's see, so they have El Jefe. Let's see, the 217 boys, the Dash Street Center, they have El Jefe. El Diablo, Honcho. I don't know Fred what. Lane. I'm trying to figure out what the other guy's name is. I can't read it on the back of it. Um, let's see. Come on, turn around, dude. Just turn around just a little bit for that. I can read it. Oh, it's almost this. Oh, I think it's uh, semi something. Uh oh, here we go. All right, Robert Shore is going to be in our left lane, the RC Speed Secret lane, and then Brandon Lynch is going to be in our BBM Performance lane. Driver's ready. Watch the light. Oh. Left lane. I think Left this is actually Brandon's win. first bigger race that he's actually raced in. Really? Yes. And then all those bodies, Mr. El Diablo over here, John Hunkins painted all of them. Simi King. Doug in the left, Joe in the right. Yes, sir. All right, so now we have. Then we have the battle of father son coming up next. Russ and Russ is up next. Who we got right now? We have. Russ and Russ? That's next. This is right. Joe Olds and uh, Doug Meadham. Mead Driver's ready? My bad. Watch the light. Ooh, that is a nice pass from Mr. Joe Olds. Joe has right really, lane. really been working on it. Is out. Now, where is he from? He is from Kansas City. Gotcha. He's yeah, running a ATA Plan B chassis in right the Ghost right EC. The Good job, Joe. David no, Moore, no, he was up, guys. All right. Up next is going to be our father-son duo. Okay. It's going to be Russell and Russ. Let's see. Like I said, I'm so appreciative of you being here because I don't know any of these racers' names and you know what they're running and it's really... So a lot of them are, they're very, like, I race with a lot of them on a regular basis. There's still a few people here that I don't know. It wouldn't know. read anything. It read... It says but all of it's working. There's a lot of them yeah. that I know. Um, Finish. I know most of the two one seven or the four one seven guys. They're all on Team GFRP. They're on the Apollo, um, and then Aaron is on a Plan B chassis with the Ghost ESC. Um, I don't know for sure. Justin's been testing the Ghost, but I don't know if he's on that or the R one today. 
Um, okay, oh, so yo yo. Hey, girl. Okay, oh, 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 we're on screen, right? Yep. Okay, perfect. Because he knows what's I'm taking out of my pocket. <laughs> Are you bringing out your chip? I got my chip. <laughs> Take it everywhere. Okay, oh, I got it. Huh? Every time. Every race. That's, you know how they have the little coin pockets in your pants yes. for girls? It's not a coin pocket, it's an OKO chip holder. Is that where you keep your yep. OKO? Okay. Yep, that's where it is. Hi, OKO, yes, he's my bestie. OKO slept in our pit in Vegas, all the way up to the I, finals. I, I remember that. Yeah. Yes. Yep, we are best friends. I mean, he was out like a light. When we walked by, he was like. Oh, he was chilling. And like, that was the first time we've ever met him too. Really? So, yeah, it was super cool to have him. Do that. So anytime OKO's at a race, he knows he can come take a nap in my pit. <laughs> Most of the time I actually, well, if we're not flying, I keep, um, I have a blanket that I keep in my car. It's coming handy in a couple cold mornings. No, the, the <laughs> I remember one year we went to Vegas and oh my God, it was freezing it's, uh, that year. It's the right size it was second year? you know, that connection was bad. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. Don't worry about that one, babe. We got a sensor down. Yeah, Russell and Stu. Father son Duro. He's driving my dream car. He bought one. I asked him if I could take it for a test ride, and he told me no. And what's your dream car? Uh, he has a Dodge Durango. Don't worry about gotcha. it, babe. I, I asked him. Uh, yeah, let's go back and heat him. Yeah, I'm gonna heat him again. Sorry, guys. We don't need a mile an hour. Nope. And then after um, <coughs> Russ and Russell, we, we're gonna have Sean and Jim. Jim and Sean. Are you guys ready? You gonna heat him again? We're gonna have Dudley. He is out of St. Louis. And then Sean is out of Wichita. And then it's going to be Brandon Blackburn out of Wichita and Travis. That, yeah, that one guy. <laughs> Matt. Appreciate it. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> They're crazy. Dastardly Syndicate. You guys ready now? Uh, uh, here we go. Is everybody back in? Father and son. Yeah. All right, so we got Father, Son, Duro coming up to the line. Russell is going to be in our RC Speed Secrets left lane, and we're going to have Russ in our BBM performance lane. This should be a really good race. <laughs> They're very in tune whenever they line up against each other. Driver's ready. Watch the light. Oh! Left lane with a 166. Lane with a 185. Now I do have to ask you, do you know if they run the same thing? Like They're pretty close. Because I noticed when they were racing, they Good were luck, very, guys. very close to each other. Yeah, um, I'm pretty sure they're set up pretty close to exactly the same. Ready? All right. John, you're in the right, Jim in the left. All right, we're going to have Sean Miller out of Wichita, Kansas. He is on an R1 setup. And then Jim Dudley, and he also runs R1. So it's an R1 versus R1 car. So St. Louis versus Wichita. Dudley's actually came down and raced with us a few times in uh, Springfield. And he's came out and raced in Wichita. Ooh. I do have to say, both guys are great guys. I've talked to him a, quite a few times, and they're awesome. Okay. 179 in the left, 213 in the right. All right, line. so who do you think is going to have the next race? <laughs> hmm. Uh, I'm going to bet on the one that I share the same last name with. Are you? <laughs> okay. Brandon and Travis. All righty. Travis is in our right lane. Brandon is in our left lane. That body, actually, Kevin Caldwell painted that freak show right there. Or not, no, not that freak show. The other freak show that he runs. I like the patina job. Drivers ready? Watch the light. Ooh. Ooh, 
out of there. Nice driving, Brandon. 262, I'm sorry, 162. 162. 162. 162. So it came yeah, up you one, Brandon. Travis will be taking the win on that one. Yes. Right lane for the win. Alrighty, and then we should be going back into 25. We're going to go into 250 index. 250 index. Caitlin. Ready? Caitlin. Go ahead. Caitlin, 15 minutes for Outlaw 215. 15 minutes for Outlaw 215. We're going into bracket B. Cassidy, staying on it. Got her. I got her. You got her back. I got her back. I want to yeah. help her move the races along is one of the things. Because the other thing is, is as the track temperature changes, your tune changes. Absolutely. So as it gets colder, like whenever it's going to get later on, to, you. you know, later on tonight, whenever it gets cold out, that prep's going to tighten on that track. So it's going to be a lot, you know, you have to adjust your tune for how the track is, which is part of the thing is like, as the day heats up, you have to turn your car up. But as it cools back down, you got to remember to turn your car back down. Gotcha. So I learned a lot last weekend. That's very cool. So Gary Campbell says, what's up? Gary Campbell. I love Gary Campbell. He's such a great guy. 250. We're going to run 250, and then at 215, we're going to go ahead and run Outlaw B Bracket. You got to buy. What do we got for B Bracket? So the first round of B Bracket is going to be RC Corvette versus Joe Olds. Then we're going to have Metro versus Brandon Lynch. Um, so we have Leo and, and then Ryan. it moved on me. Scott yeah. gets the buy. Uh, Dino, pair three is going to be Dino, Dino versus Justin. Right lane, pair four is going to be Marcus versus Leo. Pair five is going to be Brandon versus Justin. Pair six is going to be Honcho Wait, versus Leo. Russ. Yeah. Pair seven is going to be Sean and Travis again. And then pair eight is going to be John Hudkins and Robert Schroer. Pair nine is Billy Bob Farrow versus Doug Needham. And then pair 10 is going to be Everett Park Bracket versus Ryan B, Needham. And then pair 11 is going to be Russell versus yes, Aaron. Sir. I'll get it right eventually. That's going to be a good one, too. And we're fixing to run 2-5. Yes, 2-5. No. That's going to be Leo versus Ryan. And um, Scott Davis will actually have to buy Ryan. B, and uh, then DMO yeah, well, against Everett. Brill Street will probably be later on. I want to get through more rounds of Outlaw first, if that's cool. Okay. I'm so excited. My little sister's having a girl. <laughs> I'm so excited about that. I just can't get over that. It means well, I got to go shopping for girl stuff. I always have to go shopping so for boy things. When are you going to start your shopping? Tomorrow? Now. <laughs> now. Be on start. Amazon. Oh, I got um, <coughs> Travis's grandma quilts, and she kind of pounds me a little bit. Oh, really? So, yeah, she, I went over there actually the other day, and she sent me home with bolts of fabric and all, like, pinks and blues and stuff. So I'm so excited. That's cool. All right, looks like we're lining up for 2-5. It looks like, I believe this is Ryan in our right lane, and it's going to be Leo in our left. Driver's ready. Watch the light. Like right. Looks like right lane's gonna take that one. Our spider friend is back. Is he? Is what it takes, right? I yeah. don't mind spiders as long as they don't mind me. He's just chilling. All right, Scott, you got your bye. All right, Scott Davis is gonna have the bye run. Demo, and Mr. Earl, you're up next. And then Demo and Earl. It keeps moving. Yeah. Driver ready? There we go. Watch the light. Good run, Scott. 255. All right, up next is going to be DMO against oh, Everett. Light, oh, 04, really? Oh, 04. I I'm thought I was way late. late. No. <laughs> Twisted Frog asked, OKO okay, asked if we'd seen the new El Camino. At the party in the front business in the room. <laughs> okay, are you going to grow a mullet too? Your car up, buddy. Let Mr. Earl hey now, back in the day, those were cool, I will say. Back in the 90s. You got some, Mr. Earl? I was saying. Here, hold on. Stop. Carrie Campbell. Shucks. Thanks, Cassidy. 
that's the one thing I really do like about Straight Line Spoilers and Caldwell. Like, our teams get along, our peoples get along. Like, it's great. Um, tell me, okay, tell me about the Gary Campbell uh, team thing because I know he has like a is it a meeting or a group chat that happens. So- I'm not part of the Straight Line Spoilers, so I'm Caldwell's okay. team manager. Erica is uh, Gary's okay. team manager. And um, so they have a team phone call every morning. They all hop on, and they say hi to each other, and they just So is it time. is the whole entire freaking team? On well, that? It's whoever wants to hop on. It's okay. not every person. It's just whoever yeah, wants to hop on. Uh, OKO said uh, he's going to dro- grow mullet. Is your dad okay with that, right, Jeremy? Yeah. Are you, is, is your dad watching with you? <laughs> you know, just like JV. Yes, sir. Kenny said, "Get him DMO. DMO is, I believe, in our left lane, and then Earl is in our right." Yes. You're good, DMO. Driver's ready. Watch the light. Ooh. Ooh. He let off a little bit to make sure he didn't break out. I believe. Yep. 302 in the right. 389 in the left. Right. Yes, sir. Right lane taking the win. Oh, oh, he blew his cat pack. Oh, oh man. That sucks. That's one of the hard things about racing is whenever you hurt things. No, he is shopping. <laughs> no, he's shopping. So which means you're watching with mom and grandma. You just missed Travis's run not too long ago. He won a one six three. Tell you what, right lane seems to be the. Right lane definitely seems to be the dominant. Bring it back. Um, it Earl. looks. That's good right there. Uh, so if Ready? you look. Watch the light. Oh. Two sixty three. It looks like so. Last round, it was definitely. I mean, it's that was going pretty even. It looks yeah. like the grooves. If you look at the grooves on the front and starting line. They seem like they're both pretty even in both lanes. I definitely think starting and splitting that groove this yeah. morning definitely he helped. He ran faster than he did. I'm looking over there at Travis watching him. He's, he's doing his thing. <laughs> what he's doing. Oh, my mom's calling me. Uh-huh. She can wait a second. <laughs> I love her. I love her. I'm just going to message her and let her know. Um, okay, it says he left his iPad unlocked. Who said he left his iPad unlocked? <laughs> no, he did not. Tell him turn it up. Why so slow, King? This is definitely, we've definitely been seeing a lot of sixes. We've seen a few fives. It's definitely going back and forth. And I believe actually next round, or no, he's still in the right lane next round versus Sean Miller. And then he races Dino, and he actually gets switched to the left lane. Dino looked over and waved as soon as I said his name. <laughs> But definitely that. Okay, and up next is going to be Outlaw? Or are we going to do um, Open Bracket or no? It's Outlaw at 2.15. But, all right, give me one second. I'm going to go run, ahead. go call my mom back. Again, and congratulations. Yes, I got to tell mom that congratulations because her first grandbaby is going to be a girl. I know she's excited. Oh, she's so excited. <clears throat> Once again, <clears throat> in the pairings, it's going to be RC Corvette against Joe Oles, Mitro versus Brandon, Dino versus Justin, Marcus versus Leo, um, <clears throat> Brandon Blackburn against Justin West, Mike Concho against Russ, Sean against Travis, John against Asleep at the Wheel, Billy Bob against Doug, Everett against Ryan, Russell against Aaron. <clears throat> One four, push it. <laughs> they are trying. Once again, thank y'all again for tuning in and watching. We do truly appreciate it. Um, you can follow along at rcdryraces.com. 
And a huge shout out to Cassidy for um, jumping on the live with us and helping us out. Um, we truly do appreciate her doing that. I hear an ice cream truck. Yeah, I heard that ice cream truck. Um, okay, O says, hey, RC Corvette. Outlaw, bracket B, five minute call. Outlaw, bracket B, five minute call. So right now, if you wanted to, you now it's time to go grab you something to drink, grab you something to snack on, go use the bathroom and do whatever you gotta do and get ready for some more Outlaw, good racing. And once again, thanks to all our sponsors for um, working us. Um, that means a lot to us. And the, our backing sponsors are going to be um, BBM Performance and Parts, RC Speed Secret, uh, Five Star. RC Corvette, but he won't Thank be until the second round. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's start over. Five Star, CJC, BBM Performance and Parts, RC Speed Secret, Shark. Ron John's Raceway, Beast Mode, Straight Line Spoiler, and of course, Voodoo. And for the live stream sponsors, we've got Ghost RC, and our replay sponsor is going to be 217 Photography. And make sure to get registered on you know put your information in at rcdragraces.com that just makes um the races easier and it <laughs> makes it better for the racers it makes it better for the race director it makes it and you can find local races it's an awesome setup check it out rcdragraces.com and here is a list of our schedule for 2024 um, we had Armageddon last weekend, T-Town this weekend. Kickoff race for the 757 is going to be next weekend. Then we got Web Racing April 12th. Then we've got Ron John's Raceway April 19th. Power Jam May 17th. Super Chips. Get registered May 20, 24th through 26th. Rock and Fire June. Imdra. And the list keeps going. So y'all make sure to get registered. You got Midwest Classic right there, Redemption 4.0, Jammin' in July, Southeast Super Nats, Hillbilly Nationals, Bring the Heat, um, Pink Out, VXL Super Nats, The Clash, Desert Classic, Turkey Run, Royal Final, and Ron's Raceway for St. Jude. And just and once again, uh, thank y'all for tuning in and watching today. We truly do appreciate it. It does mean a lot to, to us, so thank you. Robbie Neesmith, 912 yeah. in the house. What's going on? Well, what's we come back tomorrow. Yeah, we come back tomorrow. <laughs> and we should be back <laughs> about ready to start racing. Hey, that could um, be it's going to be about two, three minutes. So... Like I said earlier, now's the time. Go get something to drink. Right. So we can let everybody know because we need to get another hotel. Oh. Until seven o'clock. Okay, huh? we're gonna still do it tomorrow. I'd rather know by four or five how we're after the second round. Let's, we let's look at five o'clock, yeah. and we will decide then. Okay. Come talk to me. Then, Come talk to me at five. Then if we're like, you know, we're gonna go. Let's call it at a certain <laughs> time, seven a.m. Really? Like three days. So you're yeah, ready. Oh, oh. That yeah. way, so we can get a hotel room for Hey, sweetie. Relax. Yeah. Not be so I'm in bad shape right now. I can see you hurting, man. I'm trying to be a big old baby, brother. No, I mean, hey, you're I, out. You're out, no. you're out here racing. No. You're out here racing still, so that's all that matters. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I got people staked in my car for me, so I did it yesterday, and then he did. Today, I couldn't even. I was trying to do it. Okay, O says, tell RC Corvette. I said hello. I will. Bracket B, RC Corvette. Really? Wow. Mr. Joe, you're already here. He ready to go. 
Mitro, Brandon Lynch, Dino, Justin Helm, Marcus Knight, Leo, Brandon Blackburn, Justin West, Jason, Russ, John Miller, Travis Bernard, y'all be coming up here. Let's go. It's go time. I'll tell him. Get right. your asses up here is what I'll tell him. <laughs> you want to move it? It's wireless, right? And that's wireless, right? What we put it down? Put it where it somewhere goes more. out here. Put it somewhere out here. More good. Y'all wave. Help me out. Help us this out. Just wave. This is where I get pissed. Sorry. <laughs> we set a time. I called him. RC Corvette. Let's go. He's coming. I see him. You're good. <laughs> She's been doing some Easter egg hunting. B. No, I'm going to run BB. Probably 10 minutes. Between okay. and then finish the All right. and then do buybacks for AMC. Up next, we're going to have RC Corvette against he Joe Olds and then Mitro versus Brandon boys, Lynch so. and Dino yeah. versus yeah. Justin. Get him, Cassidy. Oh, yeah, I, I just, I asked nicely. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Um, you're going to have RC Corvette against Joe. No. Other way? I'm ready, guys. What website or app is Brackets on again? Sorry. Um, it's going to be rcdragraces.com. Gary Huntsman, the things are on rcdragraces.com. Yep. Oh! And that was a race! Right lane, 162, wow. left lane, winner 160, but it got you on the light. Yes! Whole Margin shot. of victory, 0-6. Zero, 0-6. Six. Zero, six. That, that was, was a good run. I was saying at the beginning of this, Joe's the one to be watching. Okay, like he's trying to break the damn trick on the damn Yes, sir. <laughs> that was a really good. I'm sorry. I'll get you another one. Okay, I told us to tell RC Corvette he said hi. I yes. will. I will here in a second whenever I walk back over there. Yes. Dina looking all bougie with the orange sneakers. <laughs> yep. Mitro and Brandon. Mitro and Brandon. Mitro will be in the left and Brandon will be in the right. Yeah. No. Brandon Lynch. Brandon Lynch calling you to the line. Did y'all have a barbecue yesterday from there? I didn't. I don't know if Travis did, but she's eating some, like, pulled pork on top of some mac and cheese. Yes. And I said my diet went out the window the second we came to a race. I got candy and everything. I'm just like, if I want to cheat, I'm going to cheat all the way out. <laughs> Chris, all bougie. Yes, Chris, uh, it's a thing. You have to have bright shoes. Now, if everyone notices, Travis last year, what colors was the shoes last year? The, what color were they? God. What, what chassis does he run? Travis? Yeah. Right? Yeah, what, tra what, 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 what chassis does he run? GFRP. That's what so, I thought. So his shoes last red. Red. Okay. Bright red. Well, see, I didn't want to say that because I know somebody else Mitro wears bright red, too. Mark Vine does, yes. yes. Uh, Be drive. So you ready? We actually went and got him. I ordered him a new pair because his other pair just got trashed last year with all the races. Well, we also had gotten him another pair for Christmas from his, his mom got them for him that I sent her. I'm like, get him these. They're black, red, and white. Oh, that's cool. So that's his shoes for this year. And now I'm going to have to get online to make He's sure ready. that we order a second pair of them for that whenever. Or I might go back to the bright red ones. Yep, red, red, <laughs> red, red. Trick question. Dino just needs some of Travis's jeans and he'll be in the front. Brandon, you ready? <laughs> that's a good one. Red for red. They you know. Left lane. Everyone said the they always look for the bright hexagon body and the bright red shoes. Oh, 
All right, we're going to have Brandon in our right lane in the BBM performance lane, and Dino is, or Mitro. Mitro, Mitro is in our left lane, our RC Speed Secrets. Right back just a little bit. Just now, I do want to say, um, <clears throat> I don't ever answer those questions about what chassis does somebody run or Start something like that, because they Watch could the be switching. They could be switching. That's true. That's very true. Oh! oh. We good? No one got hit. Okay. Mitra will take the win on that one. Mitra will take the win on that Left one. Lane. Brandon's been struggling a little bit today. I really hope that... 180? Oh, I didn't get it, bud. He gets it figured out. That was the time no. before. Oh, I, I talked to the 217 that. guys. So, Honcho's nickname comes because he used to be a cop. Okay. And so, you don't ever have your name as your real name online if you're a cop. So, that's how oh. the nicknames came from. I asked them when I walked over there. All right. Driver's ready. Uh-oh. Watch the light. Wow. Ooh. Dino oh. was on fire. Let's, let's all take a step wow. back from right that area. 168. I'm really glad they ended up putting deep. that orange stuff up, too. The safety net? Yes, yeah. Sir. Marcus Knight and Leo. Marcus Knight and Leo. Right lane, Leo. He just told me Leo is running a hundred dollar low C chassis. Uh, Do what? Yep, it's a low C. Okay. No way. Hundred percent. I which, asked him. Which car is that for? Okay. Hundred dollar low C chassis. And he's being competitive. And uh, you can be competitive with anything at Bruce. Wow. All right, we're going to have Brandon Blackburn and Justin Russ is on deck. And after that, it's going to be Mike Concho and Russ. Looks like they're, their car is lined ready. up. Watch the light. Ooh, that wow. was a nice pass Good by pass. both of them. A little trouble to shut down, but he landed on his right lane with 194. Yes, sir. Marcus taking the win on that one. Marcus has been Brandon up and coming. Blackburn. I met him at New Justin Orleans West. last year. And ever Good since luck, then, he's just been climbing the ladder. We got Justin and Brandon up now. Justin's in our BBM performance lane, and Brandon is going to be in our RC Speed Secrets lane. Look at the bodies. Driver's ready. Watch the light. Wow. Oh, Justin taking the win on that one. Right Justin. lane with a 161. 161. Left lane went a 202. There's your ticket, Justin. <laughs> and then up now, we're going to have Mike Honcho and Honcho Russ. Honcho and Russ. Oh, looks like Russell's going to set Russ's car for him. Honcho in left, Russ in the right. Travis made a comment while I was over there last time uh -huh. and goes, oh, yeah, my birthday's next week. And I'm like, it is next week. <laughs> it's okay. I already bought and gave him his presents because I'm terrible. Uh oh, so what did he get? Um, he got some new shirts. He got a new travel bag for RC. So I still have one more present. I got to get him. Um, I got ready? him a cool pit mat, too. Watch the light. Very cool. Uh -oh, here we go. Wow. Ooh, Russ is going to take that yeah. one. Right that was a good pass for her. Honcho did make Honcho. it down. He's been struggling today, so at least 184. Those 217 guys have such great attitudes. Don't they? They really do. Sean Miller. Oh, looks and, <laughs> and they have a great team, team going on. Oh, they do. Looks like Travis A7. and Sean. Yes, a bracket. This was really close last time. If we remember, it was a point zero 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 eight. Yeah. Travis is in the right lane again. Sean is going to be in the left. How many zeros was that? Three. Wow. All right. Driver's ready. Watch the light. Oh. Travis got it. He got you again. Margin of victory, 0037. 0037. Yes, I fucking got me on the tree. I spawned.
Wow. That was a good so one. That was really good. Racing each Woo. other. Woo. Sean and Travis, every time they line up, it's a good race. John At least they're Robert. good races and they're <laughs> this close. Hey, you're doing great, Sean. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> hey, at least you, you know, you probably won't line up with Travis again. <laughs> I, I said earlier on the live, I said you have lined up with, Tra you and Travis haven't lined up recently. You guys really John haven't. Um, and normally we pull you and Mitro both whenever we go up. And so for you to pull up three times in an event. You're in the left lane. Robert's in the right. Let's not race each other locally. Oh, that's okay. All right, we're going to have John Hudkins in our left lane, and then we're going to have Robert Shore in our right lane. Robert's been killing it today. He's been doing really well. He's trying out the new Ghost ESC2, and he just switched to the Futaba remote. Really? Yes. Okay, was ready? Watch the light. Ooh. Oh, I don't think he jumped, though. Roll it back, roll it back, roll it back, roll it back, roll it back. All the way out of the brim. Please, for the love of God, John, listen. Keep rolling. There you go, thank you. <laughs> Jordan, it does. It's true. It is one of those things that if you are and you do get stuck, roll it back. Because it helps yes. flatten the groove a little bit after you stick instead of pulling it up. Because whenever you pull it up, you're going to get those stringy spider webs everywhere. And I have seen people pull like I saw parts where off was the it car. Like, oh, Alabama last year, Christine pulled her car up, and there was like twelve feet. That's insane. I was just. I was ready. What? Watch the light. All right, here we go. Oh! oh. He was on down. it too. Left lane with one seventy nine. Right lane with the one ninety seven. Left lane into the wall, so right lane takes the win. All right, we're gonna have. Earl and Ryan Neiman. Okay, so you're going to take the competition by? All right, it looks like oh. Earl broke, so Ryan is going to get a competition by. Make sure everybody is off top in. Travis is off the side, so you can go ahead and go. And then we're going to have Russell versus Aaron. Russell versus, that's going to be a good one, too. Russell and Aaron, they've both been killing it. Yeah. They really have. He's far enough off. He's paying attention. He keeps set up. Huh? Travis is way down Okay. There. What do you Ooh. Ooh. Thankfully that was a competition vibe. Yeah. Um okay, I want to know what is Jordan running. Uh it's a top secret. It's a borrowed car. Is it? It's a borrowed car. It's a loaner. You feeling it out? Doug's car up close. The paint job looks great. I will try to find him and bring him over where he can show you that at some point today. Um, Doug? Doug. Um, Y'all let me know when he's walking up. Okay. All right, we're going to have Russell and Aaron. Are they racing? I think I was going to do 10 minutes in between and let them run Rocket B. And then Russell will have a yeah. bar. Is Russell? Am I reading that right? Am I reading it right? Because um, it's got Russell, Russell, and Aaron, Aaron and then and then wait, well, it, it, it this will be B A B B B B. Okay. The B what's B going on, Gary? Rope? Okay, how goes? No secrets Aaron in racing. The right. Oh God, the there's a ton of secrets in racing. There's so many. <laughs> Out, guys, put your cars up. Go hit your tires. All right, we go. Aaron Klein goes. Finishes out. Up. Oh. oh, okay. Going to warm up while she fixes the track. 
I like how they both go to their slicks and, and they start warming up them tires, getting them ready. Don't know if anyone noticed, but the tape pulled up the it, right and on the last run. It did. Uh, Papa, I will get with Caitlin here in a second and I will either push it back down or put a new, or put a new piece. I don't know. That would definitely be a question for the racers instead. So that's one of my biggest things. Is if we're going to change anything to the start line, like putting a new piece of tape down. That's definitely ask the racer. Ask the racer. Guys, we should be good to go. Alrighty. Last one of B bracket. First, the first part of B 1.0. We got Aaron Klein in our BB performance line, and he is also Ghost RC, also sponsor the live stream today. And then we have Russell in our RC Speed Secret left lane. Big huge shout out to Art again for sponsoring so many events that he does. Absolutely. We're putting some of these races there without art. Watch the light. Right. Ooh. Ooh! Looks like Good Aaron's run. gonna take that. Uh, ah, one sixty-one in the right, one seventy in the left. He wanted to go to the park. Right lane takes it, sir. <laughs> um, Twisted Frog. Okay, it says I have no secrets. I gave, I gave anyone that wanted my tune that I used for my fastest pass from Yuma that set the track record. Awesome. I will ask Jordan if he wants to peek what, what he's run. I will ask him whenever he comes up here next OKO. Uh, Jim Dudley wanted us to wish somebody a happy Easter, and I didn't fully hear him. Next time he comes up here. So if you're watching for Jim Dudley, he said happy Easter. <laughs> I will get the exact name. Yes, sir, Joe. RC Space Secret sponsors my mom's earrings also. Oh, absolutely. I think he sponsors a lot of women's earrings. I have my set. I, I have, have about two or three pairs. I think I have three. I have blue, and I have red, and I have gold. I have pink. I have bottom bling. I need to get a set of the bottom bling ones from him, because those are just fancy. And I think I have two sets of pink, actually. I think I was wearing what color? I think I wore the red ones whenever Travis won Vegas. Alrighty, so who are we going to have in the next bracket for Outlaw? So Outlaw B, bracket, that's real street. No, that's not it. Um, is this it? The um, Russell getting the bye run, and then Jim <clears throat> Dudley versus Justin West, Mitro versus Aaron Klein, RC Corvette versus Shaw? Yes. And Russ versus Robert. And then Robert versus Brandon Blackburn, Sean Miller versus Mark Knight, and then Travis versus Dino, uh, Joe Old versus Boogie Reakin, and then Brandon Lynch against Billy Bob Farrow. Can anyone guess what color I mom, not Cassidy? <laughs> That's got because, your mom? We got his mom. Um, he won so at some last year. Art had a question to give away a set of earrings, and the question was, who was the last RC Speed Secret driver okay. to win a national event, and what was the significance of the date? This is SummerSlam last year. The answer was Travis Bernard and his wedding anniversary. Oh, oh that's right. I do remember that. Yeah, it was. Do what? What'd that was, you say? A, that was a vacation right there. Yeah. It was. It was. It definitely, and the funny thing is, is so if you ask anyone that knew us before King of the Streets, I said that Travis was going to win King of the Streets. I started saying it in December. So I just put it out there now. You put that good positive energy out there. I try sometimes. Most of the time. I'm pretty good about it. They got trophies made for first and second place of all the brackets. Okay, I said he knew it handed down. That's, that's, he, he was, he was the one that answered everyone. Really? Yeah, everyone went off and was listing everyone off. And they, like, list the actual date, but not the significance of the date. Oh, gotcha. 
so they came up to us and they had asked if that was okay to use it. I'm like, yeah. And they pulled me on the live whenever they asked the question because they're like, here's your hint. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Very cool. I love that anniversary too. He, he won't ever be able to beat that anniversary. <laughs> I mean, he might win more money on a different anniversary. We never know. I mean, let's be honest. You're not against it. No, I'm definitely not. If you have to buy the right lottery ticket at the right place. Yeah. Well, we went gambling afterwards, and he won some money gambling afterwards, too. I didn't. He did. Dag, I'm But it's okay. I was spending his money. <laughs> he was just on a lucky street that week. Tell Travis to win for his dad's birthday. I guess Jeremy Olson's birthday is tomorrow, so happy birthday to Jeremy. Uh. Look, the professional groove checker is coming. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't with myself. Ooh, Mitro. I believe that is Mitro's wife. Is it Squeen's Daily Channel? Yes. Yes. She has great talking. people, too. She is. She's very sweet. I remember, um, I think I met Mitro. Oh, we know. Hey, Travis, Travis, check that tape. Right there. Travis, Travis, check that tape on that right, on that right, left, that, yeah, that one. One of them came up on a pass. All right, we're having them fix that tape up there. <laughs> You're on it. I want to make sure, we don't want that tape to come up. You know, definitely for the people that are using it, but they're, they're sitting there getting it back down on there. How many people have, have you noticed using the tape? Only a couple. I really only have seen a couple. It's coming up. That's a question whether to... I think Leo is using the tape, and I believe well, I the noticed on that last yeah, pass. Yeah, she said she was, hey, look at that, and it was coming up a little bit to me, and they're stuck, stuck it down. Okay. okay. BB. B minor. Big break. Yeah. B bracket. Definitely a fun-filled day of racing today. Oh gosh, yes, uh, a lot of good racing minutes. though. There's a lot of so good people here, here, a lot of good racing. Right There's been a lot of close races. I oh, think Travis and Sean's were still the closest. The closest. One. Point zero 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 eight. That's crazy. It's, it's so crazy. I had where was it? There was I think one of the races in San Antonio was super close like that too. It was like a point zero 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 zero. She's opening a Dr. Pepper over there. I heard it. I was like, what was you like, where's the Dr. Pepper? They don't have any over there, unfortunately. No. Yeah. Now, I got some Dr. Peppers in the car today. Doesn't doesn't I'll probably have to roll in tomorrow. Um, I'm probably have to roll into tomorrow. Yeah. Definitely probably. The it's 2.37. And we haven't even got to buy back yet. I'm trying to keep things moving, but it's like... It, it's the, it is, it is what it is. I'm going to... they got to have 15 minutes for 20. You need to go pepper. What? It's just, go you're pepper. not going to start pepper? eliminating them. Pepper up. Uh, two more I got more. her. I got her. Yeah, so <laughs> we'll get it. Like, final is probably going to be tomorrow, which we're going to have this kind of weather tomorrow anyway. So, yeah. How far are you away? Three hours. Okay, so yeah, you're, you're so. cool with rolling over to tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. I know some people might not be able to, but we're gonna have to at least try and get it to where like we'll cross that bridge when we we'll cross that bridge. Mm -hmm. I mean, we do have to. We have so about six case, hours left, and here's the thing: the once we get through the buyback uh, round, we'll start dropping. It. Yeah, so about it drops minutes. in trees, which drops how quick it moves. Yes, it does. And that—that's you can drop it. It'll work. R. Sanford, hello, ladies. Great job at the race. Cassie's been kicking butt. I'm now starting to hurt, so I might have to have you talk. <laughs> <clears throat> but it's definitely, we're definitely having fun. It's a good time, but we had a good turn out for it. She said 2.45. 2.45. We're going to send the next pair down the track. I want to make sure we thank the web's uh, live stream sponsor today, which is Ghost RC. Mr. Aaron Klein has been killing it out here today. Yes, he has. Uh, and 217 mm. Photography. Is our is the replay sponsor yes. today. They've been doing great. 
I think they posted up a little bit of some photos yesterday. Uh, they're also going to be taking a couple photos at Midwest Classic. Gary Rowe's going to be there on site with his photos, too. Really? Yes. So, um, 217 Photography is going to run around and take a bunch of photos of the event and stuff like that for us. And then Gary Rowe's going to have his photos there, too. Very cool. And I had not heard of Yeah, we, they put it on the, um, event page. Gotcha. That barbecue looks real good. I know, I'm starting to get a little hungry. I might make Travis give me some money. Oh, I am. I am. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Well. Well, pays for most of the stuff that you drive. Right, right. <laughs> no, I get yeah. it. All right. Well, um, 245, she said? Yes. So, 245. And then move it along. Yep. Get some of these. Gero says, thanks, Cassidy. I got you. <laughs> Definitely got to support the people that support the sport. Absolutely. Leo says, what round is this? We are still in round one. It is round one B, B bracket. There are four brackets. So it is, you have A, 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 B, B, B bracket. And you also have buybacks in first and second. There are food trucks here. There is a killer barbecue truck. I do not know what they are called, but there is a barbecue truck over here. Caitlin was eating some uh, pulled pork on top of some mac and cheese, and I think I might have to go get some of that here in a second. That's just so good. I, yeah, it does look really good. I, I, I'm getting hungry. Outlaw, I don't know if you saw that. I said bracket it. B, four minutes. There we go. Outlaw bracket B in four minutes. I'll walk over to the Travis here in a second and go steal his money. <laughs> Well, we nope. went down from our hotel last night, and there's this little place on the corner to, like, just go grab food. And he gets down there, and he goes, I forgot my wallet. And I go, you're lucky I remembered mine. <laughs> See, um, our we motto so is. We found what? Yeah, Raisin Cane's. Oh, you found a Raisin Cane's? Yes. Yeah. But. How are we doing? But well, Travis doesn't like Raisin Hi. Cane's. Hi. No. But. Our problem was it was directly across from yeah, another favorite place of ours. Right lane. What a burger. Oh. Yeah. See if it was in and out. It's our real street. Uh -huh. yeah, Have you been over? Uh, we're going to roll this in. We the went bar. to, I think it's, it's the Arena Pub. That's right down because we stayed we right down there. The and the Travis had yeah. their chicken oh. Alfredo. Yeah. They had like a wood fire oven like <gasps> and pizza and stuff. Ooh. I had their mac and cheese and then they also had pretzels and like queso. Yeah. Was it good? It was so good. Gary Road guaranteed all classes now in RCHRA first round buybacks with exception Big Dog and Renegade. There go. Alrighty, they're about to come back up here to go racing. Oh, let's see, what was our back at bracket for this round? I it think is. Russell had the buy. Alright, oh, right. two minutes. Well, it was there. Oh, there it is. Russell, right. yeah. Russell has the bye, and then we're going to have Dudley versus Justin Russ as our second pair. Pair is going to be Mitro versus Aaron Klein. Pair four is RC Corvette versus Shaw, who is the benefit of the, is the race. of this race. Then we're going to have Russ versus Robert Hurst, and then Robert Shore versus Brandon Blackburn, and then Sean Miller versus Marcus Knight, Travis Bernard versus Dino Tapia, and then Joe Olds versus Boogie Rackin, and then Brandon Lynch versus Billy Bob Farrow. Billy Bob. Billy Bob. Um, they say it, Papa. Um, when in Oklahoma, it's Whataburger. Malik! <sighs> we have 21 hey. outlaw racers, but with the four brackets, I believe it is 80. Get Sean's car ready. He's oh, trust. It is four, so it is technically 80, 80 entries. I think the pot is 4,000. Yeah. I believe. I will verify that, but I believe it is 4,000. All the buyback money, so uh, first place is winner takes Outlaw, all. He's going to take B, let's who, go! Yeah, we don't have any girls racing. So he, whoever wins, is going to take home the entire pot. 
And then second, third, and fourth is going to get a portion of the buyback. So second place is going to take 60% of the buyback money. Third place is going to take 10%. Either, so it's fourth. That I know that doesn't add up to 100% of the buyback money, but that 20% left of that buyback money is going to go to Shaw, who is the benefit for this race. Yep. I'm good. Driver ready. All right. Watch Here the we light. Go. Two fifty six. Two fifty six. All righty. Yes, sir. All righty. Russell's gonna have the buy. They should be heading up here. She's about to send these pairs down. Nope. Jared Mills just showed up. Did Mr. he really? Yep. He's right there. Right. Walking through. I see him. Oh boy. Yep. There he is. Hello. Let's go. There we go. There we go. Uh, Caitlin got that voice. Gina, you got what'd it. you say? All right. All righty. It don't work. Maybe I should go yell for her here in a second. Yesterday, yeah. All right. Once again, it's going to be Russell. We'll have the bye run. Jim versus Justin. Mitra versus Aaron Klein. RC Corvette against Shaw. Russ against Robert Russell. Hurst for the first five pairs. Then Jim. Mr. Jim, you ready? Justin, you ready? Dudley there? Yep, Dudley's up there. He's ready to go. Justin's finishing heating his tires, so is Jim Dudley, so it looks so good. Move them down. Dave got said it's Whataburger when they knock the helmet. Huh? Um, the seat. It's so hard because they have everything here. There's Arby's, there's Rice and Cane's, and there's Whataburger. They have and Arby's I'll too? Have, I have not seen uh, Arby's. A screenshot oh, yeah, here Arby's in a minute. Okay. No. Okay. We can't do Arby's. I know we can't do Arby's, but we should. <laughs> Arby's should sponsor us. I'm just saying. <laughs> I said Starbucks should sponsor them for me. <laughs> All right. Justin West is going to be uh -oh. in our right lane. Jim Dudley is going to be in our left lane. R1 versus a GFRP. Uh, next one. Next one. Right there. Right there. Right Driver's ready. Up. Watch the light. Ooh, Ooh. good run. Right lane for the win. Left lane was 01 red. Oh, he bumped, red light. I bumped it. Bumped yeah, it. I want to hit the squeeze at the time. 167. 167. Good pass. Good driving. Right lane's going to take that Dudley red lit by a .01. Dang. That, that was, that was yeah. All right. Up Thanks. next Good after run. this run. is going to be Metro and Aaron. No, that one. Yeah, Ooh, Mitch are going against Aaron. Yep. It's always good, Yeah. Good job. Yeah. 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 I must say I can't I can't pick between those Mitra! two. I like both of them. Oh look at this sweet little baby. Little Aren't they pretty? Aww. I'll love on her while you eat if you want. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? It's gonna be up there. I'm gonna send her a screenshot so we got all Aww. the names. We didn't have everybody pay in the last time. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, so wait till you get that. Yes, sir. Okay. We'll announce it. All right, Aaron here we is up coming. here. Metro is coming. Travis went down, huh? All right, man. I'm waiting on you. 
All right, Aaron Klein is going to be in our right lane. Mitro is going to be in our left lane. It's hard to pick between them. Yeah. It really is. Aaron's been killing it today. I will say that. Mitro's been in some quick Yes. Huh. No. No. Time is ready. That way. There you are. Watch the light. Woo! Right lane with a 156. Left lane with a 194. 156. 92 mile an hour. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Jinx. Almost 93 mile an hour. Up next, we're going to have RC Corvette against Shaw. back there too so I think so we're gonna go right to Russ and Robert Russ is still back there but I believe Brandon and Robert are both up here so she could run Robert up there and Brandon up here Blackbird. Voodoo yeah. Lane where is this at we are in Tulsa Oklahoma at the O'Brien Park are you guys ready yeah. Robert and Brandon right yeah. Yeah. Brandon's like, let's roll. Brandon is always ready, and he is up. We're jumping. Line. Yep. I'm just, they're here, I'm moving. There you go, run them. All right, so this is going to be um, Brandon Blackburn. Lynn, yes, Brandon Blackburn is going to be in our right lane, and then... Uh, Robert Shore is going to be in our left lane. This is going to be good. Robert's been really good on that tree today. Driver's He's ready. been driving really straight Watch passes. Watch the light. Ooh. Ooh. He played, it. played it smart there. Right lane cross, left lane for the win. All right. A lot of steering. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Nice run, guys. He lost steering. Uh, I think your sleepiness wore off on me. Huh? So I think your sleepiness wore off. I'm sorry, man. I'm just like, oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, who we got up next? You got three of your board members here now. Huh? I said three of the board members showed up. Eric and Cut's a board member, too. He's on the MPRC board. Who is it? Eric. The guy in the purplish shirt. Oh. That's yeah. Yes, Eric. So, uh, board members are me, well, I'm moving Jordan Farah, Eric Hancock, RJ Dittmer, uh, Gabe Hondell. Yep, thank you. Uh, we have RJ Dittmer, Matt Housen, and Greg Bridgewater, and Nick Snyder. Yes. Nick Snyder. Jordan, Brandon, you guys ready? Jordan's like, mm, maybe. Okay. Jordan's like, put him on the clock. Sean's up here. Let Sean get his tires up. Marcus should be ready to go. Yeah. See? Huh? Do what? Um, so, I think, oh, they're walking up here. So, Russ and Robert Hurst. Is Robert Hurst up there? Do you see him? Yeah, he's. Russ and Russell are walking up, so that will kind of get us back on track right now. Yep. But they're going to run Sean and Marcus, Marcus right now. So this is actually our pair seven. Woo, so Sean is in our run. left lane, and Marcus Knight is going to be in our right lane. Freak show versus freak show. Watch the light. Marcus Knight turned the win on that one. Both 
both went 166. Margin of victory was 0 0.06. Wow. Travis and Sean still both have the closest race of the weekend. And that, what uh, pairing Russ was that one? and Robert Hurst. Uh, Russ was walking up there. I saw him. He's right there. I believe she called Russ and Robert. Yes. Gary Rose is RCHRA at Outer Banks in North Carolina in two weeks. Ready, Robert? Which lane? Uh, Russ, you're going to be in the left. Speed Secret Lane, and Robert Hurst is going to be in our BBM Performance Lane. Russell Sutton, Russell's car for him, real quick. All right. Driver's ready. Watch the light. Oh! Left lane, 171. 171, that left lane. Tell you what, this one, um, no favorites on the lanes Are you in for our outlaw. Travis is coming up. You ready? Yep. All right, we got Travis and Dino. Travis, Travis actually gets ready? the flip. He is going to be working in the left lane instead of the right lane. I'm right lane. Yep. This is the only one in this bracket that he had to go in the left lane. Right at the end. Gary Rowe, great Everybody job does. on video, Richie and Val. Well, I want to say Jordan, once again, right. huge shout out Cassidy, because without Cassidy, yeah. she knows it. all the drivers and knows the lingo, so huge shout out to Cassidy. Thank you. All right, we got yes. Brandon Lynch going up in our left lane, Billy Bob Fair going up on our right. I tell you what. Driver's I ready. Watch the light. Ooh. Ooh. Right lane. I have a real appreciation since the drivers are looking at each other and they're not laying the cars down until both drivers are ready. That's, that's awesome. Hey, Billy Bob. They were asking what chassis you were running. You ready? V1R1. I don't know if y'all heard that. Really? He said V1R1. Boogie, right? Boogie, yep. It's a borrowed car. I don't know, it had a Kingless Street sticker on the bottom of it. I saw that earlier. Huh? It had a Kingless Street sticker. Okay, we got Boogie Rackin and Joe Olds. It's a cool body that Boogie has painted up with the bright colors. I might have to go steal Diet Coke from Stu here in a minute. That is a bright car. Driver's ready. Flight. Oh. Joe is on. One Joe is working it. Joe is. Joe has been. Ah, oh, dang it. I didn't get your ticket. Yeah, you ran a 160. Chris Haynes uh, says, what's up, Cassidy? Hey, Chris, three nine how line. are you? Chris Haynes is another one of the new Voodoo drivers this year. Ready, man? Don't really? Ready? Yep, he got on video. Jordan Farrow oh. got on video. This is the man we're here for. Ain't no pressure on you at all, man. No pressure. <laughs> all right, we got Shaw in our right lane. 
RC Corvette. Shaw. And a good pass by RC yes. Corvette. Like that's a beautiful dog. All right. Let's see. I think Cassidy's going to clean off track, make sure. And once again, this is um, T Town's first inaugural RC bash. Um, the beneficiary was actually Shaw that just ran. So, huge shout out to them. Driver ready? All right. Watch the light. 186. 186. Good run. I miss under these uh, buybacks, guys. And you can go see Shaw's wife up there at registration. Very cool. Yes, sir. For Bobaks. For Bobaks. A and B bracket outlaw. Huh? Yeah. No, she was saying good registration for Bobaks. She likes the wall. All right, good pass. Steering backwards. That was a good round right there. All right, let me go find out what we got up next, and I'll be right back.
No, I, I said driver and he went. <laughs> That's how it works. I'm going to do, I'm working on buybacks. All for right, guys. And, uh, um, we're going to take about a 10-minute break. We're going to um, leave the mics running so that way you can hear um, what's going on around us. But um, okay. just give us a little bit of time and enjoy listening. And um, they are going to be doing, um, I know a couple ready? of people are doing a few little test runs. So just um, enjoy the view. Grab you something to drink, grab you something to snack on, because that's what we're fixing to do. Go use the bathroom, we're fixing to do that too. So y'all just bear with us and we'll be right back with y'all. You gave her the money, right? You gotta speed it up a second.
Timo, you got the buy. Do you want to take it? There are other guys are charging right now. It keeps changing. It does, and I just, it's, I don't know if the slice is sticking or what. Cause like, I can't, I couldn't break the 60s. Every time I get a 601, and I fucking walk, walk in Walking the car. It. And then the left lane is just. Hey, thanks for help getting everybody up here. Just that sun, man, it starts to. Yeah. Are ready? Dima, you ready? Uh -huh. Watch the light. You're good. Do what? No. Is that what it worked? Oh, it'll work. That's why we made the decision. Because after yesterday, I told everybody, I'm like, guys. 337, demo. We can start running this group first thing. Or I'll split it. Put my shit on it. Roll it out six inches. Roll it out six inches. Make it pass. Everybody go back to where you go. Make it hurt. What you got? So that was the best decision. Oh, okay. Thank you. We're going to be to that one. Instead of. That one being ten times worse than what it is. Yep, watch the light. Try and run as much outlaw today as I can. Okay. That's the role like the final, the final four. So this and the uh, what do you have? I mean, it's in the back and open. I think four or five of y'all. <laughs> yeah, I can do that. We'll, we'll do that tomorrow. Let's get outlaw. You gotta have a hard case battery. You gotta weigh 2,400 pounds. You gotta, I mean, you gotta be full body. Can't even have the bumper cut out. Nothing like that. Yeah. I ain't gonna buy a whole new body, new battery, new this and that just to run that real street. See, we have open battery here. Right. And I, still, I think I, open battery should be. Able but I still got. I have a hard case. I've got to check out my other car. Yeah. Yeah. But I'd have to buy a new body. Back in uh, the old ones I got. Yeah. All the ones I have been old outlaw body. Waiting on Leo. We had to change it by ESC. We had to change it. I changed. I saw, I saw you over there working on it. He's pretty nice though. I'm his mechanic. He won the uh, cash days. Oh, did he? Last year. And yeah, we should give him. And since he won, he won that last night. He bought you what? It's still at 8.7, so I can't run it up. Did you burn it down? Don't burn it down. I just make sure I'm about to get it. Oh, I mean, not. Charging your battery? Yeah. yeah. He says, we got it fixed. We fixed it pretty quick, but for having to solder and all that shit, we did pretty quick. I tested it. It's ready. Do y'all have a curfew or do y'all just put one in start? Well, it's dark at 8. We're supposed to have light, but then we'll just have to hop in. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
contract was written and signed, it was in there. Uh.
working. What was your name again? Doug Needham. Did you buy back? We don't see him in um, buyback. Yeah, I bought back for Ray Bracken. What's your name? Doug Needham. Or just give him the buy. Just give him a buy. Yeah, but we're gonna still have to add him back in. That's the problem. One second. I gotta call Scott. All right, one second. Before I do that, this is what we're gonna do. So that way we don't forget anyone. I don't think she had your name written. Scott. Put a B on my Scott, name. I'm a pain in your fucking ass. True. Can you reset A? It won't let you. I just tried. Two seconds before you do that. I'll tell you. I just want to make sure that I have everyone screenshot it so that I don't miss anyone. <laughs> Bye, back. I know I'm a pain in your ass. At least I admit it, though, right? Okay, Doug. So then I have. Yes, you said your name was Doug, right? Prep, 
What is going on, everybody? We are back. Everybody wake up. Rise and shine. We are back. We got the famous no. Jared Mills on no. here. Nobody's famous. Yeah. I'm the head nobody. You're the head nobody? Head nobody. Hey, I, I hear tell you got a race coming on in May. Can you tell me about it? Yeah, we. Uh, this is the first time ever putting on Super Chip. No. <laughs> no. No, this is uh, our fourth one this year, um, May 24th through the 26th, Memorial Day weekend uh, here in Tulsa again. So we're we're looking forward to it. Pretty excited. Awesome. Oh. Yeah. Roughly how many registrations do you already have? Uh, I think we're pushing 300 this year already. Um, Sweet. Yeah, I mean, the number's down a little bit, but uh, it's still going to be a good race. I mean, we don't care if you know, 16 people show up. Oh, we're going to have a good time. Leo says Jared is famous. Leo. Uh, oh, Leo. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, Leo, you're famous, buddy. So. Very but, cool. Yeah. And uh, we're, we're excited this year, too, to have you guys live streaming it for us. Uh, we're excited. Thank you for yeah. reaching out to us. We're, we we're appreciate it. Appreciate that. And, uh, man, all the advertisement that you guys are doing for us. We try. Um, yeah. So y you reach out across the the old Facebook and YouTube and just uh, across the industry and help us out. So we're, we like that. So, um, Super Trip is the best race of the year. Absolutely. Oh, it's a yeah. very good race. Yeah, that's the first time I met that guy. I believe it two years ago. Um, this crazy Canadian came down and, and raced it. <laughs> and uh, I didn't know who Leo Getz was, but uh, I met him. So he's a pretty cool guy. Very cool. Um, what was I going to ask you about Super Chips? Okay. What's the entry fee and all that, and how do people get registered if they're not already registered? Entry fee, we're going to do um, $50 per entry in Outlaw, and you can enter up to two times. Uh, two different cars, one car, we don't care, but two times max. Okay. Uh, and then um, Real Street, uh, we're keeping it Real Street this year since we started that last year, and it, it seemed to go over pretty well. I believe that's a $35 entry fee. Uh, and then you have a, a $35 track fee that you pay uh, upon pre-registration. So Very cool. And when's registration? Um, I know it's open right now. When yeah. are y'all closing it? Uh, we try to close it a week or two before the race just to get our ducks in a row and get everything lined up. Um, that was kind of before RC Drag uh, RC Drag RC races. Drag races, yes. And um, But now that program has eased our... Uh, Tension? Yeah, yeah. So it kind of does everything for us, uh, you know, like a click and play. So uh, once you get registered, you're already in the queue. We just print everything from there, arrange everything from there, and uh, it just makes it super easy for everybody. Okay. Now, um, I know you said pre-registration. Now, um, is are you all going to accept registration even after that? or? Yeah, I mean, if you, if you guys want to trek down to Tulsa, Oklahoma, <laughs> the day of the race and come race, yeah, I'm not going to turn you away. Sweet. So, we're pretty we're pretty simple down home. We just want to have fun and race our tow cars and hang out. Very cool. So yeah. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. Thank you. Wow. But uh, yeah, so uh, May 24th to the 26th, um, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Uh, for you guys that have raced it last year, that's going to be in the same parking lot. I, I can't promise it's going to be at the same area of the parking lot. We may have scoped out something else, uh, but it's going to be in the same parking lot, so you guys are familiar with that. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, most of the information is on the Facebook page. Um, 
or RC Drag Races. There's a lot of information there too. Uh, reach out to me or Greg Bridgewater. We, I mean, we can we can kind of guide and direct any questions. You're pretty quick on the draw. When, when I message you, you're really quick to respond back. Yeah, um, I'm kind of a, a people person, customer service oriented. You know, I don't I don't care for for companies that take forever to reply. Because you know, I'm kind of that way. I want to I want to answer to a question in a in a timely manner. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So. I treat people like I want to be treated. So, I mean, that's that's the rule of live by, right there. I, yeah, that's how I was raised. I, I I blame my dad and my mom for that one, <laughs> which isn't a bad thing. So, but, but uh, three hundred entries. Yeah, right? as of right now, yeah. That's awesome. And and that'll grow. The, oh, absolutely. The closer, you know, people are still trying to get time off and vacation and scheduling and all that stuff. So, you know, getting babysitters and all that for the kids. I don't care. Bring, bring the kids. I mean, there's. You know, there's a water park there. There's plenty of stuff to do in Tulsa. Um, so, yeah, bring the family. It's, I mean, that's what these bigger races get to hang out. I mean, I know it's a long time sitting in the pit, but there's other stuff to do. So bring the family out. Um, how about food and bathrooms? Oh, here we go. So I know Cassidy's not listening because she's helping run this race, but mm -hmm. uh, she requested a female-only restroom. And there might be, no, 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 there will be a female-only restaurant. But, yeah, we'll, plenty of porta potties plenty of uh, food trucks coming. Um, last year we kind of scrambled around, but we were kind of blessed because instead of having two food trucks, I think we have four total show up. So Now, we weren't able to make it the last Super Chip, but Super Chip before that, y'all y'all were banging on them food trucks. They were awesome. Uh, yeah, we were, we're fortunate enough. Uh, we found a couple. Actually, we have we found two food trucks that they travel around with each other, mm -hmm. so they kind of have the same schedule, and it's different food. Uh, so, and then we have a uh, slush face slushies, yes. uh, which is amazing. Especially, I mean, if you're in Tulsa in uh, the end of May, first of June, it's a little warm, so they kind of come in clutch with the cool down method. Very cool. Uh, no. but, um, Leo says there's restrooms in the building where Gun Show is. Uh, there is, but we, I don't know if they have an activity in there. Uh, so sometimes, well, most of the time when they have uh, an event in there, you have to pay to get in the door. So um, there are restrooms, but sorry. It might be out loud to us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's true. So, <clears throat> But, yeah, we're looking forward to it. Um, just gearing up for it. Uh, sponsors are coming on board. Um uh, we're we're blessed to have the sponsors that we do. Yes. Uh, grateful for them, and I tell them all the time. You know, a lot of I can't. Well, I can't say a lot of, but there's some races that they thank them once, they throw their banner up, and that's pretty much it. And then they beg for money the next year. Um, we've established a relationship with a lot of the sponsors, and we're just grateful that they come back year after year. You know, support us, support the racers. And let us keep doing what we like to do. Amen. So. Leo says the show is happening again. They allowed me last year. <laughs> How about the same taco truck? Same taco truck. I don't know. Um, that one was like a uh, spur of the moment. We had one truck show up, and they called somebody, and they showed up. So, I mean, there's no <laughs> there's no telling what, <laughs> what taco truck is going to show up. But um, I, I personally haven't had a bad taco in Tulsa, so. I don't know they made such a thing as a bad taco, uh, period. And I, well, I'm a taco snob, so um, if there's a bad taco, I'm not going to go to it, uh, either taco truck or a restaurant. But, uh, yeah, I haven't had a bad taco at Super Chip at all. So, But, yeah, Taco Wasso is, is, was the food truck, and they, they did say that they are going to come back this year. So, awesome. Yeah. Very cool. Uh-oh. We're back to racing. <clears throat> We've got Joe Olds in the right and Russ in the left lane. Driver's ready. Watch the light. Right lane, 162. Left lane with 170. Right lane taking the win. Joe, moving on. There you go. Good job, man. We need some country fried steak at Super Joe. Hey, now, what's cracking in the dry racing world? Ooh. 
lots of new stuff. <laughs> Tires, ESCs, chassis. You name it. Yeah, it's still still rocking along. So um, give me your verdict. People are saying that drag racing is dying. Some people are saying it's not dying. What is your verdict? Uh, well, based off of this race that we're at, <clears throat> excuse me, we're at right now, uh, even though it's not a huge race, people come from all over the place to race this race. So, I mean, it's it's not dying. Um, it's, it's ever changing. I'm Thank not going to say it's dying, though. Up. Good luck, gentlemen. All right, we got Travis Bernard against Sean Miller. Where are they racing at this afternoon? We're in Tulsa, Oklahoma, Bryan Park. Drivers ready? Watch the light. Wow. Left lane Holy taking the crap, win on that back, one. Son. Sean Miller. Oh my God. That was a close race. Now, see, they, they've gone back to back friend. like two or three races now oh, here. Hey, we're trading back and forth today, buddy. <laughs> see? Back Good yeah. job. Good racing. Boogie and Brandon Blackburn. Yes, yeah, so go back to your question is Brandon Blackburn. Is drag racing dying? No. There's just more races, even at a local scene, so the races are being distributed. Boogie, so ready? the numbers are not at a race, but there's new races popping up with those guys populating that race. So, yeah. 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 I don't see it. I see it growing, you know, with the more races. Be Granted, in like you were saying, lane. there's a smaller Brandon's amount, the right. but there's more races going on. Yeah, yeah. So. I mean, with, the, with it popping off, Four and a half, five years ago, of course, the numbers are going to grow. Big number getting in. Everybody's excited. You know, the the new kind of wears off, so there's going to be a little low. But I mean, that's in that's in every RC hobby. Uh, I mean, with RC being the fastest growing section of the hobby, you're going to have a little drop off just because of the new wears off. I mean, that's that's in everything. Brandon, but, you're in the right. Boogie, you're in the left. But uh, you know, with great race promoters, great race directors even at the local scene, uh, keeping it good, it, it's gonna stay steady. Uh oh, we got, um, looks like we're gonna have, is that Boogie Rankin? Yep, in the left lane. And Brandon Blackburn in the right lane. Drivers ready? Yep. Watch the light. Oh. Woo, Boogie That's taking off on that one. Unfortunate. Left lane, 178. Yes, sir. Right there for you, Boogie. Thank you. Boogie taking the win. RC Corvette. Marcus Knight. I guess Jordan's fixing his. All right. right up next, we should have Marcus Knight against RC Corvette coming up. This will be a good race. Then you're up there. House of Hook did that. Great race, Sean and Travis. House of Hook out of uh, Brandon, Kansas. You ready? Yeah. Have you been over there to the, some of the Kansas races? Yes. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. That's, that's only about three hours for us, so uh, we used to go up there very often. So it was a great track, all concrete. So. Very cool. KPKP KP at WebRC Videos. Hello Brandon, from Vancouver, Canada. Lane, Hello. Right. How are you, KP? I haven't seen you in a while. Let's see. Uh, oh, we got Shaw. Yeah. Good luck to you, sir. Good luck. Good luck, guys. Shaw going against El Jefe, Brandon Lynch. Matthew Hills is setting it up for Shaw. Drivers ready. Watch 
So, yeah, so I'll take the win on it. Huh? Yeah, I already saw that one. <clears throat> All right, who we got up next? All right, it should be Billy Bob against Mitro. Okay, we're gonna do um, Marcus Knight right, against RC Corvette. Yeah, RC Corvette's running a super speed chassis, and Marcus, of course, with that all logoed out, he's got a five star, <laughs> five -star. chassis. <laughs> Wonder what they're running. Yeah, right. <laughs> I do believe this is the okay, second ready? time they've lined up. Wow. 169 in the right. Morgan's Knight taking the win on that one. All right, we got Russell. No, it's Justin, my bad. We got Justin versus Robert, Robert Scriver. Schroeder, yeah. Driver's ready. Watch the light. Justin taking the light. 159 in the right to a 171 in the left. He had more mall power for you, though. Nice. Uh, <clears throat> Nicholas Morgan. Um, we are not in Vancouver. We are actually in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Trey's RC No Prep Drive World. There's another one blast from the past. Let's go boogie. Yeah. You ain't gotta take it so easy on him. See? <laughs> and, and to add to your question too about RC drag racing dying. Yes. I mean, being, being at this race, there's several people I don't know and have never met. And I'm not saying I'm anything in the RC drag world, but I've been around a minute. You're well known. I, I, yeah, uh, but I love meeting new people and seeing new faces. And uh, there's quite a few here today. So uh, yeah, it's- That's a good thing. Alright, looks like we got Robert Hurst is going against Dino. Driver's ready. Watch the light. Wow. Nice race. 170 in the left to 185 in the right. Yeah, Dino took that one. Good run though. Those were that was close. Alright, let's see. <laughs> it's one of our local racers in the left lane. I believe, is that um, Ryan and Russell? Yes. Okay. Um, Trey's 850 in the house. What's going on, Trey? Driver's ready. Watch the light. Mm. Wow, good runs right there. Right lane goes a 170 and left lane goes a 181 into the wall. Jordan and Mitro. Billy Bob yeah. and Mitro. Mitro, you're in the right lane. Jordan, you're in the left. Mitro came Just up behind me and scared the pee out of me. In real quick, guys. Mitro is a, he's an OG, old school guy. Uh, we got started together back. Uh, really before this first Super Chip. So it's been about five, five and a half years ago. Aaron, get out of the way. Uh, he's, he's up in Kansas, so 
we like to go to each other's territory and mess with each other all the time. All right. Mark Mayer says guys. this is going to be dirty. <laughs> Driver's ready. Watch the light. Woo! Suck it, I let out. Ah, left lane. Let me start taking the win on that one. <laughs> when I looked down at the bar, we took some rides with that. 15 minutes. 15 minutes. That was, that was a crazy race. Four yeah. Times, four <laughs> times, the first pair down. Um, Travis and Ron. Okay, oh, it's my best. He's still in it. If you're talking about Travis, yes, he is still in it. <laughs> okay, oh, or Jeremy, I don't know who that is. Two good guys. Yeah, if you, if you guys can get to a local race or a smaller race like this, go do it. Uh, Absolutely. If you've been to a big race, I mean, there's more, I guess there's more at stake sometimes, and... People don't talk as much as they need to. People don't hang out, but I mean, or share. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking over in the pits and I see teams upon teams just talking to each other, hanging out, helping each other. I mean, I know we all help each other, but I mean, th this is cool to be at to see, you know, GFRP and Five Star, and it, it doesn't matter what you run. Yeah, they're all kind of working uh, together. Yeah, CJC R1. I mean, all these guys. So. Have you talked to Jordan? Asked him what he's running right now. I know what Jordan's running right now. Uh, he he. I, I'm, have you asked him? Yeah. Does everybody know? I'll tell I'll tell I'll go online and I'll tell everybody what he's running. He's running a borrowed car. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, that's that's all I can say right now. It's a borrowed <laughs> car. So. Uh, Trace is Boogie still in? Yes. Um, he 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 took didn't he take the win? Yes, yep. Four oh five, Oklahoma City. He's still running. All right. Um let's see. Well, I was gonna find out what was up next, but she um, ran off. <laughs> yes, she did. Galindo Rubin, Jared, my boy. Who? Who's it? Galindo. I, oh, what's up, buddy? Chris Haynes. Yep. <laughs> I wish y'all could have made it. I mean, I know this was, um, it wasn't too short notice, but I wish everybody could have made this race. It is Easter weekend, uh, though. Well, that's true. I, I forget that since I'm, I'm local, I can kind of be home tomorrow. What's up, oh. dude? Oh, there's my little dog, uh, uh, corn dog. Come here, corn dog. Can you wave to everybody? Wait, there he is. <laughs> He's so freaking cute. Yeah. For y'all that don't know, this is Jordan's little boy. And he's so cute. What's up, buddy? You hanging out, watching the race? Yeah. Who you, who you, who you want to win? Marcus. Oh, you want Marcus to win? Oh, yeah. I'm telling your dad. <laughs> hey, I want Marcus to win, too. You want Marcus to win? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is he your buddy? Yeah. Yeah. See, look, people know you. Corn dog. There's Tony. Huh? Hello. Hello. Okay, O says, what's up, Jay? What's up, man? Uh, are you are you guys, comment, If are you guys coming to the Chili Bowl this next year? Jeremy, okay, O? I'm, I'm kind of hoping you guys are. We missed you this year. Okay, Jared, let's go racing. Oh, I can. pull up, man. Grab a lane. Let's do it. Oh, and or dirt oval. Let's let's go do some dirt. Hey, um, anybody you want to say hey to? Say hi, Mama. Want to say hey to anybody? No. No. <laughs> no. Okay. You just you're good hanging out, huh? Yeah. Okay. Say a big shout out to myself. <laughs> oh. Hey. There we go. Hey, I want everybody to take a look at his shirt right here. Oh. It says chicks dig my oh my members. <laughs> nice. Chicks dig my curls. <laughs> I wished I had your curls, bud. 
Um, okay, it says it's official. I'm going to go, and I will be on RC Fun Time all week when oh, I'm sweet. not racing. That's awesome. Yeah, RC Fun Time's Sean Jungian. He's coming out of, uh, like, the Wisconsin area. So um, he hasn't been in a couple of years, so it's, it's going to be good to have him back at the RC Chili Bowl. Hey, it was nice finally meeting you guys today. What's up, Jared? What's up, Hardison RC? Oh, what's up, Chris? I wish you guys could have come out and raced this one. Pretty hair. He's so cute. He said, look, he's like. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't mess with my hair. It's kind of like the way babies feel when you grab their cheeks. It's I like, know. why are you touching me? <laughs> because they're so freaking cute. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Jordan's going to have to fight me. Chloe's going to have to fight me. Uh-oh. You're so cute. Huh? <laughs> you know how to mow the grass? Yeah. Uh oh. You're hired. <laughs> You're probably going back to Georgia. What do you think? What do you mean? I live here now. Oh, I know. I think <laughs> they're going to take you home with them. It makes you want to go by me, man. <laughs> <laughs> Lou Tatch says, I'm here. You can finally all relax. Rolling on the floor laughing. Hey, Lou Tatch, how are you? T-Town, that's Tulsa, Oklahoma. What's up? <laughs> Does Jordan know I've, I've taken you over here? Does your mama know I've, I've taken you over here? No. No? You just ran away? They'll see you on the stream. Yeah. <laughs> it's your digital leash. <laughs> she don't know? I'm going to grill Jared live on RC Fun Time at the Big Bowl. <laughs> oh, Lord, Jared. Oh, I... You're not going to get much because I'm I'm not way into dirt oval. I mean, I, I love doing it. I did it this last year, but I don't know much about that. I know a lot about going straight, but turning left. You don't know about left turn? It's it's newer to me. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Hey, I can do left turn without even trying. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, sometimes my drag car does that too. <laughs> Usually I have a bent dog bone or something, <laughs> broken shock tire. Um, Harson says, getting so excited for chips. Yeah, Chris, this is your going to be your second super chip, I believe, right? Running in Real Street and maybe Outlaw this year. <laughs> Hello, Trophy Yell. Um, smiling from Winnipeg, Canada. What's going on? Man, Canada is in the house today. Yes. Oh, <laughs> Chloe. <see. laughs> um, Trey's cooling. 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 Do what? Yeah, your mama was waving at you. Your mama was waving at you. Akeem Seeley, hey, greetings. Where is T-Town? T-Town um, is actually the name of the race, but um, it is in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Well, bye, corn dog. Bye, you, corn dog. You coming back? <clears throat> but we're actually in Tulsa, Oklahoma um, at the O'Brien Park. Yep. Here at the Benefit Race. Absolutely. For um, McCall or Shaw. Shaw, yeah. Yes, sir. Signed up for everything. Awesome. Oh, man. Got another one for Chip. Everything many But those two classes will take up the whole weekend. <laughs> man, I tell you what. This is, I mean, it's very laid back. Yes. I will say it's very laid back. Yeah. But I have had... A lot of fun talking to people, hanging out with people. Because when it's always, you know, go, 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 you don't really get to spend time with people. Yeah, yeah. So, Like I said, big, big <gasps> races. You coming on back? Yay, oh, corn dog. <laughs> I got corn dog again. You know, big races have their place for sure. Huh? You know what I'm here to watch? What are you here to watch? Fast cars and fast living. Oh. There you go. Brian Downey, how's the 217 boys doing? Duster Lee Syndicate's doing good. Hey, Jared, what do you think about the El Camino? What do I think about the El Camino? I think it's cool as crap. Um, something new. Um, 
somebody had to do it. I'm glad Andy and Dan did it. Uh, they make it look good. Um, it's a it's a car. Uh, I don't know about performance. I haven't seen on either an outlaw or real street or anything, but as far as looks, they nailed it. So it's a go for me. Okay, O says it's perfect in my opinion. Corn dog is back. Yes, he is. <laughs> I tell you, okay, I was watching. I just wished I was as good as him on a mic and interviews as he is. So. He does a really he, good job, yeah, does he not? I've he watched does. so many of them. And um, I don't know. I can't pick a favorite. He's done a lot of good ones. Oh, yeah. So T-Town is in Florida. No, T-Town is in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Yeah, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Yep. Northeast of Oklahoma City in Oklahoma. So, Jared, you got any predictions on this race? Who's going to take it home? Oh, on this race? Yeah. Uh, no, I, I don't. I don't have any favorites. I don't have any predictions. Um, what's cool about this race and a lot of littler ones is everybody's got to race the track. Uh, being a green track, I mean, not a, not, I mean, there is some sticky at the line, but, um, being asphalt a little later on down the track, half track and on, uh, it can get a little sketchy if you're not tuned right. So, I mean, it, it could be anybody's game. I mean, we, we've seen people stick. We've seen people stick and come out and win the race because some, you know, let off. So, and they drive around them, but. I mean, it's it's anybody's race, this one. Somebody said, I really enjoy this. I got to head off to um, my folks. Well, it just left me. That's hey, Richie, scroll up on this thing. Scroll up on what? <laughs> on this thing. On the comments? On the comments. It went too fast. That's all of them. No. Go back like this. Yeah, there you, there go. you go. Okay, really oh. enjoy this. I got to head off. To, nope. Go. Too far. Too far. Um, <laughs> my folks. Big hugs, Oklahoma. This is a great live stream. Y'all rock. Have a great weekend. Aha, uh -huh, I know you rock. You are my hero. Bailey Beckner says, we are coming back to Super Chip again this year. Awesome. We got a nitro. A little nitro car. Mike Upton, my family Lawton, looking yeah. for the win. Oh, Lawton, Oklahoma. That's uh, about an hour and a half from Oklahoma City, about three hours from here. Okay, you what? leaving me again? You come back? Okay. Um. Okay. What do I think about the tape lanes? Kind of like the idea. Um. Tape. There is a place for tape, I believe. Um. We are not doing any tape at Superchip. Uh. For a couple of different reasons. Um. If you if you want to know, just ask me. But uh, I don't. I don't think we're going to we're, – I know we're not going to run type of super chips. So uh, we are running multiple lanes. So same as last year, it worked. That's what we're going to continue to do. Um, I'm trying to get into RC drag racing seeing I live in San Fern Fernando. Thank Valley, you. California. Yeah. Thank you. Could somebody point me to the right direction to get into the scene in California? Uh, San Fernando. I'm not. Is that Southern California? Because if that's Southern California, I know there. I know there's SoCal and I know there's San Diego. Yeah, there's Southern California. Um, had a huge scene. It dipped off a little bit, but I mean, there's regular locals there too. Um, Lou Chatch, who brought the weed whackers. <laughs> yeah. The nitros. That would be Matthew Hills having that one. Um, yeah. And Hardison RC says the winner will be McCall Daniels. <clears throat> well, come on! Come on! Come on! Oh, here we go. We got another up and coming racer. Come on. Future, future racer. Okay. Do you mind if I hold him? No. Okay. That's fine. Come here. Come here. Come here. Look, Come here. Look you can, at here. You can see yourself on the screen. Look at that. Everybody can, can see, see you. Yourself? Can you wait? Can you, can, you say, I, can you say, I like racing? And I, I like racing. And who do you race with? Daddy and Papa. Uh, you do? Yeah. Do you have fun racing? Mm-hmm. You like it? You go fast? Do you go fast? I always like to go fast. Yeah. 
So fast is fun, huh? Fast is fun? Fast is fun? Yeah. I can run fast. You can run fast too? Yeah, I can run fast as lightning. Ooh. Fast as lightning. Can you run fast as lightning too? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Are y'all having fun at this well, race? Show them how fast they can run on the grass. Oh. Uh oh. I like Pepsi. You like Pepsi? Hey, buddy, I, do I like too. Pepsi too. I do too. He's got, he's got the Hot Wheels shirt and shorts. I see that. I'm digging that. You like Hot Wheel cars? It says it makes me fast. <laughs> it makes you fast. I could run faster than him. Oh, we're. <laughs> Woo! I can't, I can't. Is that good? I know it is. <laughs> so, um, do you do you race a lot? Do you race a lot on the weekends? Yeah. Yeah. Do you win? Yeah. Yeah. Do they go racing against each other? Yeah. Yeah. And you beat them though, don't he's, you? He's pretty. Huh? It's, it's okay. Yeah. We all do. It's Some, okay. Sometimes I drool and I sleep. Oh, God. Bro. That's terrible. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it that's happens. When you, that's when you know you're sleeping hard right there. Yeah. I know. I'm glad you're having fun, though. I know. Huh? Oh. You know? Yeah. Yeah? What are you doing tomorrow? Is the Easter Bunny coming? Oh, uh -huh. yes. Huh? Yeah. Yeah? What are you get? What are y'all getting from the Easter Bunny? I got. Um, a lot of candy. A lot of candy. I got. <clears throat> oh, we got some racing coming up. Uh oh, we got some racing coming up. Yeah. Hey y'all. Hey, will y'all come back and talk to me some more? Huh? Mm -hmm. You come back and talk to me? Okay. Cool. I could run. You can run fast. All right, let me see. Travis in the left lane, Robert in the right lane. Thank you. Mm. Travis pulled it off. You got a little crook. Good. Stayed in it. Which one was it? Bye. Oh, yeah, Pat went back. Bye. Bye. Be good. <laughs> Say bye. John right here. Wilson, Come here. This, this one. Right here. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> yeah, you guys are right, man. Racing ain't dead with all these kids around. You can run fast too. Awesome. Oh yeah. Do you you want to know who he said it was gonna win? Morgan. <laughs> Blow it. <clears throat> um, hey, hold on. Hey, get on the track. Blue tats. <laughs> Later, little man. You want to come back up? Okay. Driver's ready. Watch the light. He likes that camera. Ooh. He loves seeing the kids getting this sports. Sean into the wall. Looks like Russ is going to take that one. 173 in the right. Galinda says, does the left lane have a big dip? I can see cars drive left fast. Uh, actually, the left lane has been the quickest uh, all weekend. So as far as the dip, I mean, unless you guys are seeing something else, I don't see two major differences between the lanes. You guys can hear Cassidy in the background. Oh yeah, she's she's keeping the race moving. <laughs> I, I told I told her earlier today. I said, Cassidy, thank you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we we all needed Cassidy at these races. So we've got Joe in the left lane and Justin, Justin in the right. Look at them bodies. Big show. Some fives or uh, excuse Time me, shark ready. bodies. Yep. Watch the light. Woo! 260 in the right, 208 in the left. Tapping the wall in the left lane. Justin taking the win on that one. Justin, I got you a ticket right here. 
Yeah, Leo, you know she takes control, man. <laughs> it's one of those uh, personalities. But, you know, you got to have it. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, we got Dino. Yes, Dino, you're in the right. Marcus is in the left. All right. Yeah, I don't have a clue. Oh, Justin's going to set it. Yeah, yeah Chris, uh, not a whole lot of people are choosing the tape lane for some reason. <laughs> Marcus. Remember, yep. he's hurting. <laughs> I said Dina's hurting. Is she reading reaction times? I don't know if she's reading reaction times. I know she's doing ET. Driver's ready. Watch the light. Woo! Nice run, guys. Left lane went a one five three. Right lane went a one seven two. Cars are flying. Marcus taking the win on that one. Yeah. Um, is the little Hawaiian girl Third racing today? Shelby <laughs> Tavios is not here today. She didn't make this race. She always wins. Yeah. you guys All right, we got Aaron Klein going against. Jordan Farrow. Aaron's going to be in your RC Speed Secret Lane. Jordan's going to be in the BBM Performance oh, Parts. Oh, Billy Bob. Driver's ready. Watch okay. the light. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. It does look like Aaron Klein will take the one win on that nine. one. Five nine. Here you go. And Chris Tangy says we tried it up know. here and loved it. Hey, good deal. A lot of people are getting some good responses on the tape. I love that attitude. Yeah, there's there's got to be certain situations for the tape, though. I think you know, on a on a small small race, I, I don't know if you can get away with it unless everybody races it. Uh, and I don't know about a big race either. Yeah placing the tape and I don't know at what point do you Driver's replace ready. the tape so watch the light uh -oh, here we go oh, let's see Corvette oh. right lane with a one nine one nice race guys RC Corvette was going against Doug oh, Doug's a local guy Brandon and Metro y'all are up that might be his new saying in it to win it huh he needs a shirt that says that. And I make sure. <laughs> oh. no, this, I'll, I'll leave this stuff to you guys. I... Hey, we, we just have fun Russell's hanging out ready. with everybody. Yeah, I just fill in when I can. Hey, we appreciate you coming on. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Absolutely. I, I mean, what's a drag race in Tulsa without Jared? So. That's what I'm saying. As Chris yeah. Haynes up, said, knows, we were a little skeptical. But we were impressed with it. Good. I'm glad it's working for you guys. For sure. All right. We got is that Russ or Russell. Always get them mixed up. Yeah, the Driver father ready? son with the same name. Watch the light. He's getting by room. Competition by room. One seven nine. I think he had a by run in the other bracket too. So. Russell, I'll have you a, a ticket here if you want it. All right. All right, let's see. We got Metro going against Brendan Blackburn. <clears throat> and I guarantee you, a sharp body will win. Drag racing in Tulsa can't happen without RC Limpy. Oh, buddy. Watch light. Leo, you know, bud. <laughs> oh, good run. Oh. Left lane with a 192. Metro saved it. So. Nothing broken this run. Brandon will take the win on that one. There's a lot of what? Birds. Birds, yeah. yes. They like water, and there's a lot of water around here. Lots of lakes and ponds. You got water? Yeah, you got water. Up next, we should have Jim Dudley and John Hudkins. Buggy, heads up! They're setting them down! <laughs> run! <laughs> he can run. 
run for, run. Driver's ready. Watch the light. Here we go. So guys, if you're watching that one, left lane stuck, I'm not not sure completely, and came around and won that race. That was crazy. Yeah, I need I to get like, a wow. video on that. <clears throat> Are they going to video on that one? Yep. Okay. Oh, well, yeah, I got that part. Left lane. <coughs> Left lane. Left lane. Left lane takes the win. Yeah. Computer Life actually did man. its job. <coughs> All right, it's 420, which means 430. A to B racing. What's okay. going yep. on? Damn, what a race. As we all say, it's racing. Anything can happen. Absolutely. What's going on, Scott Davis? You tired? Where are you going? You leaving me again, corn dog? It'll speed you up a little bit, plus you're not going to have to run it. You checking yourself out on the camera? I already hit the processing, so. Perfect. Okay. All right. I'm going to go yell at them and tell them exactly where everyone's at, but they know exactly what time they need to be able to run. I love watching little kids. Oh, yeah. Because their minds are just constantly. Constantly. My, my little three-year-old granddaughter, man, she's all over the place, but, man, she's a smart little cookie. Oh, yeah. I think she's probably showed me hey, more stuff on my iPhone than anybody I'm else. Slow. <laughs> Nothing? Huh? There's what now? A part? Wait a a park? Yeah, we're in a park, aren't we? This is a big park. I see it. Huh? There's a bathroom? Yeah, there's bathrooms. Austin says, what's up, Jared? What's going on, Austin, man? It'd be uh, it'd be good to see you again, man. I know you, I know you got some stuff going on, but come on back. Who are you looking for, baby? Corn dog, who are you looking for? Are you for Chloe? All right, Chris, I appreciate that, man. Yeah, bring that drone out. We'll get okay. some more uh, some more footage. Caitlin? Yeah. Hey, I love seeing that drone footage. Yeah. yeah That's cool. Now, I will say, um, I remember seeing, um, was it last year? I think it was last year, and there was a picture taken up above. And um, it had all the tents and everything, and um, Paul had not gotten there yet. Dino, <laughs> you're in the left lane against it was Leo funny. in the yeah. right lane. If you know Paul Peterson, he, he is the life of the party, but he's late to the party <laughs> all the time. <laughs> yes, he is. What's up, Kyle Christie? Hey, but I'm, I'm just filling in for you on this race, man. I'm not trying to take your job because you do this way better than I do. So okay. don't, be, don't be hating on me. You got the buy. You got the buy. Yeah. Scott, anything you want to say on the live? You got any announcements you want to make about rcdragracing.com? Okay. Man, we got we got Scott Davis here. Uh, he created the program RC Drag Races. Yes, he is the mastermind behind it, um, and it is it changed. all the time changing and evolving no. just to a better program. Oh my God! Yeah. So, yeah. so if you have a local group that is wanting to keep up with all their races and make it a whole lot easier program, look at rcraces.com. Uh, Driver's ready. Watch the light. <laughs> um, Scott says, even if you're not going to use it, at least put your races on there. 298 in the right. 294 uh, in the left. Bro kicks you got you on the tree, Demo. He's an awesome dip. <laughs> He Rico did. Boss, what's up? You enjoy? Have a great day. He's an awesome dude. Yes. You, you here? Thank you. Austin, Austin, Are you coming back to hang out with us? Hey, okay. did you bring me candy? 
We can share. You didn't bring it okay? Yeah. It's okay. We can share. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, mama. Tell mama. You want to do your bye and then go? So Jerry yeah. said, he ain't sharing. What is this? So mama? this is the final. Is that strawberry? Huh? I don't like strawberry. Is it, you, don't, you don't like strawberry? Yeah, no, I do like it. Oh, I was like, oh my gosh, what? Jared's like, All right, y'all switch I don't have to fight for We're, we're <laughs> different people. <laughs> yeah, nice, is he the only four or five guy up there? Um, Did he? Um, I believe Mr. so. Is he really? I think so. They had a little turn right turnover yeah, in the 405. Car's so is on, this the right? final for 2-5? They're rebuilding. Awesome. Okay, we got Everett sure Park going against Leo. There oh, we yeah. go. All and this right. will be the final for the 2 5. Drivers, are you ready? Watch the light. Ooh. Oh, Leonard takes left it. Left lane Ooh. takes it. Right lane broke out. 249 oh, on a 250 dial in. Man. <laughs> So this is a second win for Le Leo Leonard. He won the quick 16 last night, if I am correct. Yes, I do believe so. Hey, slow that car down, man. Nice, nice. Um, Austin says we are rebuilding. I've never heard that. Uh, well, um, Austin, you know we've had conversations, man, so. Can it's you go all back good. In and change that? I clicked the wrong one. Blue touch. Wow, so close to that 250. Yes. Yeah. Breaking yeah. out by a hundred. Sometimes it's just one thousandth of a second. There you are. You see you. Austin says, ha ha, yeah, true. Yeah, he's, man, that, that guy is getting into crawling, RC crawling. So he's, uh, he's got a couple of the 24 scale. He's working on some 10 scale. Um, what? RC crawling around here too is, is pretty big, so. Do you crawl? I have several yeah, crawlers, he, but I don't crawl very often. I'm not, this physical body's not meant for the rocks. <laughs> <laughs> so. Who's saying my name? But, now, uh, I have a question Leo about crawling. Is it more relaxing wrong. than the drag racing? Cause like drag racing, I would think would be more no, uh, yeah, I mean, yes, you are. Crawling for me is a getaway from this. Um, you get to take your time. There's uh, a lot of technical aspects. Um, I mean, each each hobby has its own deal, but yeah, crawling for ah, me was it. a lot more laid back. You Unless you get into got competition crawling, and then it could be oh. just as intense. Oh, oh Lord Jesus, yeah. they got competition crawling oh, yeah. too, okay. Yeah. But no, I, I, never, I never did the competition crawling. I just went out and had fun with friends. I should so. have told you I was in. That's okay. I, I jumped the gun. That was my bad. Um, Austin says uh, I don't have any 110 crawlers, just two S. Yeah, 24 scale. Yeah. Oh, I thought you had a 10 scale, but I'm sorry. I was incorrect. Brian Downey says yes. Well, I had it. And if you're an RC I'm done. person, I'm not I mean, anything. sometimes you can't just stay in one category <laughs> of RC. Like, I used to I be love into. The okay. I just well, come on back. Happy, I think. Like ten scale sedan parking lot racing. Come on back. And then I got into drag racing. I have the crawlers. Uh, I never got into the airplanes and boats. That was way too expensive. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. No. I mean, I have, I have ran some buddies' boats, um, some V holes and stuff. Man, they're, they're stupid fast. Uh, it's kind of like these drag cars when they're fast and bad stuff happens. It gets expensive real quick. But you know, that being said, I think every hobby happens to your vehicle, your yeah. plane, your boat. Then it's like, oh shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But then yeah. you go back and you fix it and you start enjoying it all over again. So. Yeah. Well, and Richie Dunn removed my comments. Uh oh. Can I, can I put them back? And we got first and second place. Val lives off the comments. I do. Okay, Brian says crawling is a blast. Comp sucks. Uh, yeah. Austin, Brian, Downey. Um, all, Austin says all good. I was going to get one then. Things so. happen. I'm going to call. And decide to hold off on the tent scale. Big head. I'm a crawler, but I love so watching I the RC drag racing. B, huh? There you go. 
And Austin says, I promise I'll try to come up there and hang out soon, Jared. Though. Oh, for sure, for sure. I mean, like me and Austin, we're pretty good friends. So, I mean, there's stuff other than RC that we, we hang out and we talk about. So, uh, and, that, and that's true with a lot of people. I mean, RC just kind of brings us together every now and then. But I mean, life stuff uh, is really why we hang out. So. I'm sure you guys heard that online. <laughs> I'm sure they did. Quick. And Tom Gould says, I was only in the airplanes until one day one of my buddies convinced me to build a drag car, and the airplanes have been sitting in the closet ever since. Oh, Tom. Um, Richie can relate. He was doing airplanes for 10 years, and then all of a sudden um, we started RC Drag Racing. Yeah. Brent, do you want do you want it back? Because I'll give it back. I mean, I'll have to put it on the other side of the fence, but I'll give it back. Hey, I was telling them um, at your request at Super Chip, we're gonna have a female only. Yes, that is my request. That is my request. Yeah. We have at least one porta potty that is just for women. Yeah. Because and the men are not allowed to go in. No. Period. It is a ladies only. We can always hear that. So if there's any race go to that listen to the racers super chip has done this yes. since day one yes. so that's just that's my request there's a lot of women that want to write us at that event and i'm sorry but like i don't know you know but if you ever yeah money we'll, we'll, we'll get it we'll get it here in a minute it's, gross. Hey. Don't it's leave nasty yet. but i really appreciate the, you listening i'm listening uh, but i really yeah ella is going to be rolling down the tracks four minutes for us What's up, Rusty Brooks in the house? Oh, what's Thank up? There's you. bartender. Congratulations, yeah. guys. <laughs> Good job. Not here. Did you hear him? Yeah, we're going to roll outlaw down in four minutes. And oh, that's second round. Congratulations. Oh, that's Did awesome. they really? Okay. That's what rules. Right. I was going to get Leonard on here, the winner of the no, in index class. Hey, I'll let you interview him. Oh, man, I don't know. I'll bring him over here for okay. you to interview No, 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 no. <laughs> you do a better interview. Racers interviewing another racer is much better. Racer, yeah. Okay. Oh. Uh, we're going to go. I'm going to go get um, the winner for the bracket and let. Um, let My name's Jared. Yeah. Hi. No brain fart. Thanks, Jared. <laughs> Just call me out my brain fart, why don't you? My name's Fred. <laughs> She's Just over here going, brain fart. What's, this? <laughs> What's his name again? <laughs> That's not Cassidy. <laughs> That's good, buddy. Good job. Perfect. Okay, I got so many names floating through my head. I don't even Thank wanna... you. Where's the guy that wants? Who, who all is there from 918, Jared? Uh, I'm here. Let's see. Is floating around. Oh, what you Ella, to do? Uh, I see you move that. You have two minutes. I'm just gonna get Leo. I don't know. He's over there somewhere. I'm sure. Yeah, he's. Does he race outlaw too? Ooh, I'm not for sure. I know he loves the bracket index. So. I'll wait just a second. We'll see if he's racing anything else. Say, I'll, I'll go grab him. You'll go grab him? Yeah, I'll go grab him. You want you to go, hold it down? You can go grab him and yeah. interview him? All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll be back. That was funny. I did have a major brain fart. <laughs> I was like, who is this guy? <laughs> oh, Jerry Mills. Hello, uh, drivers. You got hi. 60 Jordan Farrow. I'll take this night and a half and say you better get here. All right. We are going into Outlaw Bracket B, starting in 29. Oh. <laughs> you don't want me dead? Well, I I'm glad. <laughs> and let's see. Out. You got number two. It's going to be Marcus Knight versus Justin West 
Um, asleep at the wheel going against Billy Bob. Sean Miller going against Travis. Good gracious, they're going against each other again. John Huckins against Brandon. Russ against Mitro. Ryan against Russell. There is Corn Dog. Um, okay, oh, Jared interview RC Corvette. What's up, Corn Dog? You, you still in his chair? Yeah. Huh? You're not giving it back? <laughs> he said, nope. <laughs> he said, nope, I ain't giving it back. Huh? Yeah, they can hear you. Come here. I told Scott, I said I had my personal mic on. <laughs> can, you, can you say hi? Hi. Hi. Tell everybody what your name is and how old you are. Four. You're four? Yeah. And what's your name? Caden. What does everybody call you? Corn dog. And who, he got two who are you liking to, to win this race? Marcus. You like Marcus? Where's, yeah. Where are you going to hold that third one? <laughs> who do you live with? <laughs> what? Who, who do you, who's your mommy and daddy? Jordan and Chloe. <laughs> okay, so let me get this straight. <laughs> hold on one second. gonna let me take this over for a minute yeah, uh, we got right we got Leo here <laughs> he told me he told me he doesn't know what to do with his hands but uh, there they are hey this guy uh, has pulled out two class wins so far he won quick 16 yesterday and he just sealed the deal on 250 index yes sir, yes, sir. so um, Leo introduce yourself tell us a little bit about yourself I'm Leonard Qualade. I race out of Northwest Arkansas uh, Man, we just like to get out here and race, have fun. We race every Saturday in Bentonville. Uh, got a, a mechanic named Earl. He works on my cars all the time. He's the main reason that I can pull off the wins like I do. That's a team effort where we come from. Nice. We're going to try to do this interview in between races, too. But, uh, yeah, um, I've raced with you guys a couple of times up in northwest Arkansas. It's always a blast racing with you guys. Um, how many big how many big races have you been to? I've been to two big races. Nice. So you got a little bit of uh, race experience. How long have you been in this industry? Uh, this is uh, been year racing. Uh, cool. I started out outlaw. I wasn't very fast. I've slowly worked up. Run one eight one eights right now. So we're just working on trying to go as fast as we can. Nice, nice. Left lane one eight five. Cool. So. Um, Outlaw kind of wasn't your gig, so you got into some breaking, some index? Yeah, you know, we're trying to run as many classes as we can. Uh, you know, you guys are running 2.5 up here, so we want to try to run 2.5. So we've been trying to put down licks and see what we can do. Nice. And it's and it's just as competitive as Outlaw. I mean, you just have to, it's just, the tuning's different. Yeah, tuning's a game, man. Uh, I blew ESC today. We had to put a new ESC in it and tune it down. And, I mean, we're running 2.5s all day, so that's nice. how we do it. Nice. So tell us a little bit about, you know, of course, I don't know if you have any sponsors. No, unsponsored. Looking for sponsors. They say I'm not fast enough, so we're going to see what we can do now. Oh, that's all right. I mean, you gotta be, you ain't got to be fast to get a sponsor. Nice oh, that was a good, good lick. These guys have been trading wins all day long. But. So no sponsorships. Everything comes out of your pocket. Yes, sir. And from what I hear, you're racing the latest and greatest technology stuff. Yeah, I race R1, man. I got R1, buddy. There you go. R1 and Voodoo's all the way. Nice, nice. And, but, 
some dated stuff, like a, a year old chassis you were telling me? Man, I run a $100 Vader chassis, it's old. I mean, I run, I'm running, I'm on a budget, man. I'm running everything I ran last year and uh, we're putting up bigger numbers than we did last year, man. Nice, baller on a budget, yes, racer on a budget. Yes, I, I like to hear that, man. Uh, Cause that, I mean, that puts, you know, us little guys who don't have a chance with all these big names. I mean, it, it's anybody's day um, on, a, on an index class. Ooh. Stuck it at the line. So cool, man. How, so how's it feel to come out with two wins at least on this? Hey, man, I'm excited. I'm going to take some money into trophies back to Arkansas, bro. Nice. Yeah, they're giving away some cool chess or uh, trophies at this one. So nice. So your local scene, how many racers you got going on over there? Uh, we have probably about seven, eight outlaws. We probably have about 20, uh, two, six cars that we run. And then we're going to start running real street this year. Nice, nice. Real Street hits close to home for me. Um, I don't know if you know, I used to be on the NPRC committee and we started the Real Street class. And, and um, you know, kind of kind of pivotal, the whole the whole committee and, and creating that class. Um, and then last year at Super Chip, me and Greg Bridgewater decided we're gonna run that class and, um, it's, and it's just continued to grow. So very cool class. I'm glad you guys are starting that class up. Man, it's a good class. I ran the Super Chips last year, man. It's, it's, you're doing good numbers on Real Street, man. Hitting them two ones, two twos, that's fast, man. Yeah, yeah. And this, I mean, it just keeps evolving. You know, I mean, there's there's even faster people, you know, today. But at a big race, you you end up having to race the track, so. Mm. Yeah, with the prep and everything, you know, it really is a racer's race. You know, you got to tune that bad boy and get out of that prep. Yeah, yeah. Well, and then Real Street being a bring a, a dry tire class, I mean, you know, it comes down to the commonality of the road, the track, and, and what you can put down and tune in it, so. Oh, yeah, man. I love, I love the challenge of tuning. It's fun. Yeah, I mean, it, it can be frustrating where you want to throw your car across the parking lot, but you kind of calm yourself down and get back to the, to the notepad and change some stuff up see if it works that was me about 30 minutes when i blew my esc i was oh. like we gotta get her ready yeah i mean th there's a time and a place to be mad but when it's racing and then there's that time crunch i mean you just you know put the head down and start grinding Heck yeah. so and it paid off for you guys i mean you, you know you, you, i know you got a team over there and y'all work hard with each other help each other out and uh man you, you took the win yes sir yes sir so. what's about my teammate got second so oh that one and two man <laughs> right. that's awesome that's awesome well, you want to give anybody else a shout out? All right, let's say hi to my old lady, Rachel. I'm glad you're watching. She's watching us right now. The uh, nice. NWA Raceway, man, they're, they're where we go to to get all of our stuff. Thank you guys, appreciate it. Nice. Leo, we appreciate you jumping on here and letting us know, man. Hi, hey, Jared. It's always nice to be around you, buddy. All right, Thank man. Thank you, man. Yes, sir. All right. <laughs> Trace, I don't. I don't even know what round this is. I know it's, I know it's a buyback round, but for sure. We're good. What are we doing now? Driver's ready. Watch the light. Mm. Left lane, 165. Right lane, 270. Trays, what round is this? Um, it is bracket B, round two. Oh, see, I just needed Miss Val to come and tell us. What round where I don't I can't see the screen from over here so <clears throat> and if you go to rcdragraces.com you can follow along yes they're all pedaling up ain't they that was a nail biter <laughs> yeah. did Travis win was it the last race let me go back uh-oh, we got RC Corvette going against Aaron Klein. There it is. Driver's ready. Watch the light. Ooh, that was a race. Well, right lane got it. Margin of victory, 0-2. 164 in the left, 167 in the right. Two hundredths of a second difference. Now, I do know <clears throat> when Travis went against um, Sean that last time, I think Sean won, did he not? I think that was last round. I think this one, uh, well, I don't know. 
I was uh, I was doing, in, doing an interview. You were doing. I was an doing interview. an interview. I get so nervous. When I do interviews. Do you? Yes. Um. It looks like. Um. Let's see. Completed round two so Hold far. On, Travis. From Sean Miller, that last one. Watch the light. Oh. Whoa! Oh, that was uh, wow. Destruction. <clears throat> that was destruction. That was um. Yeah, he got a reaction time. Right? We got who? Shout out to our two one seven photography for a replay. First is worst, so. Oh, he slowed it down good too. He hit, so it's going left lane. And that was uh, was that Doug going against um. Joe, right? Yes, Joel. Yep. Here, I'll go get it. That is uh, clean up on aisle three. Rusty Brooks, Travis won the last race, yes. And they may have to look at the sensors too. And Ghost RC is our live sponsor. She's right there. What? We still got one, and then we're going to do 15 minutes. So if y'all have not gotten y'all's Ghost ESC, y'all need to go get one. Just saying. Or hat. Or hat. Okay. Yeah. Or anything. Yeah. Go support the ones that support this hobby of ours. The ones that you see names at the races, you know, where they've sponsored the race, those are the ones that have our backs. So you need to su support them. Oh. Are they going to have to? Do you have another wire? Huh? I, yeah, I think they broke the sensor. Aaron's got chase. Looks like Matthew's going to get another sensor. Oh. Yeah, so these sensors that they, I believe they're 3D printed, mm -hmm. they're amazing, uh, amazing sensor house. Uh, the sensors house inside, so it's not the big ramps, it's not the big wooden, you know, launch pads. The ones where they go flying, yeah. big yeah. air. Old school. I mean, we used to, we used to send some cars, <laughs> but uh, what's what's bad about some of these is it'll, it'll yank the uh, connection out. Uh, because it's so tight in there. And I think that's what happened here is that it got the wire. It ripped a connection, so they're fixing to lay out some, uh, a new cable down the center. All right. And on that note, we're going to um, go mute for a little bit on that. Um, what's going on? Bruce Landreth, how are you? All right, let's see what we got going on. They're gonna fix the wiring right quick. Yep. So right now is a good time for y'all to go grab you something to drink, grab you something to snack on, go use the bathroom, go do whatever you gotta do right now. Hey Val, it was nice seeing you guys. Neat as the life goes on. Bruce. Hey Joe, just pull the cord. It don't matter if it, just pull the cord. Bruce, we enjoyed seeing you yesterday. Um, I set knee down. Don't be putting too much pressure on that knee. I think knees are giving a bunch of people fits. I know um, Bruce was here yesterday with his knee, and then Dino's having knee problems. So yeah. it's knees are a pain in the butt. No, I'm just fat, so my knees hurt anyway. <laughs> So, Jared. Yes. How many more months we got until your race, Super Chip? Oh, not enough. Not enough. Oh, uh, it's the end of May. I don't even know what, what's. Is this the end of March? It's the end of March. Yes. So that would make it two if I can do my math right. That would be correct. Cool. So yeah, uh, sixty days or so. Uh, we're, we're pretty much ready. Um, I think we got everything nailed down this year. Sweet. Uh, I say it gets a little easier every year, um, but it doesn't. So. <laughs> it never does. <laughs> no, but we just try to make the best race that we can for all the racers that spend their hard-earned money and uh, come to Tulsa to race with us. So it's it's these bigger races are, are kind of like family reunions these days. So. Yes. 
you know. That's where you get to see everybody and, you know, yeah. that you haven't seen in a while. Yep. And not everybody can go to all these big races all the time, so they may skip one or two, you know, a year. So uh, you may not see somebody for a year or year and a half, and you just catch up. I mean, because it's one thing to stay connected on Facebook or, any, you know, any of social media, but you can't replace face-to-face -face time no, with people. No, you cannot. So. And that's what I enjoy uh, the most is shaking hands, hugging people's necks, and just getting to hang out. I tell you, um, <clears throat> there are quite quite a few races that me and Richie just really, really enjoy going to. One of them is King of the Streets. Oh, yep. Um, I hate it that it's not happening this year. Yeah. And the other one is, I think you might know it, Super Chip. Uh, I've heard that's a good race. Yeah, we've heard that's a really good race. I've never raced in it. So really? I don't, yeah, I've never raced in that race. <laughs> Uh, You've helped put it on, though, right? I have helped put it on. Okay. Yeah. And um, <laughs> and SoFlo Redemption. Yeah. And, I mean, those were kind of like the OGs for us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So those are the four that we just really. Yeah. Um, I was fortunate enough to be in the streets, uh, two out of the four. Enjoyed all the time. Uh, Tyler and Ashley Zavadil are, are really good friends of mine um so i wanted to support their stuff uh we actually started we had the idea of super chip because of course tyler and ashley did the first king of streets in vegas and uh, a lot of people from the east coast really couldn't make it over so greg and i were like hey why don't we just have another little race kind of central u.s and that's really where the concept and where super chip started was um you know trying to find a place centrally for everybody to come race uh, and it just happened to be uh tulsa and uh we've been doing that ever since now not to take away from any of the west coast or east coast races or you know even like redemption redemption used to be three hours up the road from super chip mm -hmm. and uh we enjoyed that race i you know i was able to make that race um so flow i never got a chance to get down there and race that one but i mean it, it it's hard to beat racing in southern florida amen so um, but I'm sure one of these days I'll, I'll get down there and make it. But I heard I heard they might have a 2025 SoFlo. A 2025 SoFlo is that like? I, I, I've heard rumors. You've heard rumors. <laughs> <laughs> a, a little birdie told you. Yeah. Nice, nice. Um, let's see. Bruce Landry said MRI. He's got an MRI schedule. Should have took Aww. that desk job. Bless your heart. Yeah. Keep us posted. For sure. Um, I know he was going to have a race uh, called Show Me Showdown. Yes. Um, I'm not sure if they're still going to continue with that. Okay. Um, Bro Dabber, what's up? Yeah, I mean, if they if they have it, I'll support it and help out however I can. I mean, I know uh, Robert Menderos, um out of Hawaii had mm -hmm. uh, reached out to me. And I know they just put on a big race. Um, I, I think it was. I think I wasn't able to to watch the race. I was working. But, I mean, if, if any of you race directors or club directors or you know, whatever, um, I'm, I'm almost always available. I, I don't have an answer for everything, and uh, but I'll help out definitely how I can just to keep this, uh, this passionate hobby rolling. Absolutely. Wayne Alexander is the race over. No, it is not. They are having to fix um, a sensor and a cord. Yeah, sensor wire. We had a car hit it that hit it pretty good, so. And as low as these cars are getting now, it's it's hard to get them to clear their ramps with these uh, carbon fiber bumpers and stuff. So right now we're just um, got some time, so we're just hanging yeah. out and talking. A little intermission. Yep. Looks like they've almost got that wire fixed. Yeah. I'll, I'll, tell, I'll handle that later. Oh, she got business. business. Um, Bruce Landers says, thanks, Chair. That means a lot. Yeah, Bruce, you know that, man. You can message me anytime. Shoot, I'll even give you my cell phone number. I might know it, too. 
Well, you might know it. <laughs> Teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work, baby. Yeah, and, and fortunately for me, like I have a job that allows me to travel the U.S., so I get to get out and meet a lot of these people where they're from. You know, I get to have lunch and dinner and just go hang out. Sometimes on the weekends I get to go to their races. Have barbecue. Uh, have barbecue, man. I love barbecue. So if you guys want to invite me to barbecue or Mexican food. Yep, there you I, go. <laughs> and, and I'm within, like, I, I've done stupid stuff. I've driven two hours to a dinner. Really? Yeah, yeah. Um, actually, I was in the Phoenix area. And where I was staying and where Mark Vine was staying uh, was almost two hours. So... But y'all got together and had we, yeah, and and it was a good time. Uh, me and Mark and um, Dave Loxton, the owner of Five Star, that was one time. You know, I've been up in uh, New Jersey and New York with Nestor Torres, uh -huh. uh, and got to man, he actually, he actually, like yeah, took me yeah. around New York yeah. City. Really? Yeah, yeah. I bet so that was cool. It was my first time there. So, and we actually be it was 9/11 of last year, so we got to do it on the, wow. the memorial. So it was really cool, but. I mean, I'm, I meet all kinds of racers at their hometown, so. Omar says, um, Jared got a makeover. Brad says, Jared Mills for president. <laughs> no, man, I'm just I'm just for the people, man. I'm, I don't want to be a president of anything. Um, as a lot of you guys know, I was on the NPRC committee. Uh, I did step down last year, um, just personal reasons. But uh, I enjoy this side of the committee. I mean, I enjoyed being on the committee. There's so much stuff to guide and direct and, and help out with. Um, but I enjoy this side of not being on the committee, too, and, you know, helping those guys out and being friends with them and being friends with the racers. Sit. Oh. Want to come sit? Um, Hardison RC said, I quickly fell in love with the index. Racing after last year, dry tire, trying to learn tuning inside and out with my car. Yeah, that's, he's a local racer, Chris Hardison. Um, I believe he came down. He moved down from, like, the Fargo, North Dakota area. And, uh, man, he's been running us, with us ever since. Nice repping that RC yeah. Box Club shirt. Yeah. If you guys know Mark Santa Maria, he's been pretty big in the uh, RC industry. He's out of the Dallas area. Um, I'll give a quick shout out. Um, RC Box Club, you can subscribe to that, get monthly either gear, uh, apparel, but uh, every month a box shows up at my house with uh, all kinds of different cool stuff. So check it out. Rsub.com. Do what? Where'd you put your water? I don't know where you put your water, buddy. Corn dog, why are you eating a hot dog? Huh? Because I am. Yes, sir. Give me nuts. There we go. <laughs> so crazy. Oh, Lordy. So they're putting down the tape on the uh, yep. cable, so we're about we're to be racing there. again. I think that's some Gorilla tape. Yeah, that's some big old wide tape. That's good stuff. Omar, yeah, I got a makeover, buddy. I'm, I'm shooting for Santa Claus this year. I'm going to make some extra money on the side. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, all white hair. Got the red and the green shirt. On, so. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Uh. I know there's a joke with that somehow, but I, I can't do that here. <laughs> so y'all had some barbecue earlier? Good. Did, was it fulfilling? It was. Yeah, yeah. I had a little bit of Mexican food before I came, so. <gasps> did you really? I did, I did. Did you think about us? I did. Y'all were working. But did you think about us? You know, since we had Mexican yes. last time we ate. Yeah, I know? was like, I know those guys are going to like that barbecue out there, so. <laughs> This guy's chowing down on a hot dog, dog. like a full-fledged, legit hot dog. Is it good? Let everybody know. Is it good? Is it good? It's good because you're smiling. Look at that. It's good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. J Fab says, "Yo, yo, Mills." What's up, J Fab? Just hanging out, man. Is that water good? J Fab, you came down, man. Not there anymore. Laid down some licks in Tulsa. He's not there. Where's who? Oh, there he is. Yeah, he's changing there batteries. He is. He's working. He was worried about you. What? 
Cordall was worried about you. He's like, where'd he go? Go check that battery. That thing played a trick on me last time, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. That it was thing. good, and then all of a sudden it wasn't? Yes. Yeah, man. You know, like today, I've been checking it three times, and it's fine, all three times. When I was at Gary's race, dude, it just went. I left to go to the house for a minute, right? Left her with it. I didn't get a mile down the road, and it shut down. <laughs> and what do you think Valerie was doing? Valerie was freaking. Uh, Valerie was being Valerie. Valerie was freaking mm. out. But Valerie stepped up, got her cell phone, oh. connected in, brought nice. the race until he got there, and then couldn't find Valerie. Oh. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, JFAB. JFAB's getting ready for Hawaii, man. That's going to be a good race. Good luck. Yes. Good, yeah, definitely good luck. Good luck to you and your crew. You found a puppy? Sweet. It's little. Just remember to have fun. It's Hawaii. Yeah, enjoy Hawaii. Take it's pictures like for me. And the beach. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Something Take pictures of the beach. After you get back. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. Just add that salt to the wound a little bit. Good luck to Titus. Huh? <laughs> Good luck to oh, Titus. And, and you. And you too, JFab. Uh, really? Yeah. Hey, hey, he found a puppy and the puppy bit him. Why? Did the puppy not like you? He did. Did he think you were a hot dog, so he wanted to try to bite you? Or corn dog? Or corn dog. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go. I'll go out first round and still be plump. They're there for eight days. Oh yeah. Oh sweet. You're doing a vacation. Are you Are you taking the misses with you, JFab? Are y'all doing the the family deal? Might as well. Make a nice vacation. Go on vacation and happen to be racing there. <laughs> Just happen. I mean, did kind of work out. I almost talked my wife into going, but uh, too much. My son's going to prom, and my wife's going to be out of town. So No, I can almost guarantee this is how it happens. Um, husband says, honey, would you like to go to Hawaii? You know, that's how it happens. And then they're like, Oh, you know what? There's an RC race. It's only going to be a day. We can stay there for eight days. Yep. yep. That's how it happens. Yeah, JFab, I know, I know you're a family guy, bud, so that only makes sense. Plus, I bet Miss JFab uh, <laughs> said Hawaii. <laughs> I'm going. She had, to, she had to put her decision in, too. Uh, yeah. The RC scene in the U.S. makes the U.K. look so small. It's all scale, Reggie. It's all scale. So lots more people in the U.S. But I do know some people in the U.K. racing, so I'm just glad there's a scene there. If you build it, they will come. Yeah. Yep. I mean, that's kind of what we did with our first Super Chip and our local 918 crew. I mean... All it takes is one or two people getting together, and then all of a sudden? Yeah, I mean, we got people, Australia, uh, the U.K., um, man, Virgin Islands. There's some racers in the Virgin Islands, Canada, Puerto Rico, of course. Uh, lots of racing going everywhere. Oh, yeah. I'm glad it's not as windy as it was yesterday. My God. <laughs> I don't know where that came from, but 40 mile an hour gust is uh, pretty rough. Yesterday, that wind was insane. Yeah, and fortunately, I mean, I see the, the canopy still up, so they had them tied down pretty good. I think we lost one yesterday. Um, I know a bunch of people took theirs down. You are. I can't. Oh. It looks like they're just making final tweaks to it. And we'll to be the racing. wire, yep. In the sensor. Yeah. What? He's so freaking cute. You want to come sit? You want to come hang out? I'm trying to find a puppy. Well, where's the puppy at? Maybe the puppy went home. Did the puppy go home? The kids are here. The kids are here? So maybe he's 
You'll find it. Who's the guy to oh, beat today, Mills? See, I've been trying to get him to answer that question, J5. He won't answer. Uh, man. I, I don't know today. I'll, There's, I'll help you later. I think everybody's had a great run and a bad run all at the same time. So, um, J5, you know, as a racer, I mean, the humidity, the heat, and everything plays a part of it, and it's just been. I think Eric's not a market. Oh, yeah. I yeah. Been running hard today. Oh, no, Travis has been running hard, Travis too. Been running good, too, but yeah. been running. I would say, you know, I would have put Travis in there, but he's got his. <laughs> He has enough title belts. He <laughs> no, no Trev's a good racer. So, okay, oh, thank you, man. Uh, Mark Santa Maria, rcboxclub.com. Free plug. Free plug. <laughs> Free plug. Yeah, the day is about to change, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Track temps are they're going to fall. And uh, as long as you make changes to tire prep game and some some tuning and it's really cool here to on this race there's some people using that goes dsc there's still you know there's people on the r1 so when i go around the pits and i hear different uh tuning methods and and different uh final shows uh it's just really crazy to hear all the difference going on yeah aaron aaron did get beat Boogie's doing real well. Okay, for outlaw bracket B round two, we have left in the in the rounds. Dino, Brandon, Russ will have the by run. Metro, Shaw Daniels, Russell, asleep at the wheel, RC Corvette, and Brandon Lynch. So. Yeah, I mean it's it's anybody's. Anybody's day. J5 put the ghosts. Um, Hardison RC, I got your sticker pack. Okay, oh, they are on my car. Thank you, man. Baby girl loves them too. Awesome. Yeah. I was uh, I was one of the fortunate ones to get an OKO chip, lucky chip. So um, I got presented that uh, earlier this year at the Chili Bowl. So that was really cool. We got one at SoFlo last year. Nice. We're like, oh my God, we finally got one. Yeah. I was like, very ecstatic. For sure. What's going on? Okay. Oh, hey, at Hardison RC, that, that's rad. Thank you. <laughs> oh, he's, he's a trip. It's like we got intermission entertainment with Corn Dog. All right, let's see, Jar. Now we get to pit together at the Chili Bowl. Yes, sir. Um, what a Jar is. <laughs> Biggie <laughs> Rankin for the win. Mike. I see you signed up for Super Chip, man. It's going to be nice to see you again, Mike. All right. Aaron just got beat. Louis said, Corn Dog is rad. I wish my hair was was cool. Now, okay, uh, you are cool anyway. Yeah, everybody's got. Yeah, everybody's cool in their own way. Certain features. There you go. Right, let's, um, would it miss that race? What no? Would, would it miss that race? Yeah. Mike Gonzalez. Yeah, All right. 
Well, let's see. I think we're back to racing. Here we go. Papa Dino tapped the wall. Two, two, and one, eight. Right, right line, one, eight. Just tell me what to do. Just tell me where to go and what to do. I'll do it. Are these on?
got to do all that to raise me, man. Cut it out. I've lost the feel for it right now. <laughs> Right, we are back. Um, they are finishing up getting set up. Um, Kate Lennon is working on the computer right quick, so just give us a few minutes. Jared, how's it going over there? I'm just hanging out, having fun, being on uh, this side of the computer. Being on this side of the computer? Yeah. You're not having to hit any of the buttons? No, no buttons, no uh, wins, losses, not worried about the racers. Get mad at you? Either. Yeah. Oh, I don't care if they're <laughs> mad at me at all. Like, uh, they can get happy the same pants they got mad in. <laughs> so, no, it's just uh, and, and I enjoy. So, like, this kind of takes me full circle of being a racer, being a race promoter, director. You know, helping out on a live stream whenever I can. We appreciate uh, so. you coming on and helping out. Oh, it's fun. I appreciate it. I really do. So. Um. Let's. Let's say hi to some people. We got Stu Mack, Dave Taylor, Jimmy Zabadil Petrie, Ronnie Bailey, Larry Latson, Willie Brown, Spencer Rudd, Anton. I probably kill that name. Um, I'm. Oh God. Go ahead. Who? What? Where are we at? That last one. Anton. Mon Montane. Montane, yeah. RC. Yeah. Good. Good job, Valerie. Uh, uh, I'm trying. She just uh, she just graduated. <laughs> yeah, several years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Back in good old. Is that everybody watching on YouTube? Is that? Uh, no, that's Facebook. Facebook. Okay. Gotcha. Stu Mack, um, that guy. I can talk about that guy for a little bit. Uh oh, talk about him. Uh, man, he's a great guy uh, out of Australia. Um, he's probably one of the most loyal guys I know as far as racers. Uh, and one of the hardest working guys that takes a product and really um, digs into it, gets the most out of it. Uh, so, yeah, Stu Mack is a, a pretty amazing. Um, if, if you guys don't know, um, I started collecting racers' bodies after, after races and getting them to sign it. And I have a room at home that I, that I hang those bodies on. And uh, that guy blew me away at, at King of Streets. Uh, he walked up to me and, and handed me a signed body, and we got to take a picture. So, I mean, every, everybody that I get uh, has a story behind it, and that's what, that's what I like to make is memories uh, with those bodies. So That's cool. Yeah. Come sit down. Oh, here we go. The man, Scott Davis. Hey, Scott, you go in there and tell to him. Oh, not a good talker. Scott Davis is on the mic. What's up, Scott? Uh, just another day out at the races with my friends. Yeah, you get to you get to come out and hang out with us and visit family and so hung out with all the Wichita boys this weekend. Nice, nice. good people. Had a good time down there. Yeah, that's uh the house. Right? That's mm -hmm. what they're known as House of Hook. They got a great track. It's fast, flat, concrete. So. That so does. How, how's everything else going, man? How's your race program like? You you got back into it. You know, I missed racing. Yeah. It started popping up more. I don't like getting prep on my hands. I don't like the dirty stuff, but there's some stuff running around there where it's clean tires, and I'm having a good time. Yeah, yeah. I know a lot of the OG RCDRL guys were really happy to, to see you out racing again. You know, Jeremy Miller and those guys. and. So now if we could just get him to come race with us. I know, man. Um, I think I have him talked into the Pro Mod X class. I think he may or may not be going. So, uh, I mean, he told me he was interested in it a long time ago. Yeah. Uh, That's going to be a good class. Yeah, he's he's a guy that um, wants to be, that wants to race the 
biggest competitive class. And I think this year the, the Pro Mod X class in RCDRL uh, was was going to take that. Of course, the first race in, in the Texas RCDRL was postponed because of weather and stuff. So, But next weekend they have a back-to-back -back race. So. I'm going to be there. Nice. I'm trying to make box stock Traxxas racing great again. <laughs> there you go, man. Kind of the... Uh, Almost the roots of everything, you know. Mm -hmm. But that should be fun. I that swore I wouldn't buy any more of their cars when they quit doing the funny car, but they roped me back in. Yeah. Oh yeah, you were you were big into that funny car. I mean, what did you have like twelve cars at one time? I think currently I still have seven. Seven. <laughs> yeah. And they're all still competitive. They're if, all hanging it, competitive at hanging on the wall. <laughs> competitively looking good. Yeah, I think that the drag slash will be fun. They've been doing it a couple of years now. Yeah, yeah. I went out to one of their testing tunes and lined up against the best, and I'm going to be competitive, so that's all I can ask. So let's go race. Nice, nice. I know I'm not the fastest, but I'll be in there. Yeah. yeah. And Duncan and those guys, too, man, they uh, they do that uh, cash money brackets, which is a great time to test, too, and have a little fun race. So That's where I've been going to, and I'm really going to start pushing that to friends that have been interested in in the past and other people that are on like the Scott Davis Racing Facebook page of if you've ever thought about racing, come do this. It's simple, it's easy, it's fun, it's fast. Yeah. We oh, start yeah. testing at like 8.30. Last weekend I was home in my garage eating lunch at one. Nice. And, and it's not, you know, it's not high pressure. It's not, I mean, you should come out and learn how to race, learn how kind of it functions. And yep. And, and have a race every now and then. So kind of get you ready for the, the RCDRL. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, if anything, you just hang out and have fun. This all day thing. I'm getting old. <laughs> Aren't we all, bud? Aren't we all? But it's fun. So let's keep doing it. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you're you're actually out of the, the Dallas-Fort Worth area, right? Right. I live right in the middle. Oh, wow. Best of both worlds. Ask Scott if he needs a fork. Now, I'm not sure why Mike wants me to have a fork. Is he giving me some food? I need some food. Uh, I tell you, one guy that is always eating is that Mike Gonzalez. He's always posting pictures of him eating lunch, getting prepared for breakfast. Or him and Jesse out eating, and I don't ever get invited. Yeah. It's... Yeah, yeah I enjoy the slow classes a lot. It's I like the classes. I like the stock type classes where everybody lines up. Everybody's the same. It, it's not a matter of going out and testing and learning what's the best all the time. It's, I mean, it's a, it's it's a long, big deal to t take a car like these outlaw cars because you got to try everything. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what works for you? I like the stock one. Yeah, and 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 it comes down to the driver being good on the tree and uh, cutting the light and and driving it. And since it's low, you don't break a lot of stuff. Yeah. And it does turn Entry. into a lot of good side-by-side -side racing. Close. Yep, close races for sure. Yeah, I'd like to see the dry tire stuff and the and the slower stuff grow a bigger class because that's really, I think, where you pull people in. I mean, everyone wants to come in and run 100 miles an hour, but... Not everybody can do that. I think they get intimidated because they look at, you know, the price tags and the time investment, which you're yeah. willing to do. Yeah. Well, and you're upfront and honest with yourself about that. You know, a lot of people go, I, I, I'm ready to put in the work. And then they see people like Stu Mack and uh, JFab and Frank Ulbrich and those guys, uh, you know, Cody Offenbecker, the, the time it takes, the, the resources it takes to make one of those cars fast and consistent, a lot of people are not willing to do so. But they joke themselves. They're like, oh, I can do it. And right. don't, don't fool yourselves. Go talk to those guys. Those guys will answer questions for you. And they'll all tell you. It's, they do it every day. They get home from work, and they put some test hits on, and then they go look at the data into the night and clean yeah. the car and do it again when they get home from work the next day. Yeah. It, well, it's almost a second job. You know, I mean, you have to, you have to put in time and effort and, and your resources into it. And I applaud them. I love watching them do it. But, uh, yeah, it's... Yeah. I thought I used to be like real into it, and you know, I've I've had some fast cars. Being out at the races and hanging out with friends from all across, well, I mean, literally the world now. Um, I, like I was saying earlier, it's like a family reunion with right. with a race. <laughs> so, but 
And and with the slower stuff, you don't you know you don't break as much, so you do get to come to the track. You can race and still hang out. Like I'd put my car on the table, plug the battery in, clean my tires off, and yeah. leave my pit, and yeah. show back up an hour later when it's time to race again. Yeah, then you got time to hang out, and you know on these bigger races, these guys are in their tents and at their pit tables, and they're just 100% focused on their car. I, I would not appreciate you and Jeremy pushing me to, to doing the RC drag races. He'd asked me for years wanting to do something. You'd asked me a couple times about doing super chip. Yeah. Only one day got, I got bored enough that I started tinkering. And once you start tinkering, it's the little wheels start turning. I could do this. I could do that. For sure. And we greatly, I mean, now the whole RC industry hobby sport whatever you want to call it thanks you for man you created a program that simplifies a lot of stuff that we used to do with pen and paper and you know uh, a bag of poker chips with numbers on it and you you took all the you, you took all the guessing game out of it and it's just so simple to use so we we appreciate you for doing that too thank you and i, I heard a little bit lately you know it's Without the chips and the paper in front of it, some people were saying it's not as transparent. And, you know, you've got race directors in the back manufacturing what they want the pairings to be. But I've tried to take a, as much out of that as I can, you know. I, I want it to be for the racers as much as for the for the promoters. Right. And make it quick and easy and transparent. Put the notations in there that they're changing things. And that it's hard for them to change it anyway. Right, right. I mean, unless you, <laughs> like yourself on the backside, code and everything, I mean... Uh, you lock it down and it's it's fair it's transparent it is what it is so. can back it up and it resets the pairs they had to do that today when they forgot to add in a buyback but oh, okay. i mean that is what it is and it didn't put the note in there today but it should whenever that happens put in notes yeah and today it would have said scott davis reset this in the round one that's going to change all the pairings to change and it's going to yeah. put that there in notes so everybody knows it happened correct yeah and mistakes happen so like i'm not putting in a note like if during the round they call the wrong winner, you know, that's a, that's an honest mistake. That's between the race directors right then and the and the racers. Not yeah. everyone needs to know the race director messed up. Right. They can go change the winner, but if it's something that's manipulating from last round to this round, it's going to put in. Or if they're moving around racers this round, because they can move it a little. Because you know sometimes you got to adjust things. It's hard to figure where a buy should go. Right. Right. And if you move them, it puts in a note. Hey, they, this person got moved to this person. Yeah, I mean, as a race director and slash promoter, whatever you want to call me, I mean, I could come up here and say, you know, it's the race director. It's up to the race director. I mean, we're humans. We make mistakes. We uh, we have bad days. But, I mean, that's no excuse. We just try to make the best race for the racers of that day. And your program <laughs> makes it a lot easier for us to do that. And so. especially if you have, like, where you have plenty of help and you may have one and another person that's scoring and sometimes there's confusion you know there was a disqualification that the person scoring didn't see and they real quickly put them through i mean you got to be able to fix that stuff and let everyone be able to see it to make a little adjustment there get untangled yeah i got all tangled up it's hard to do when you're sitting still i i can do it i can do it what do you think of the race in here today it's been pretty good it has been. There's been, even in Outlaw, man, there's been a lot of close races. Um, what was the one while ago, point zero 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 eight? Uh, y Yes. It was uh, something like that. It was close. I mean, when you start talking one thousandths of a second, that's a good race. That's what I like to see. I don't care what the speed is. Put them side by side to where you don't know who won until the light starts blinking. Yeah, that's right. Or even on like the 250 index, it's a little slower class, but when you get close races and it's decided by a bumper. First outlaw down the track. Looks like that was uh, it's Russ. Russ M. Assault. Yes, I just met them this weekend. Super nice guys. Yeah. I love their son. pit trailer. Yeah. Oh, home built. Home built. I want so. one like it. Yep. Everything you need right there. They're up, uh, for, uh, him and his son are up in the uh, Missouri. Russell, you ready? 
I knew a lot of the names and faces out here already today, but there are a few I didn't, and it's nice to be able to get out here and put a, a, name, a face to the name I see all the time because a yeah. lot of these guys are racing every weekend. Yeah, that's why I was telling Val, you know, I've been doing this a lot, and I'm just glad there's new faces, new names to meet. It means it's still growing. The dastardly syndicate walking up to the pit tables now, or yeah. the tech tables. Oh. You're on right lane. They're, they're fun. They're, that, I, I haven't seen a team like that in a while. Like, every time I look at them, it's one little group. Even in the pit, it's almost like watching an NHRA team tear down a, a motor. They all have their little place. They move in synchronization. I love seeing that. Yeah. Water. Yeah. Please. They've got a race coming up later this year. That should be a pretty good one. <laughs> no, I'm good, thank you. I'm good, thank you. There's a case of water in my Jeep. It's not cold, but if you want that. Looks like we got Mr. Daniel and Mitro coming up. Oh, good. Not, not a problem. Yeah, the wind died down. It's a good day to go racing. Yesterday was kind of rough. Yesterday was a straight beat down. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Ready? 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 Me? Yeah. Yeah, I haven't sat through a day of racing and wind like that for a while. Yeah. I would almost take the temperature being higher a hot day over just straight wind. All right, guys, let's go racing again. Got Mr. Daniel in the right lane and Mitro on the left. Looks like Mitro is going to take that one. He was over close to the timing lights, it looked like, but I don't think he got them. No. Come see other Russ. Oh, is yeah. it? Sun Russell. One's Russell. Yeah. The Sun's Russell, Thank right? You. I'm trying to get yeah. that straight today. Yeah. The Sun is Russell, yes. And Robert. Uh, yep, Robert Schroeder. Both these cars have been running good. Russell doesn't like to stop. <laughs> and he doesn't steer it to stop. He lets it go straight. Lets it coast to a stop. To, to Arkansas. All <laughs> right. That is our next door neighbor. Drivers ready? Watch the light. Wow. Nice. Look at so, Ooh, a little contact and shutdown area. Sent Russell's car into the uh, the rough. Yes, I guess they got together and had a racer vote. No, no second round buyback. They're just starting to eliminate people now. There we go. Yeah. yeah, and sometimes it's it's good to leave leave the race. You know, ask the racers what they want to do. Uh, sometimes it's it's not, but uh, in this situation, yeah, if you want to knock knock out a round, for sure. They definitely all want to get more rounds, but they, they, they're getting it done in one day is also yeah, a bonus. Yeah, for sure. Looks like we got uh, 
RC Corvette in the left lane. And I haven't learned all the guys in the Dastardly Syndicate yet. Oh. Right lane. Right lane takes that one. See what I'm talking about, though? They're all right there on the on the starting line. That's a team. Every time. Man. That's a team. Good race, guys. <laughs> Love racers' reactions, man. Especially when they pull out a tight win. And JB's been tough all day long, so that's a good win. He was uh, he was struggling yesterday trying to figure out this car on this track, and uh, when I showed up today, man, he was pretty pumped. He had something figured out. And it's one of those, he went back to the hotel room, took it all the way apart to find, he said he found something that was unhooked or a wow. screw that was out of place or something. And no. I mean, sometimes it's, you know, hidden, like, you know, mm -hmm. a, a bent hinge pin. Because uh, I wasn't even sure what he was pointing to when he told me that uh -oh. that's what it was. So it was down in there. Uh, shock shaft, I mean, I don't know how many times that's bit me in the butt. Garbage ready. Watch the light. Robert and Joe here. <laughs> oh. Blew the tires off, but, but he, he may have crossed. I think it was a cross. See what they call. I know it's it's hard to talk mad trash, but there we go. They they did give it to the left lane. Okay. So I guess they call he didn't cross. All right. Justin in the left lane. I don't know where Dino's at. He may not. He's not gonna make this one. Right down Broadway. Aaron and Marcus, this should be a good good pairing right here. Oh yeah. They both, I don't think I've seen either of them make a really bad pass. They've both been really consistent, really quick. Nice. So what about you? Are you racing much? I. I am. Well, I say I am. Uh, when I'm not working or no, on the I'll road, um, they've done a little something different on our local scene. They're they're not going to have an outlaw point series. So uh, that's, I heard something about that today. Yeah, that's that's yeah. the main class I race. That's where I'm geared for. So uh, I may I may take trips to Dallas and race the prep track uh, for that point series. So. Well, I am going to be there for a few of them. I'm not nice. going to. I'm not going to commit to the whole season, but <laughs> yeah. I am going to be there for a few. Well, I told a couple of guys I was going to commit to the whole season, and here I am, the first. Well, actually, technical right. second race weekend. I can't make it. Oh, three reaction. But oh, uh, three zero. Oh. Sorry, dyslexic. <laughs> you better got excited, huh? But yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> I, I'm looking forward to you know like a. We talked Jeremy into racing Pro Mod X. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a hand at it too. And, uh, I've never raced a foam tire car. It's also got prep, but it, with the two of y'all running it, and it's, yeah, that makes it sound like a little bit of fun. Yeah, I mean, there's we got we got a couple people people in it. So um, I watched Merck out there putting down some test leaks on it a couple weeks ago, and he was moving. So disclose some times. I don't know if I should. <laughs> I heard it might cause changes in the rule book. Uh, oh, shoot. 159 in the right. And he's kind of uh, in charge of making rules in the rule book, so. Love you, Sean. Y'all are up. But it makes sense to have a class like that that's inexpensive to get into. It's going to be quick. Yeah. I mean, sub two second cars. Anytime yep. you're doing that, that's a pretty quick pass. Yeah, I've seen the Florida chapter. Um, they've had a couple races with that class. And, um yeah, I mean, it's tuning, it's driving, it's cutting a light. So 
count me in. I thought at first they were going to go with the stock VXL radio, but now I guess you can use all the electronics now, whatever you want. Uh, well, just whatever radio you want, just just stock VXL. Oh, well, yeah, the speed control. Yeah, speed control and motor. So yeah, that should be interesting. Yeah, for you guys from the 405 and uh, wanting to know how Boogie's racing, he's fixing to make a lick here. JFab saying they, that him and Titus went 192 with their Pro Mod X's. 58. And JFab, if, if I'm right, you're running that uh, GFRP Challenger, right? The inline Pro Mod chassis. <laughs> JFab top. Titus put it on Mike Mercadell. Man, Titus has put it on a lot of people. I remember my first race with you guys at some school in some back neighborhood, and Titus put it on me. And I tried so bad to get a rerun, and he fell asleep in the car. So I didn't get my chance, but I don't know if I'd take that race now. I mean, I'll race anybody, but I know Titus has got a lot under his belt since that day. Looks like we got Boogie and Sean coming up. This will be a good pass, too. Yeah. Sean was really fast all day yesterday. I hadn't seen him go down the track too many times today. Sean's put in the work, too. Uh, he's constantly testing. Last time I saw Sean, well, besides the local race up in Wichita, was uh, King of the Streets this year, the last one. And uh, a couple of those guys made it from Kansas. Boogie's got a new a new car, so it's working for him. J5, I don't know what happened to uh, Aaron Klein. Like good pass. Both kind of stuck, but Boogie made it out. Stuck. 180. Made the win. Take it, Boogie. That would be the end of this round. Sweet. I will give. The headset back to Mr. Webb because I need to go find some some food. <laughs> go feed that belly. <laughs> it's been a long time. Thanks, sir. Yeah, appreciate you coming on, bud. Yeah, you got it fixed. Robert lost. Little Yep. You get it turned around, ready to go again, huh? Yeah. So, Rich, what's the next race for you guys? We will be in North Carolina next weekend. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, we got one. Um, it's with Taman, okay. Eve Taman, yeah. you know. Um, so, yeah. we'll be doing his. It's one of the races for the, you know how we used to do the uh, point series race? Yeah. Um, we kept going with the uh, seventh scale race. And there's, you know what I'm saying? So, that's part of it. It's what we're okay. going to be doing next weekend. Man, that seventh scale is something else. Yeah. They... Yeah, once they're straight and going, they're going. But, yeah. you know, a lot of force going on that. Huh? Yeah, it's a, a little different challenge being on foam and a little bigger car and all-wheel drive. and All that power, you yeah. know what I'm saying, trying to get all that power to stick. Yeah. I tell you, though, man, that's like, you know, when we first started doing this, um, I don't know if I ever would have thought that we would be going as fast as we are right now with street eliminators. These are almost the fastest cars now when you're watching RC right now. Yeah, and it's and it is crazy because we always thought foam foam tire is dominant. I mean, it's it still is to an extent, but I mean, you get these rubber tire cars. But you know, there. you you think that, but they just they a rubber tire grips. Yeah, a foam tire grips kind of. Yeah, you know what I mean. Well, I just know when you put a foam tire on one of these street eliminator outlaws. They can be pretty nasty. Yeah. 
That's the first thing I did when I first built the first one I ever had was I had to put foams on it. Oh, yeah, don't think I haven't had a set of foams <laughs> or two and a 3S at that. So, I mean. Yeah, there ain't no telling what would come out if you had to. Anything, anything goes like we do in the seventh scale, you know, like uh, battery-wise. And I mean, you think we break cars now if we had all that stuff. Mm. <laughs> Be a fireball at the end of the track. Yep. <laughs> Yep, yep. What up? What's up? What's up, bud? Where the race director is right. Huh? Where the race director is right. All right. Let's see. Did you see where Chris Haynes said we had 10? Had to race 10 foam tire guys versus 10 outlaw guys? Uh, I did. Um, Let's see what we got. Look at, um, okay, I says look at sand drags and 3S. It's getting crazy. Yeah. Oh, and speaking of OKO. Yes. His drag race, I think he set a track record. He in his did. Class. He in sure 13 did. In 5 class. Yep. Uh, well deserved, OKO. I know you. Congratulations. You for that. Yeah. And you have a great team behind you too. So that uh, that definitely makes a difference too. But oh, absolutely. Your team's not pulling that trigger, bud. You are. So you deserve that. It just sucks for the rubber tires when the foams when the foam gets all over the track. <laughs> it looks like they are um, taking a break right now and they'll get back to racing in just a little bit. Yeah, they're finalizing the uh, brackets. Yep. Kind of getting down to the nitty gritty. <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> Joke, you owe me a Pepsi because I don't drink up. <laughs> oh, you don't drink Coca Cola products? I do. I, I'll drink diet whatever. On occasion? Yeah. Okay. I prefer diet Pepsi, diet Dr. Pepper, but. Are you only drink diet beverages? Yes. Yeah. Well, being diabetic, so. Okay. I mean, that's, it's probably not any better, but I've had them so long that the real stuff is too sweet for me, so. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm from Texas, and, you know, I don't drink tea with sugar in it anymore. I don't drink the sweet. I know, I know, I wow. know. But I think with all the sweet tea you drink is I was a younger kid, that's why I'm diabetic. <laughs> then Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid kind of so, did me in. So. Um, Sean Hot stuck face purple white eyes. Yeah. Sean did stick it. So, Jared. Yes, ma'am. You got any predictions now that we're getting down to some of the nitty gritty? <laughs> yes, I will guarantee you that uh, nobody that's lost will win it. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, really? Yeah. Uh, Thanks for that prediction. I'm, st I'm I'm telling you guys, like I've seen some of the some of the racers, the more experienced racers, stick at the line. I know I've seen some guys that are newer on the scene that have made some solid A to B passes. Um, okay, it says, thank you. Yep, Dad and I worked hard. Mark, Stashy, Tony, Frank, Kyle behind you is what it takes for me to have a great pass. This having Dave is huge. Five star is crazy. Yeah, okay, I, mean, I was definitely rooting for you too at home, so don't forget about your fans. <laughs> He's got a bunch of fans. He does. He does. I don't think he realizes how many fans he actually has. Well, and, and he's he's pretty humble kid, too, so um, he just takes it in stride. Very. He's a cool kid. Me and, me and his dad, Jeremy, we, we talk quite often, and we have some good conversations. And uh, the stories that, that OKO and Jeremy can tell you, um, just life story. I mean, everybody has life stories, but... I'm really amazed at uh, OKO's story and uh, his friends and why he's doing what he does. Awesome. 
Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. Um, I don't, and my I Grammy is family. number one next to my mom. <laughs> there you go, family, man. Family. All right, let's see. see. <laughs> What's going on, Jessica, in the house? How are you? I gotta re hit refresh. <laughs> oh, there we go. All right, looks like um, remaining in round three of bracket B, we're gonna have Ryan. We'll have the bye run. Marcus Knight, El Jefe, um, Asleep at the Wheel, and then Brandon Blackburn, Mitra versus Travis, RC Corvette versus Joe Olds. Mark and not, Marcus Knight will have the buy. And that's for the first pair. Yeah. So Marcus still has two entries in that. Yep. Got to take that into consideration. Pair B okay. will be um, RC Corvette versus Joe Olds. No, I'm sorry. Pair B um, is Marcus Knight will have the buy run. And Joe Olds will have Rust. And then a sleep at the wheel versus El Jefe. And where'd it go? It just refreshed. Give me a second. <laughs> Technology. Oh, okay. Hold on. Well, and maybe still playing with it. Not playing with it, but still finalizing. Yep, she is. I gotta find the fun in it. If I don't have the fun in it, you know, that's why I'm looking over hate no more, no bullshit no more. I'm gonna do me and have a good time. Damn. Can hear you. That's good, but it's true. Okay. Y'all like y'all ignore what I just said because uh, they're updating the brackets right now. So. Yeah. OKO racing with five stars like royalty. Um, I was fortunate enough to be under their tent at the RC Chili Bowl. So, spent a week with those guys, just learning. Even in so. If you guys that are following the RC drag racing, Five Star's really big into dirt oval too. Um, Dave Loxton, the owner, he has several cars, uh, sprint cars, late models, um, those those categories of cars um, that he he builds and uh, innovates. And so yeah, they they come out they came out to the RC Chili Bowl earlier this year in Tulsa, and I was able to race under their tent and. Uh, Oh, Scott Davis. Scott Davis is leaving the building. I'm like, I'm a hugger. I'll come around. Take it easy. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Thank you guys have a safe trip. Be careful, man. I'll see you. Next weekend. No, I won't be there next weekend, but I'll be down there. Thanks again for what you do, bud. Um, Tony said, yes, we also dominate the sound world. Well, yeah, Tony, you do. <laughs> Racing the five-star pit is like being royalty in RC. And then, yep, it's like going to college. <laughs> All righty. I think they've updated it now. <clears throat> I'll go back through it. She walked away from the computer, so. Did she? Yeah. Okay. All right, we're going to have Boogie Rankin. We'll have the bye run. Okay. Mitro versus Marcus Knight. Okay. Dino versus Shaw Daniels. Okay. Russell versus Joe Olds. Justin West versus Sean Miller. Brandon Blackburn will have the bye run. And Russell versus Aaron Klein. Wow. Still some, uh, some heavy hitters in there. And then let's see for a pair B. Um, Brandon Blackburn will have the bow run. And then Russell versus Aaron. Um, and then John Huggins versus Justin West. 
Okay. I think there might be a few more changes coming in. Okay. I haven't kept up with the bracket stuff. I've been enjoying myself just. <laughs> just enjoying? Yeah. Not worried about racers, not worried about timing system. But my chance to relax and relax. And have fun? Yeah. And talk on the live? Talk on the live, yeah. Not my forte, but I'll do it. You'll do it? Yeah. Are you having fun doing it? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. No, we don't want to, you know, make everybody think we're making you talk. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I heard y'all were paying me, so. <laughs> Did <was> you? <laughs> so, uh, how, how much are we supposed to pay you now? I think that's still under negotiations. <laughs> okay. Probably this pack of mamba. <laughs> you can have the pack of mamba. What is Fruit juice. Deal. Yeah. Okay. Paid in full. All right. Sweet. I'm out of here. No, I'm that was very economical. Appreciate it. <laughs> yep. Hey, I like economics. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> now I have to ask you, since we're just chilling right now, we ain't really talking much. Um, who's the frugal one in your family, you or your wife? The frugal one? Yes. Definitely be my wife. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. Okay, so if she had twenty bucks in her pocket and you had twenty bucks in her po in your pocket, your twenty bucks would be gone, wouldn't it? Probably, but I would probably try to make another twenty bucks before I spend it. <laughs> you think so? Yeah, that's that's how I think. She takes long time long term. She she saves money, and I try to try to think of ways to double make, double my money. <laughs> yeah. Make money. Yeah, it doesn't always work out. So. <laughs> yeah. I have to ask these questions. I just well, wonder. I just wonder if we're like the oddballs or what. Well, what about what? So do you? You're more free, frugal. I'm than? more frugal. Okay. Yes. I don't like paying full price for anything. But that doesn't mean you're always cheap, though. No, I'm not cheap. Yeah. I just I like to get the best bang for my buck. Yeah, I get it. I get it. There was so. Growing up, we didn't have the best of everything, but when we got the money to pay for stuff, we, we I mean, we did. So um, back in the day, Payless shoes, right? Yes. So Payless shoes. I, I grew up on Payless shoes. Yes. Um, my mom was fortunate enough to uh, work for, get a job with an athletic store. Mm -hmm. They sold shoes and football jerseys and gloves and all that stuff. Got the discount. Yeah. Well, so we got a discount, but my mom made me pay the rest, right? Mm -hmm. So I think all kids should, should learn this and understand this. Like when you pay for something, you invest what you've earned into that product. You appreciate it more. You, yeah, you take care of it. It's been lost, but I always, my hard-earned money, I wanted to make it go the farthest with the best that I can get. Yes. You know, but. I agree completely. That's that's just me. And I, and I know some people can't do that, and they make the best of what, what they can, so. We're going to pay all these people who've been helping us with a lot. Huh? <laughs> I got paid. Yeah, he got paid. We've already discussed payment. No, I, I made him um, let everybody know that, you know, we did not force him to come on this line. <laughs> not bad, anyway. <laughs> yeah. I got to get me some new glasses. Yes, you know yes, you do. I, I, I know yeah. that. Put some stuff on my glasses. All the, you know, the tent stuff off. Yeah. And now it's, like, spotted. And I'm trying to see through. I hate that. Things. Like, like you're pretty, I can't. can't stand that on my glasses. You ought to see this. this <laughs> you ought to see his. I have. I just haven't said nothing. <laughs> but then we're like, you know, do we do we go on an RC trip or do we get glasses? <laughs> I... Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we can't live stream because I need to see. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, I already got that one. What's that? Is that like, kind of like SeaWorld? <laughs> JFAB at Green Mills, you know, we wouldn't take the money when we would win. I just to race because he loved it. Then he started to love it, and I let him keep the money. Yeah, so I can I can tell you the backstory on that. Um, a couple years ago, I ran a, uh, a little organization, a little drag racing organization, and we kept points. Uh, a little points race. Well, we decided to include the DFW, and so we, we traveled, had a traveling point series. So we would go down there a couple of times a year and include them in the point series race. And one of the first races that JFAB and Titus raced in, uh, I believe they did first and second. And it was crazy to me, I, you know, after the race is over, I go and I, I hand them their winnings, and they're like, no, we're not taking that. I'm like, what? What do you mean? You won the race. Like, uh -huh. it's yours. And they're like, no, we give it all back. Like, it's, it's, that's what we want to do. And like he said, JFAB was teaching his son Titus that he wants to do it for the love of the Hobby. love of racing. Yeah. So it's kind of, you know, come full circle. Now Titus is tuning his own car. He's prepping his own tire. You know, he's doing all that stuff. So if he wins a race, now JFAB lets him decide what he wants to do with the money. Oh, really? Anyway. That's awesome. So, yeah. Very cool. Yeah. And that's kind of where I got the nickname R.C. Limpy, too, because if you guys in the in the streetcar world, there's a guy named he puts together streetcar race, drag races, and he does a light start video finish. And so I started doing that with R.C. drag races in Oklahoma. Um, we've been in Oklahoma City. We've been all over Oklahoma, Missouri, um, in Texas, and I did flashlight starts, so they kind of dubbed me R.C. Limpy. So if you, there's, uh, you know, yeah. Oh, okay. So, and that's still my love. Like, track racing is fun, uh, but true no prep, flashlight start, video finish, that's. That's that, old school. Yeah. There, that's where it's at. Yeah. So, like, I even I even got in touch with uh, Limpy, the real guy. Uh, he's out of Texas, and he has a certain flashlight headband that he wears to start the races, because most of the races are at night. I mean, it's, you know, the. Of the illegal racing kind. No. But, uh, yeah, so um, I got with him and, and found out what headband light he wrote, and I have it. I duplicated Dude. it. Oh, yeah, yeah. And so. JFAS says we need to bring, back, bring those back. Oh, yeah, man. Um, I'm all for that, too. I'm all for that because we didn't have to set up a timing system. We could go from spot to spot. I mean, so. Do pop up wherever. Yeah, yep. I had a race. Uh, I think last year or two years, I wouldn't let them know the location. We, I wouldn't let them know the location of the actual race. We met within several miles uh, before the race, and then once everybody got there, then we would travel over to the race spot so nobody could race that street. Oh, that's cool. So. Uh oh, we're getting ready. Oh boy. Some uh -oh. people at the start line. Looks like we got Matt Hills. Matt Hills will be up on deck. And let's see. Well, hold on. Oh, he, okay. My bad. It's going to be Shaw. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's setting Shaw's car down for him. Is he on a buy run or is it? I'm not really sure what's. See, Rich walks away for one second. The whole. <laughs> I think Shaw's doing a buy run on this. Okay. <laughs> oh, Ooh. spun off the hit. So. do that huh did you do that <laughs> RJ what do you mean what do you mean by that comment bud wheels coming off the bus not exactly sure no. corn dog what's up You got a ring pop. All right. 
right, let's see what we got going on. Corn dog, come here. Oh, RJ, yeah. Rich walking away. <laughs> yep, yeah, he, he, Rich is the glue that holds this whole thing together. Yes, he is. I do not do the um, camera angles. That would be a Richie thing. Yeah. Mastermind behind the camera. So, Corndog, you enjoying the race? You having fun? That ain't big. Huh? That ain't right. Is that right? Um, no. Really? Yeah. All right. Looks like we got Joe Old. Russell. 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 Ooh. Joe taking the win on that one. Joe, he's right there. He's got the hat on. There he is. They race with each other quite often. Do they? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like Marcus is up next. Marcus, for, yeah, Marcus versus Mitro. This should be a good one. Hey, um, I gotta ask you a question in a second. Who? Yes, it did. You have a hotel. It's freezing up, baby. Huh?
sound now, right? Are you getting sound now? All right, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three, yes. Well, he cut you off. I don't know because it was pulling up testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. I think it was that one though. Oh, okay. Well, how about now? Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Yep. Is that better? Yep. Okay. See, now he probably cut my mic off. <laughs> did you turn his mic off? No, I did good. Okay. And um, Chris Haynes says we're good now. Sweet. Thank you. Yeah. It's a solar flare. Hey, you never know. Wait till the eclipse. And that happens when? April 4th, right? 8th? Is it 8th? I think it's the 8th. Okay. Thank y'all for the thumbs up. We appreciate it. Y'all know y'all know how live streams are. They are they're a little picky. So thank y'all for bearing with us. We appreciate it. What's going on? Eric Thompson in the house. How are you, Eric? Jared, you're being quiet over there. Oh. I get going when there's some racing. You get going when there's some racing? Yeah, I'm not used to live stream. Like, when there's no racing, I'm like, da, 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 da. I need to find <laughs> some more people to interview. Yeah, you do. No, I'm just kidding. What's going on, Nicole Merton? How are you? You oh, stay man, busy, here. man, on that phone. That phone. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You a busy man. And this is this is my personal phone. You should see my work phone. I gotta, no, thank you. I got to shut it off and leave it at home sometimes. It's been a long time. Eric Thompson, I'm doing good. I'm cutting the grass and tan out, so <laughs> waiting on gas. LOL. Well, that hey, sounds Matt. like fun. Matt. I, you gonna grab that piece of wood? Too? <laughs> he tossed it at me. I was like, "What?" <laughs> he, he he just wants to. <laughs> You're doing a great job. Love the coverage. Thank you, Andy. Appreciate it. Andy, who is it? That would be Andy Jacobson. Uh, you might know him. I do know him. Talk about a famous guy. <laughs> Oh, Richie's having to get everything resituated. What you talking about? I got to rebuild. Oh you, oh, you got to rebuild the whole thing? Everything that I have. Um, well, at least you know the system, man. <laughs> I'd be like, uh, I'll just tell y'all who won and who's coming up. <laughs> <laughs> like, game over, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hope y'all enjoyed the line. Be guess, like, this is. Guess who won? The winner. <laughs> the winner. <laughs> Guess who lost? <laughs> the loser. <laughs> oh, God. That would be terrible. Yeah. That does remind me of last weekend when that <laughs> when the battery died. 
Dude, I so, was, I was flipping out. I bet you were. Because I couldn't call Richie because he was on the road, but it was, yeah, it was fun. Um, Eric, wish I didn't miss Shady Side Race, but I had to work and then cut the grass. And they were racing this weekend. Yeah. Shady Side. I mean, there was, a, there, there was a lot of races going on this weekend. Jared, a.k.a. R.C. Limpy, really down places celebrity status. Leo, <laughs> stop, man. I'm not a celebrity. <laughs> what you talking about? Yes, no. you are. Um, Andy Jacobson, I appreciate the kind words. Have a great Easter. You have a great Easter. You too, bud. You and your fam. I hope everybody has a happy Easter. I hope all the kids get the candy. Well, I'm going to say this, Andy and all of y'all, I mean, it's everybody, it's all the manufacturers, they're out there. Oh, God. Are you? I'm fixing to knock him out. Oh, I, I thought you were getting all teary-eyed. No, like not, not, not yet. <laughs> not yet. That does happen, though. I'm very <laughs> emotional. But um, I appreciate all the manufacturers because without them, we wouldn't have the RC drag racing that we have. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean... We wouldn't have the, I mean, there is competition. You know, you always, you're going to have five star, GFRP, Supa, R you know, yeah, all R1, of all of them. And well, yeah, that wouldn't be where we're at right now because everybody revolved as we revolved. Yeah. They got faster. The companies made the bodies faster, the chassis faster, the motors, the ESCs, tires. For sure. I mean, it's the best of the best all the way around. Y'all coming to the Hillbilly race in September at Shadyside. Yes, we'll be live streaming. Yes, we will be live streaming that one. He's on the cover page of NPRC 2024 NPRC calendar. Woo, Jared. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't I didn't make Mr. October. <laughs> Who made Mr. October? I can't tell you. Can't tell you. That's all I'm <laughs> Gary could be December. <laughs> oh no. <clears throat> Man, Leo's a Leo's great. Um, just the stories he has, the guy that he is. Uh, I can't speak highly enough of him. He's one of those guys that gives in the background, too. You know, so. His, his personality is bigger than life. Oh, boy. Yeah. Looking forward to hanging out with him again at Super Chip here in a couple months. <clears throat> He made a comment earlier about the chicken fried steak truck. Yeah, and what was that about? So, uh, I think his <coughs> first chicken fried steak may have been at Straight Line Showdown two years ago. I don't think he had has had a chicken fried steak up until that point in his life. What is a chicken fried steak? What? I've had a fried. Are you kidding country me? Country steak. Well, of that's kind of what it is. It's it's <coughs> a you know it's a steak, not a steak, but like that's battered and. It's, okay, it's so comfort, it, yeah, it's comfort. Country it's country, country, it's just steak. different terminology. Okay, from Texas, Oklahoma to the East Coast. So. It's a Georgia thing. Yeah, he said that thing was amazing. Like you would have thought he was eating gold. Really? Like this, oh yeah, he loved it. He loved it. I, I don't believe it was at Texas Roadhouse. Was it? Yeah, yeah. I haven't had it at Texas Roadhouse now. I have had it at Cracker Barrel. Texas Roadhouse chicken fried steak is pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, their their steaks are pretty decent too. So, yeah. The, the story I remember at that Texas Roadhouse was uh, we were sitting there, uh, him, I, Greg Bridgewater, and a couple other guys, and uh, Mark Fine and a couple of his guys were sitting at another booth, and oh, we Lord. we told the hostess that it was Mark Fine's birthday. <laughs> Did she go over there and sing? <laughs> they all went over there and sang for, for Mark Vine. So that was pretty great. Oh, Lord Jesus. They have some, they have some awesome stories. The gravy is white gold. The Texas Red House was better than Cracker Barrel. Okay. There you go. I'll have to try it. Yeah. I would say depending on what time you guys got out of here, we'll go hit up a Texas Red House. That does sound good. Texas Roadhouse. Huh? Texas Roadhouse. What about it? We going? <laughs> Jesus. Don't 
serious. That's what we were discussing is after this, if we have enough time to go to Texas Roadhouse. He said, don't tempt me with a good time. After this? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what time. Close at 12? That would be good, though. That would be very, very good. Maybe we can talk to Winter and go in and pay him. <laughs> I like that idea. But I think my wife's getting us barbecue tonight, so. Oh. Yeah. What kind of barbecue? I'll probably get, uh, I like smoked bologna. I'm, I'm a pretty simple man, but I do like me some some brisket and uh, some hot links. So I like all, I like, I like all barbecue. Have you tried um, Richie Grill's jalapeno, um, jalapeno and cheese sausage? Okay. And it's really, really good. I'd be down for that. Leo says country fried steak for everyone. Leo, if, you paying? If Leo would win a big race, he <laughs> literally would buy everybody chicken fried steak. With some, it's cream gravy, Leo, not white gravy. But I'll let you slide since no, you're it's north of the border. It's white. No, it's cream gravy. It's white gravy. It's white. It's not white. It is white. It's a cream color. No, it Just is. Just like brown is. gravy is brown. What? It is white. White gravy? Yes. You call it white gravy? I Rich? call it white gravy. But it's brown. No, no it's, it's not. Cream. You have brown gravy and cream gravy. You have brown gravy and you have white gravy. gravy. Is it white gravy, Rich? I call it gravy. I ain't really, really I ain't <laughs> he never said, I didn't he eat said, it, you know. We don't get all serious about it, you know. It is white well, gravy. Let's take a freaking vote. I would say real, real eaters make it make us think about it, but <laughs> I mean look at me, I'm a real eater. I'm a real eater. <laughs> okay. It's it's your show. It's white white gravy for the rest there of the show. <laughs> when I get off this mic, it's back to cream <laughs> gravy. <laughs> me, and, me and Jerry can be going rounds. Oh, yeah. Jay Winslet, white gravy. Jay, Jay, you're, See. you're on you're on the wrong side, bud. No, he's from the yeah. south. I, I I get that, but I think he's from the wrong side of the Mississippi. <laughs> no. There's a, there's a right side and a wrong side of the Mississippi. <laughs> I mean, so, right side and left side. So, That's what I meant to say. So you're saying so we're from the wrong side of the Mississippi? You no, know, you just happen to be from Woo! the wrong. Wrong uh, side. I mean, <laughs> oh geez, what, what, where hey, is this Jared, gone? Hey, Jerry, would you like that shovel? Where, where is this gone? Where is this? Everybody knew what I meant. So. He was letting you know a lot of things, but you, you just didn't No, I already, I already asked him all that. Thank you. I asked Corn Dog um, about his snoring. I, you the sound I know, I already got that. No, I, I caught on. My bad, go ahead. Get back to it. Oh, stay, I think Jay, stay on your lane. Jay just had a birthday, too, I think. So happy birthday, bud. Sarah Vega, white gravy or country gravy? Sarah. Sarah, it's cream gravy. Jay says I'm from the fat side. <laughs> hey, amen, man. <laughs> we are on the same side then. <laughs> um, have you Brazilian churrasco, a.k.a. I can't pronounce that. See if you have any Brazilian steakhouses near you. We do have a Brazilian steakhouse, but I've never. I, well, I may have tried it and just didn't know the name. I think he is doing a test hit. Oh, little oh look, Jay that. Winslet saying thank you, Jerry. Uh -huh. You're welcome, bud. <laughs> I'll tell Mike, you what. Mike, Mike. <laughs> thank you. Mike, thank you. It's because it's your show. <laughs> no, it's not. It's your show. No, it's <laughs> not. <laughs> no. Thank now, you. To, to be te I'm from te I'm a Texan. I'm a transplant here in Oklahoma. <laughs> so. But no, I don't have anything. In that. Texas, and we call it white no, uh, gravy. <laughs> fish built. No, in tech, no, it's not white gravy, bud. This is white gravy. What fish, I bet you live in Austin too, don't you? <laughs> tell, tell me where you live, fish. Because if you say Austin, I will agree that it's white gravy for you. <laughs> oh. So, Jerry. <laughs> Man. I'm just going to sit over and shut up now. <laughs> just. No more for me. Oh, Jared. 
You have made this live stream great. Oh, man. <laughs> I just like to have a good time wherever I go. I, I'm having a blast with you. <laughs> Maybe I can talk Greg into let me do this at Super Chip and not have that to That would be him. awesome. <laughs> you got it, buddy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you good? It's all you, man. No. <laughs> Look over there. Can you speed it up a little bit? <laughs> be like... <laughs> Oh, I forgot the camera's on, too. Yeah. Can't, can't even hide behind the camera at this show. Jeez. It's on. No, it's on. Uh, um, Mike says, I'm a transplant in the 217. Oh, uh, I don't know where the 217 is. Out in the middle of the fields, about four hours from Austin, two hours from Dallas is where See? Fish Built. See, he mentioned Austin. He's from Austin, so, yeah, <laughs> it's white gravy in Austin. I believe he said he's four hours from Austin. Yeah, but it's still close. No, so since I'm from Texas, I can joke around with this. We we call Austin, Texas, Little California, because there are so many people moving from California into the Austin area. It's insane. But uh, I don't want to get political and stuff, but <laughs> you know what I mean by that. 7021 South Memorial Drive Suite 176, address for Brazilian Steakhouse in Tulsa, Oklahoma. So, yeah, that's Texas Day Brazil. That's in the mall. So, yeah, I mean, I know where that is, but I've never eaten what, uh, I think I've never eaten what you mentioned earlier. So. Well, now you're going to have to go check it out. I, I, I've been there. I just. No, I'm talking about the way he was oh, talking well, yeah, about. Oh, yeah, the dish. Yeah. Uh oh, here we go. Good pass Man. right there. Is that Russell? Yeah, that's Russell. Yeah, see, even Fish says that Austin is Little California. Ah, uh, Andy. Russell Andy, was taking a bye run. Andy cleared up the, the gravy dilemma. If it's country, will be made with sausage. If not, it's just white, be white gravy. Uh, <laughs> I don't eat just white gravy. It's got to have sausage in it for me. So, so then it's country, country gravy. I, I'll agree with country <laughs> gravy, just not white gravy. No, I'm just kidding. Um, Rodizia. Oh, no. so that's the that's the term for an all-you-can-eat Brazilian meal. So now that I was educated, you were educated. I, I have had Rodizio or whatever. It's you called. have? Yes. Okay. Power Man said, hey, what's up, y'all? Wondering what round of Outlaw you're in. Currently, we are in round three of bracket A um, on rcdragraces.com. I need to make a trip to the USA ASAP now. I need some of that country fried steak. <laughs> yeah, just fly into Tulsa International, man. I'll take you out for country fried, chicken fried, whatever you want to call it. With country white fried. gravy, country <laughs> gravy, king gravy, <laughs> brown <laughs> gravy. Talking about going to eat Mexican with Kyle. We're talking about flying one weekend. We ain't got nothing to do. Just fly to California and eat Mexican and fly back. Oh. <laughs> now Leo's talking about flying to the USA for. Man. And Kyle, I know he knows some good restaurants over there. Mexican oh, God, food. yes. Man. That's one of the best things, man. No matter where we go in California, we're going to say yes because we're going to fly in the Kyle's <laughs> out. <laughs> he picks us up, takes us out. Nice. And he takes us to that Mexican restaurant, which is really, really good. Is that the one with the elevator or whatever yes. it is? Ah, I've heard stories, so I need to that get was over good there. Too. Real yeah. good. How were margaritas? I bet they're amazing. Why, yes, they're very <laughs> delicious. Just saying. You know, I, I went from him to you. <laughs> like, oh, how are the margaritas? Very, very good. All right, Luchach says, show my Georgian good-looking young couple how we Brazilians do it. No. Yeah, Luchach always calls us a good-looking young well, couple. I've, I've never had any bad Brazilian food either, so. I've never tried Brazilian food. I'm going to be honest. No. Mike says it's all good. All right, what do we got here? Here we go. Marcus. Marcus oh, versus Mitro. So I think this may be the rerun. This may be the rerun from earlier, so. have a little staging game here too so yeah huh? oh. oh dang it 
Wow, that was a crazy pedal fest. So we go to the next round. We are. We are going to the next round. It's going to be, let's see. see past the crowd over there at the tech table or even oh. I think it's going to be Brandon Blackburn okay. getting a bow run I think maybe okay it looks like nope Russ in assault it's going to be Russ versus Travis. Travis Bernard okay Travis in that left lane Russ in the right the very last one Looks like Russ is running some of those aluminum front wheels. Solid dish. Look pretty sweet. Oh. Yeah, Russ is going to take it. Travis hit the wall. All right. Um, let's see. See who they're gonna run next. How many races we got left in this one? And three, it looks like. Okay. Nice. Temperature is definitely dropping. Yes, that was a squirrely type of race right there. Yeah. Let's see. Um. Looks like Brandon Blackburn will have the bye run. Ouch. Tag the center at the end. Let's see who uh, who else is up next. Um, it's probably going to be John versus Justin. Is that John, like Papa Smurf? Is that John Huckins? Oh, Huckins. <clears throat> so yes, the sun goes down, temperatures start to drop track will change again um, ask the gentleman I forgot his name my apologies how far is the Texas Br day Brazil from where you are please Jerry. Uh, that's probably gonna be a good 30 35 minutes from where we're at right now good little trek but not too bad Just trying to figure out what's going on, what we need to do. Yeah, I see a bunch of tires getting heated up. But still have two more races this round. Yeah, um, we got Justin West. Looks like Justin is coming up, and then we're going to have John Hutkins. Okay. There they are. Justin in the left lane, or right lane. <laughs> Um, wrong. Just to help me if it's wrong. Well, aren't, you, aren't you used to well, that, though, being told you're wrong? Yeah. Okay. Well, I... <laughs> oh, well, Ooh. I why I, somebody may have got stuck again, maybe. All right. Justin will take the win on that one. Um, Boogie's still in it. Let me look and see. I don't know. Um, who's... Trace, if you go to rcdragraces.com, you can actually pull up live stats of this race and who's yes. still in it. Boogie's still in it. Okay, so yes, yes, they said Boogie's still in it. But to keep up, man, um, just go to that website if you can and see who was all in it. 
All right, up next, it looks like we're going to have Doug versus Marcus. They're probably going to give Marcus a little bit of time to turn his car around since they did that rerun. That's what, yeah. Um, Lou Touch, thank you. Hopefully, it, if all goes well, maybe next year's event, I'll stop by. Awesome. If the event is held at this location. Shoot, you don't need a reason to stop no. by and eat. <laughs> Come on by. We're all glad to go eat. Huh? Oh, they're doing uh, raffle giveaways. That's what they're doing. They're passing. Oh, yeah. okay. I was like, what are all the blue little tickets? I don't think I got one because I'm a I didn't associated either. with y'all. You're good. Okay, so right now they are giving away prizes. Awesome. God. And there was a lot of stuff donated for this. Yes, event, a lot. So. Like, I, I know I saw bodies, I saw prep, I saw a bunch of things over there. Shirts. Well, get to Florida. Huh? Well, get to Florida. <laughs> We'll try. We'll try. All we got really is SoFlo. Yeah, SoFlo is pretty much our only Florida race. Showdown in the sun. That's a cool name. Excuse me. Who's doing that one? That would be a cool name if that's an actual race right there. Travis Bernard doing a test hit. Jared, I bet you didn't think you'd be on the live stream today when you came over here, I, did you? I did not think that at all. Aren't you glad you sat down? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just chose the hot seat, I guess. You did. That's okay. Try to say he's got to put one together. Put one together. Yeah, man. It's, it's not too hard. If you need any help, let me know. Hit up, Jared. He's easy to get a hold of. Hit him up on Facebook. No. Same track? Same Jane? Jam? Do what? We don't have that one. Well, there is. Huh? Like it's so quiet. I'm just talking. She told me to shut up, so I'm just listening. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> what up? Jared in here. Jared. He'll be like, later on, be like. What happened? <laughs> Look. What? Oh, hey. He put it back, <laughs> he put it back on us. Yeah. <clears throat> trying to juggle three things at once. Are you trying to juggle too many things at one time? I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't always work. At all. Mm. <laughs> I need to turn that one off. I turned that one off, but did you? My boss might call me on that one. <laughs> Don't do that then. <laughs> my, my wife wants to know where I'm at. Mm -mm. My boss. Did you tell your wife to check WebRC videos? Uh, she knows where I'm at. Okay. She knows what I'm doing. I don't know if she knows where to find me. We got these new phones, and uh, she, uh, well, she doesn't make me, but she likes to have my tracker on, see where I'm at. She just wants to make sure you're safe. Absolutely. 
she has, she she trusts me. Yeah. For sure, it's not like we have a 16 year old son now. We have to track her on because oh, well, we don't yeah. trust them. Well, yeah. But uh, yeah. She any more <laughs> car could break it's, down. It's funny to me how I listen to y'all and I listen to the whole live y'all been doing, and it depends on the race and how deep the conversation. We can talk racing, but once there's too much, it's amazing what we talk about. You know, oh, yeah, a, yeah. Well, that's no like. wonder everybody knows all about us. <laughs> well, I was just fixing to say, you know, so I got into, I don't know, about two years ago, collecting bourbon? Yep. I mean, you know, whiskey, American whiskey. And uh, so I, I've, I've gone across the country and bought some bottles here and there and got real serious into it. So I think really she put the tracker on my phone to know if I'm <laughs> at the store or not. <laughs> Buy some bourbon? But, I always say, oh, well, she wants to see which ones I go to so she can get me a gift certificate for there. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, that's cool. Yeah. But, that's cool. Because I'm one of those guys, like, if I want it, I go get it for myself. So it's hard to buy me a gift, which I make it hard on everybody who buys me gifts. So they just <laughs> gift certificate. Now, see, me and Richie, we don't, like, at Christmas and stuff like that, we actually don't buy each other, like, gifts anymore. <laughs> See that comment? I know who that is. Where did you get oh, the old guy with the white hair? That's my boy, man. Talk, trying to trying to troll down there. Somebody wouldn't try to troll, would they? They they picked me up off the boulevard. Day labor. <laughs> I'm just day labor. Oh lord. Oh, what are you up to, Brian? How are you, sir? Now you have to explain Brian. Brian Elkins out of Oh, yeah, Brian Elkins. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Yep. He See. was uh he was at the first he was at the first super chip. Maybe second one. But uh man, he did real well. He 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 is he was on a mission to make the most of what he had mm -hmm. and to prove that you don't need this high dollar chassis and carbon fiber this, carbon fiber that, but Man, he did really well. Uh, he's doing really well in Florida. Uh, so. <laughs> At the Waffle House. Yeah, the job. Waffle House, man. That's uh, that's my old stomping grounds. Hey, there is nothing wrong with Waffle House. Let me tell you, them hash browns are kicking. Was it covered, caps, stacked, and whatever else? Smothered. Smothered, covered, and capped. I don't like it capped because that's mushrooms, right? I I don't know. Um, I get my hash browns just with like just the hash browns, or I get them with like cheese. Oh, you probably put that white gravy on it, huh? <laughs> white gravy is only for the country <laughs> fried steak. No. <laughs> but if it goes on country fried steak, isn't it country gravy then? No, it is white gravy. Yeah, thanks. I'm out. <laughs> At the Waffle House is where they... Okay, I already read the yeah. water car. Yeah. Tell you what, we start driving back tonight. Yeah. That might be what we start. <laughs> Waffle House? Some Waffle House? There Man, ain't nothing wrong with Waffle House. That's some good late night fuel. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Oh. Um, I red lighted against Vine in the money round. That's my claim to no fame. <laughs> oh. How, well, at least you raced Vine. I've never raced Vine. So, at least you made it that far. I'm trying to figure out how far we're going to make it tonight. <laughs> no. Huh, I'm driving. <laughs> oh, yes. Huh? Not too far. Don't Not too far. Not too far. Let me say, if y'all, I don't know if y'all checked out of your hotel. And, uh, yes. I, mean, <laughs> I know y'all want to drive and get on the road, but I'm, I've got a room ready if y'all want to need to stay the night or stay a little bit and then get early in the morning and jet, so. We got 15 hours. I'm just, uh, there's 24 hours in a day, so. <laughs> <laughs> you get eight, nine good hours of sleep, and then, no, I'm just kidding. You, <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with you. The only thing is, if he didn't have a mandatory meeting that he had to. 
It's one of them things. We really don't need to. We'll see how far it goes, and if we need to, we might. I don't know. We'll see what everybody wants us to do that's watching. <laughs> oh, you're going to leave a poll for them? <laughs> There's just no. <laughs> I know how those polls go. <laughs> yeah, we do, too. Well, you know, you can, we can delete the messages. I mean, on the, we can be <laughs> Turn off the comments. <laughs> yeah, turn off all comments. If, if you want us to stay, put yes. I can't comment. <laughs> Uh, Brian says that race was huge, 380 entries. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I think it was Super Chip. Super Chip. Uh, I think that was Chip. our, I don't know, that may have been second or third year. I know our first year had like 64 entries. Um, and then we just kind of doubled every year after that. <laughs> kind of double. <laughs> y'all's race, it, but y'all's race is awesome. Appreciate you know? That. Yeah. You do a great job. So I don't know because I don't race in it. I never race in any race I direct or promote or anything. So. Well, we don't race in it either. But I mean, we come uh, and we, you know, we yeah. appreciate the hard work that y'all put in. Yeah. I know. I think if I race in, I kind of get that perspective too. But because, I mean, the racers are gracious, man. They tell us all the time, you know, great race, great race. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Um, and we get a ton of those those comments. It's it's just the the few negative ones that kind of stick around and and you remember the most. So I try to try to push those to the back and you know. Tony says, "Come race in Tucson, Jared." Man, I want to, bud. Um, are, are you coming to the Desert Classic? Come on I, now. I don't Come know. On. I don't know Come where on. I'm going. I I'd love to race at all these races, but Desert uh, Classic is in November. You can go. Move. You can go. November. Yeah. Hmm. It's gonna be it's gonna be the last race of the Triple Crown. Oh, that's right, that's right. Man, I'd I'd hate to hurt people's feelings at that race, and you know, be fast at that race. Come race at it, come on. <laughs> oh, Tony, I'll work on it, but I'll I'll tell you, I, I'll work on it. So, I know you've been up to Tulsa and supported us, so I'll look into coming to Arizona in November. There we go. No. Not that we're putting you on the spot or anything. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Now, I have to check in with my with my wifey. But, yes. Uh, yeah, I mean, she'd love to get a break, too, and come on out. It's just, what do I do with my 16-year-old son? You can bring him. <laughs> I, w I need a vacation. Just heads up. There's, there's going to be a bar there. Oh, I don't care. Okay. And then we're going to have a fire pit, and we're all camping out there. It's going to be fun. Brian. It was the second year, first year, with those lame 480 guys that went. 480. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 480. Yep. I got gotcha. you. The AZ guys. Some of the AZ guys. Um, Is the 480, ain't it 480? I don't see them post anymore. I don't know if they do much. Like, I used to see them post on a lot, but I don't see them post anymore. Yeah, I mean, that's back when uh, back in the day. Glover and James Gallatin and yeah. those guys. Yeah. I remember, uh, I guess it was the second Super Chip. We were dealing with the start of the prep, the prep issue. You know, what, what was considered prep, what was considered conditioner, what's gray area. I mean, there was a, I don't know, there was kind of a gray area, but we had to make a call, and um, we had some racers doing some stuff. And first time that we had to, I don't know, face a, a confrontation, but, um, you know, they, they took it well. We, we, we got past it, and, I mean, ever since then, I mean, it's kind of, kind of a, I don't know. Confrontation doesn't bother me anymore, you know, especially when you have rules. If it's a gray area and, and the rules aren't set out, yeah, it's a little hard to confront people. But, you know, when you, when you have rules set out and whether it's blatant or not, rules are rules. So, but it's a good race. 
Brian says, Jack's doing on-road still. Ray's doing boats. James got a real car. Oh, I, I saw Gallatin. Very cool. He got him a drag car. So he calls it a daily driver, but man. Is it a daily driver? Yeah. Does he really? <laughs> yeah. It's a sweet ride. I think it's. Uh, I think he got himself a Camaro. Really? Uh, yeah. yeah. What year? Uh, it's a it's a later model. Mm -hmm. Probably, I don't know. I'm not good with these late model car years. <clears throat> See, um, I like the uh, what was it? I had a '91 CRX, mm -hmm. and my sister-in-law. I can't remember what year. I think hers was like a 91, 90 or something like that. Um, Camaro. Okay. I still. They are nice. I still have a 91 GT convertible. Fox body. Do you really? I do. Now, it's all original. Uh, it still has the second set of tires that was ever on it. No way. Yeah. Really? It only has like 62,000 miles on it. So, it's. It's not a race car. It's not it hasn't been abused. So. Oh no, my Honda was abused. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Richie used to race it. <laughs> oh. It was on. It was a That's 19. One of those little two door yeah, slant backs. Was, yeah, it was a 1986 Honda Civic. Um, Honda no Honda CRX SI. Okay. Nice. And uh, yeah. SI. SI. I loved it. And this race is cool too. I mean, racers are still sticking around. Like, even though they're out, they're still sticking around. It's oh, yeah. They don't want to see the end of it. Last pick I saw is Dusty. What's the matter? You had to walk away on that one, didn't you? You cheat, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so crazy. Oh yes, Brian. It. I need to get a car cover for my Mustang in the garage. Yes, you are You are right. Oh, is that what he's talking about? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He is right. Woo! Take that. No. You're not getting on the mic. This guy. We got, we got rules, man. We got rules. No. Mute me. Mute me. What's the ball? <laughs> Where, where's the volume at? Hi, Jordan. How are you? That's one thing. That's a bad question to ask. That's, that's one what thing I can count Jordan? on. We love you. Jordan. <laughs> hey, Jordan, we love you. Hey, Corndog has been keeping us entertained. Yeah, I love it. Love it. Yes. And he said it on the mic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, that's one thing about Jordan. You get uh, you get consistency. Amen. Whether it's consistently <laughs> bad or consistently good, you get consistency. Or or you get your honest. You oh, know, if, if you 100 percent honesty from him. Yes. For sure. Whether you're asked or not. <laughs> no. He'll usually, but he is nice to me. He'll wait until I ask, and then if I ask, ah, uh, there you go. Then I'm gonna get no. <laughs> an honest answer. Yep. No. Now, he's one of the members on the NPRC committee. So, yes. Um, yeah, we we brought him on this year. Him and uh, Cass. Can you this for us tomorrow? <laughs> What's that? You going to come out here and lie this for us tomorrow? I can't. So I can't do Don it. Don Mullen says, tell Jordan Don said, hello. Yeah. I will do that. Shortly. <laughs> Brian, yeah, I need to get that sucker out and drive it. So how long has it been since you drove that car? Uh, six years. Really? Yeah. No, 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 no. I take that back. Three years. Three years. Uh oh who we got? Oh, we got Marcus Knight. And our local guy. Doug, right? Oh. Huh? Local. He's okay. local. <laughs> nope. Let's go race. Ready? There it is. Watch the light. Ooh. There we go. Yes, right lane. Oh, 
Marcus Knight taking the win on that one. Yes. Start of the next round. 15 minutes. 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Huh? Well, um, I'm just going to say we need to take, hey, we need to take a break. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yes, we need a break. <laughs> yes. So we're going to take about a 10 minute break. What we're going to do is leave one of y'all's headphones up where they can hear the sounds or whatever. Okay. And then we're going to let them, looks like it's a 10 minute break. All right, sounds good.
All right, we are back. Hey, hey. Hey. I appreciate that 10 minute break very much so. Thank you. Yeah, Val's water bill was due. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was past due. <laughs> she was seeing yellow. <laughs> Woo. But I've had a good conversation with the, with a lot of people here today, so I I appreciate the extra time that we were given. So Uh oh, yep. Travis come and touch track. Me and Cassidy were talking about that. I think she was calling him the pro. <laughs> and once again, huge shout out to our live stream sponsor. That's going to be Ghost RC. And our replay sponsor is going to be 217 Photography. And also a huge shout out to our backing sponsors, and that's going to be Voodoo, Five Stars, CJC, BBM Performance and Parts, RC Speed Secret, Shark RC, Ron John's Raceway, Straight Line Spoilers, and Beast Mode. Shark RC, are they still around? Yes. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> Can you imagine that, Paul? Oh, I got to give a Paul a hard time every time I see him. Paul, Paul pulled a 48 hour. I'm not yeah. surprised. I was uh, up in Wisconsin one time for work and got to uh, spend some time and have dinner with him. Good conversation. Good times. Did you have a good time, Paul? I had a good time with Paul. Very good. Yeah. He's a good guy. Yeah, me and me and Paul have some history together, so. Very cool. Yeah. All right, and that was Ron taking his bye run. Oh. Up next, it looks like we should have Marcus Knight going against El Jefe. Yeah, they're heating some tires up, which will kind of get crucial now that the temperature's dropping a little bit. I have seen them um, out here um, checking the track temp. Yep. Since this, um, not the sun's gone down, but it has gotten cooler. Yeah, the sun's not technically down, but it's got some cloud cover, so. To what, babe? Marcus Knight's got a buy at the bottom to it. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Well, and that's, that's part of having two brackets. <laughs> And two cars, and and having both of them in at, at the at the lower rounds, so your your turnaround time is is crucial too. So, well, it's good that it it hopefully it randomized and put him at the end, so that way it gives him time to get yeah, his car ready yeah. again. But it's kind of tough to do that, but I know <laughs> uh, Scott's program. You don't face yourself unless there's no other way. So. Cool. Like a like a super chip for our outlaw race, the only time that you race yourself would would be in the finals. Gotcha. So. Uh oh, here we go. We got Marcus Knight going against Brandon Lynch. So this is interesting. Uh, right lane's running off the tape this round. This is he race. Really? Yep. Wow. Marcus Knight will take the win on that one. Up next, it should be um, Asleep at the Wheel, Robert Schroer against Brandon Blackburn. Chris Haynes says the tape, yes. Wow. 
Good run right there. That was a good run. Ooh. No. That car was on, that car was on fire. Oh. She put them on the clock. Uh -oh. There we go. Did she really? She did. Two minutes. Now he's on his way up here. But. Yep. All right. We got RC Corvette going against Joe Olds. Joe Olds will take the win on that one. Oh. Now I noticed um, when he was staging, he's kind of staged back. Yeah, he did shallow staging. Not trying to. <laughs> when, when guys have problems red lighting, they'll, they'll back their cars up just a little bit in the staging area so they don't go red. Okay. Gives them just a little bit more time on the on the trigger pull. Gotcha. Has anyone been using the tape at all? There have been some people using the tape. There hasn't been in these later rounds, but definitely in the first couple of rounds. Looks like Justin's feeling the feeling all the grooves. Yeah. See how tacky they are. Cause I mean if it's you know, if the groove's tacky, you use one type of prep. If it's slimy, you use another type of prep. So you gotta gotta know how the groove is. All right. Who's up next? It should be Metro versus Travis, according to the bracket system. Yeah. I see Metro over here in a pit. Squeen's Daily Channel says, good run, Brandon. I think Metro came out with that as, or came up with that as heat gun, so he's borrowing them. Gotcha. Uh oh. All right. Oh, oh no. All right. Looks like we got Metro versus Travis. Travis taking the win on that one, and um, Facebook just killed us. Really? Yep. For what? Going over seven hours it was like. Yep. All right. So if everybody will switch over to YouTube, that would be great. I know that. I don't know. She thought it was speak to text. Yeah. Uh -huh. I got you. I got you. Thank you. Appreciate it. That's what I figured. That's why I wanted to have it. Okay. I'll let him know when he gets back Thank you, ma'am. There was, there was more people watching on YouTube. Uh, this is Interesting. They get in the habit of doing that. It gets better view, too. Because then they can see y'all just beautiful. <laughs> That's scary. I mean, I'm big in real life. Could you imagine now? <laughs> from everything from being out here yesterday. Oh, 
people. I sent a message to everybody. Hopefully, they will switch on over. We got up. Take a big post, I did. Is there, as long as it's been taken, as soon as I would bring it down and have to bring it back yep. up, something major would happen. You know what I mean? <laughs> Are we at break for, or what are we doing? Do, you, we, do we know? I'm not yawning. You're yawning. <laughs> I said, are we at break? <laughs> Squeen's Daily Channel says, Metro, babe. Oh, Metro has a fan. Yes. All right, <laughs> what we got on the docket right here is we do have Marcus Knight who will have a buy run for, this is pair B1. Then we're gonna have Joe going against Russ. Then we're gonna have Robert Schroer going against, I mean, I'm Schroer going against Brandon Lynch. Travis Bernard against Justin West. Mitra going against Boogie. Once again, thank y'all for tuning in and watching. Um, I know we did get um, disconnected from Facebook, so thank y'all for switching on over to YouTube. We appreciate it. All right. How long till the next bracket? Do we know? Forever. Forever. <laughs> Let's see. What's up, Jared? Look at that. Whoa. Uh, what? <laughs> Got us on the cam. Yeah, I do still. Do you still have us on the cam? Oh, look at there. Put a little higher. Put that box a little higher. <laughs> Put a, no, no. Little, little to the left. Little to the left. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what y'all talking about. No. <laughs> Here on YouTube all day. Hey, did you see Paul playing the banjo on that little commercial? What? <laughs> yeah. You have to, we'll have to send it to you. <laughs> I did. I did see Paul playing the banjo. No. Watch. Oh, you have it? Yeah, it's a little thing we... Oh. Richie made. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Has Paul seen it? Yes, Paul has seen it. Nice. <laughs> we are just chilling right now. So go grab you something to drink, go some snack on, go use the bathroom, go do whatever you gotta do. Hey, I do have a question for you. Okay. When I went to go pay my water bill. <laughs> Yeah. Um, there, what, it's not mosquitoes. What is it? Skeeter eaters. They look like oversized mosquitoes, but they actually eat the mosquitoes. So they're kind of like mosquito hawks that e Georgia has. Yeah. I mean, okay. it's white gravy, cream gravy, <laughs> okay, that so, kind of thing again. Okay, gotcha. We, 
we'll, we'll agree to disagree on the name, but we'll agree on what they are. Gotcha. Okay. okay so. Gotcha. I call them Terror Tactics. <laughs> terror Tactics. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I, went, I was walking, and I was like, my God, am I getting attacked? <laughs> oh. But, hey, they eat mosquitoes. Mosquito <laughs> eaters. More yeah. power to them. It's kind of like having a, oh, like a bull snake. I, I mean, I don't know if you guys had snakes. I, I grew up kind of in the country. Why, yes. But uh, bull snakes, they keep they keep rattlesnakes away. Okay. So, so we call them um, rat snakes. Rat snakes, and, okay. Yeah. Or black snakes. Black snakes. <laughs> yeah, um, speaking of black snakes or bull snakes, um, we actually had one in our freaking backyard, and we have dogs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the dogs were giving it straight up hell. Yeah, I had a, a double mastiff, uh, English and bull mastiff mix. And when we lived in the country, she actually got bit twice by the same rattlesnake. Oh. And just protecting the other dog and us. And, uh, I mean, she lived through it. We called her the million-dollar dog because, I mean, she lived through some crap, you know, some medical stuff. But uh, she, was, she was a trooper. Like, like her paw, I mean, mastiffs have big paws anyways. But, oh, Yeah. Um, they, it swelled up bigger than my hand. Wow. And, uh, so, yeah, she spent a couple of days in the little hospital, and she got better. But, yeah, I don't I do not do snakes. The only snake I like is a dead one. See, okay, I grew up in the country. Um, I have um, seven uncles. Well, yeah. Well, no, five uncles, my wife. Five uncles, and um, they played with snakes. Wow. So I had to learn how to tolerate them. Um, Hogwild Productions, what's going on? Howdy, Web RC. Is it still windy out there? No. Knock on wood. Well, there is Not no. Like yesterday. Not yeah. Okay, it says we call them all snakes. <laughs> yeah. A snake is a snake is a snake. That tree looks way better than yesterday. <laughs> yeah. That tree. How's he, how's he doing that on Facebook? I don't know. Did it pop back on? Or <laughs> or what? Fun fact, you can legally keep those skeeter eaters as pets. Did it go back live? No. It's cause see it says was live on Facebook. I don't know. Um fun fact, you can keep <laughs> Hey. I I will keep anything that keeps mosquitoes. And rattlesnakes away from me. Just yeah. saying. Oh, five minute call to get to the line. We were we were saying earlier um, yesterday about that tree how, <laughs> how oh. the back part was leaning, but we said we were all walking with leans. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, I grew up in the Panhandle of Texas. Uh, up in Amarillo, and the wind blows 35 miles an hour all the time. So I don't, I don't see how y'all do that. Yeah, we, we said uh, we build things to withstand the wind. If the wind quit blowing, everything will fall down. Well, that's like Richie was saying yesterday. You know, we live in Georgia, and most of the houses in Georgia, you know, a they don't have basements, no. and b they're built on concrete slabs. Yep. So, you know, we're thinking that they do that because if we have a bad storm or, you know, something wipes out the house, well, it just takes the house off the concrete yeah. slab and we can rebuild. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> so. yeah, that makes sense to somebody. <laughs> just saying. Yeah. yeah. Call the insurance company and say, hey, our house is a couple blocks down. But I got the slab. I got the slab. The slab is still there. Oh, look at that voodoo. Hey, I think Jared is worse than me about the phone. No, His no. phone has been hopping all day. <laughs> no, I ride with you for all the hours. I know who's the worst on the phone. <laughs> no. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> 
Oh, I see how it is. It's guys against girls. That's how it's... No, it's, <laughs> it's just it's just facts on facts. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh. Fun times. They ain't paying that electric bill for <laughs> for RSC. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> they turned the heat on. They can send me a bill, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Speaking of my phone going off, it is my wife. I may have to dip out a little uh -oh. early. Yeah. She's like Jared. She need said, come on home. I got dinner. It's on the way home. So. He got barbecue coming. I do. She, barbecue and another, you know. Hey, well, yeah. She said, what do you want? I said, one of everything. <laughs> Jared hungry. <laughs> well, Jared, I know you're you're going to be dipping out on us, but I do want to say thank you for coming on the live with us. No problem. Thank you for having me. What? The helmet and the crack. Man, if y'all don't think we have fun at a race, just listen to the background. <laughs> and all of that is in fun. Yes, it is. All in fun. There's <laughs> it's not real. Yeah. It's not real. No, it's not real. <laughs> it's not real fighting or anything. It's all in fun. Go ahead and put that in in there. Yeah. Disclaimer. Yep. Uh what what? <laughs> What? <laughs> Fun fact, falcons only live for around 10 to 15 years. That means every falcon alive now is a millennial falcon. Chris, Chris, please, man. <laughs> that is awesome, though. I that's, don't know if that's true or if that's a joke. I don't know, but if that's trivia, <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> Thinking I should have brought a hoodie. Hey. Sunday. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> I, my, I was prepared. Uh, hoodie. Yeah. Um, ask Richie why he don't have one. Because I don't need one. I'm mad. I'm mad. I don't need one. Yeah. You, you keep telling yourself that. <laughs> I did the whole little last night when I was shivering my ass. Huh? <laughs> I'd shiver and when she looked over here, I'd be like, mm. <laughs> I asked him before we left the house. Um, if we, if I need to bring the hoodies, he said no. So, and there was only one left in the car, which was mine. Okay, so the coldest race I've ever been to was in Enid, Oklahoma. It was kind of a parking lot like this at a sports complex. And back then, we didn't have tire warmers. We didn't have battery-operated heat guns or nothing like that. But... There was a couple of us that started buying heating pads from Walmart to heat our tires. <laughs> oh, that's an awesome idea. Yeah. So, I mean, that's that's a ingenuity, innovation, where it's come from. But we we had to use those heating pads to stay warm. Heck it yeah. was so cold. Uh-oh, we got Marcus. I don't know about on Instagram. Marcus Knight. Is he on a... Uh, he is on a buy. Buy run. Uh, Chris Harson says it's a dumb Star Wars joke. Oh, yeah. Chris is a Star Wars guy. Right. Ready? Watch the light. Ooh. Two, seven, light. Seven. That barbecue calling you. Yeah. And a, and a sonic drink. Ooh, really? My wife loves Sonic Ice. What kind of, what flavor slushy? No, not a slushy. She, oh, not the slushy? She likes the ice. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Ice. All right, we got Russ versus Joe Olds. This is going to be a tough one. Ready? Watch the light. 
Oh, oh shoot. That was, a, that was a full send. You broke something? Full send. And Joe Oles will take the win on that one. Yeah. Hot pocket hand warmers, yeah. I believe that. That's an awesome idea too. I wouldn't have thought of that. Yeah, I mean now we have <laughs> we have heated lunch boxes to keep our batteries in while we charge them and discharge them. Do what? To keep the battery at a certain temperature. Really? Yeah. That's pretty darn cool. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Oh wow. Robert snuck that one out. He's excited about that. 175 in the left, so 179 in the right. <laughs> so Robert took the win on that one. Yeah. Travis going against Justin. <laughs> and so Russ just brought his car back and is holding his battery. Uh, I know he straps his battery to the car. That's that's how hard he hit. Ready? Watch the light. Oh, wow. He got him on the tree. Justin takes the win on that one. God damn, I was sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. Up uh, next is going to be Mitra versus Boogie. All right, Boogie and Mitra, y'all are up. Mitra's coming out of the pits. Let's see where Boogie is. I don't see Boogie. He's over there. Okay. Oh, yeah, he's a little short. He was hiding behind somebody. <laughs> no, Boogie's my boy, man. Two bright color cars right there now. Yeah. Now look at Mitro's. Got the light in there. Oh, yeah, got the LED light on. Mm -hmm. Sunlight's going away. Wow, that was a good race. Right lane cross. Oh. Left lane will take the win on that one. Yeah. That's a good run, Boogie. Is the real street class still running? Yeah, I think they're finishing up tomorrow. Yeah, I think they're finishing up tomorrow. This is going to be bracket B for round four. No, oh, they're calling a driver's meeting for the drivers that are left in it. Probably going to have a discussion about finishing it tonight or how far. Any one nines in the real street? Uh, not, not here, not today. I think I heard twos. All right, let's see what they say. Hey, can you, is hers maxed? Yeah. If they want to run a third. Okay, okay. I know, I know. If I called your name and you're not up here! Thank you. 
They have decided that they will continue the race tomorrow and they are calling it for tonight. Yep. So we are going to go ahead and call it for us yeah. for tonight. And um, what? we don't know for tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. So um, we'll see what we can do. But thank you all for tuning in and watching tonight. We appreciate it very much. And just remember to stay true to yourself, stay true to the hobby, keep doing you, block now, the hate. Also, before you go to cut it off real quick, yep. remember to thank everybody for being a part of what we're doing this for. Um, I was. Yeah. I, I wasn't done. Okay, well, go ahead, big girl. <clears throat> but anyway, block the hate, keep doing you, and stay positive. And once again, this was T Town. This is T Town's first inaugural RC Bash. It is a benefit race for Shaw Daniels. And once again, I want to give a huge shout out to the live stream sponsor. That's going to be Ghost RC. And the replay sponsor is going to be 217 Photography. And a huge shout out once again to our backing sponsors. That's going to be Voodoo, Five Star, CJC, BBM Performance and Park, RC Speed Spirit, Shark, Ron John's Raceway, Straight Line Spoiler, and Beast Mode RC. Also, huge shout out to Jared Mills and, um, for coming on the live stream with us today. If you're not already registered, go get registered for Super Chip 2024. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be amazing. Nice. RCDragRaces.com. Also, once again, a huge shout out to Cassidy Bernard for coming on the live stream this morning and all the work and hard effort she's done today. Um, so if you're not met, registered for Midwest Classic, you can also go get registered at RCDragRaces.com for it. And huge shout out to scott davis for coming on the live stream and creating the amazing rcdriveraces.com hardison rc says have a good one be safe everyone and have a happy easter yes tomorrow have everyone have a happy easter i hope the kids enjoy the easter bunny and we will see y'all later bye y'all